Fire Emblem. Engage. battle lies ahead. Now, it's time to engage. Let's go. One last battle and the war will be over. The others fought hard to clear a path for us. We can't let them down. You're here at your end. This place will be your tomb. Move in. I'll remain by your side. Here goes. You have no hope of defeating me, not even with your emblem. He's within reach now. We can strike. Die here was ever your destiny. The rings are mine. Never yield. The time has come! Now, as one! Emblem, engage! We are now connected, and can unleash a powerful attack, together! Nothing to say. 
celebrate. You are weakness itself. You will never defeat me. Thanks to you, this world is saved. And my work here is complete. Know that I will always be with you. And that we will stand together again, as we did this day. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Calm down, calm down, you two! What's all of this ruckus about? Uh. Divine Dragon. It's a miracle. An utter miracle. The Divine One, awake at long last. That I might live to see you standing before me. What an honor. Um, not to be rude, but... Who are you? Ah, apologies. I lost myself for a moment there. My name is Vander. I am the 32nd steward of the dragon. Hello, Sir Vander. Oh, my divine one! There is no need to address me as such. Simply Vander will do. See? I told you the divine dragon was awake! Yeah, we were telling the truth! You two. I don't believe I got your names. Oh, sorry! We were so excited, we forgot to introduce ourselves. We're the 33rd Stewards of the Dragon. My name's Clan. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Fram. We're twins. We've been waiting forever for you to wake up. As Stewards of the Dragon, our mission is to protect and provide for you. Generation after generation of our predecessors waited for you to rise from your slumber. I'll admit, I am astonished to see it has finally happened. You see, a thousand years have passed since the first steward took their post. A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep? Indeed. Your mother, Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, has long awaited this day. Finally, you, a Divine Dragon yourself, have awakened. This surely signifies great things. Uh, slow down. This monarch you mentioned, she's my mother? And I'm a... Divine Dragon, you called it? Oh, dear. Is your memory hazy, Divine One? I know my name, but... that's about it. You can't remember anything else? Maybe you're just feeling groggy because of all that sleep. But... I don't even know who I am. Fret not. Such lapses in memory are to be expected after sleeping for so long. If I may, you are a Divine Dragon a member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. Queen Lumera, the divine dragon monarch, rules over the holy land of Lethos. In the war a thousand years ago, she defeated and imprisoned the wicked fell dragon. You, divine one, are her only child. The war, the fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember, but- Please, do not trouble yourself trying to bring it all back at once. Your memories will return in time. You are a being of immense power. A deity, no less. I have heard many a tale of your kindness, nobility, and bravery. Your unflinching heroism. That's a lot to live up to. For now, let us head to Lethos Castle. 
Queen Lumera will be thrilled to see you. Perhaps the reunion will help stir your memories. I hope so. Okay then, onward and downward. To Lethos Castle! All this time, I've been sleeping in the sky? You have, yes. The place where you slumbered is known as the Somniel, a fortress built upon an airborne island to ensure your safety. It is perhaps the most secure place in all of Elios. Only a select few can set foot there. I see. And you three live there with me? Yep. As stewards, we spend our time caring for you and managing things around the Somniel. It's a sacred place, so we work as hard as we can to keep it shipshape. Royal family members visit us all the time. Well, visit you, really. The Prince and Princess of Firene, a deeply religious country, visit especially often. They pray next to you, like this. Then they just talk for a while, like they're chatting to a friend. I see. Thanks for filling me in, Fram. You too, clan. <laughs> the Divine One said our names and thanked us. I think I'm going to faint. Unless I already did. Am I dreaming? Need I remind you that you are in the presence of the Divine Dragon? How many times must I tell you to behave in a manner befitting your station? Divine One, please, forgive this embarrassing breach of decorum. Breach of decorum? <laughs> I'm actually enjoying their enthusiasm. <laughs> You're just as kind-hearted as I always imagined. Oh, look! There it is! Lethos Castle. The... Divine Dragon Monarch is there, you said? Yes. I suppose a thousand years have passed since you've been home. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. You can hold my hand if you like. Thank you. Hmm? How long have I been wearing this ring? Since before I fell asleep? That blue stone... It reminds me of something. Huh? What are those horrible things? Vander, are creatures like that common around here? They're not. I've never seen them. Nor have I heard of such monsters appearing in Lethos before. This is a land of peace. Understood. Well... Shall we fight them? As you wish, Divine One. You whose bravery knows no equal. No, let's run. Huh? We haven't the slightest idea who they are, and we don't know how they came to be here. Also, they worry me for some reason. So, we run! I, uh, well, did the Divine Dragon really command me to retreat? Okay, get to safety! We'll keep them distracted for you! <laughs> what the? Come back! Come back this instant! <laughs> 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 Oh no! Oh, this isn't looking good! Clan! Fram! Hold on! We shall come to you! Vander! Divine One, stay back. It's too dangerous. Clan and Fram were trying to protect me. I have to help them. I take back what I said. This is no time to run! Please, let me fight! All right, but stay on your guard. I will. What are these creatures doing in Lethos? We had best use the foliage to take cover. I'll do my best.
Second steward of the dragon. Fram, are you all right? Plan, Fram, it's not safe for you here. Retreat to the castle. These enemies are formidable indeed. Divine One, please use a vulnerary if you are wounded. <laughs> I am your weapon. Monsters, don't scare me! trying to protect me. I should be protecting you. If only I could. Somehow. Huh? You must remember. Who... who said that? <clears throat> the ring. Know that my strength can be yours. I know that voice. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Divine One? <laughs> Divine One! You mustn't do this alone! Don't worry! Please! I'm not alone! Help me. Lend me your strength in this fight. <laughs> Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! <laughs> I am known as Marth. Emblem Marth, to be clear. Do my eyes deceive me? 
Or is that an emblem of legend? Flam! Bram! Get to safety! Now! I'm uh, great! <laughs> With your help, Marth, we might just make it. Will you join us? Of course. I will fight alongside you from here forward. Your ally until the very end. Lend me your strength! I live to fight again. to lose. I am as strong as ever. Yeah, and, uh, sorry. This all happened because we ran ahead. I'm the one who should apologize. You put yourselves in danger trying to protect me. <laughs> it's such a relief you're both safe now. Divine One, I hear more enemies approaching. More? I thought we'd gotten them all. Evidently not. These creatures... Will there be no end to them? There's more? And they've got a dragon? At last, you are awake. Oh. Is it really you? Yes, it's me. Thank you for saving us. What a joy it is to see you. Huh? I've waited for so long. Oh. When I sensed you had awoken, I flew here as fast as my wings would carry me. I hope you're not hurt. I'm... I'm fine. What a relief. You cannot understand how I've missed you, my dear child. Oh, you're... my mother. What's the matter? Don't tell me. Since awakening, the Divine One's memory is clouded. <sighs> I see. I'm sorry. I'm sure you weren't expecting this. No. I must apologize. I was so overcome with joy. I hugged you as hard as I could. I take this to mean you've forgotten... everything. I suppose it's to be expected. A thousand years is a very long time. 
Vander explained that I've been sleeping since... since some war that happened back then? Yes. You suffered a terrible wound. And... and because of that... A wound? I don't remember that. Or this world, or anything. Don't fret, young one. I will speak to you of all you've forgotten. Regardless of what you remember, I'm simply glad to have you back, my dear child. Still, this isn't the reunion you hoped for. Oh, don't worry about me. It's solace enough just to hear that sweet voice of yours, and to gaze once more into your eyes. What lovely colors they are. Amazing! <laughs> Thank you. Let's head to the castle. Climb on my back. We live on the continent of Elios, four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. Thyrene, kingdom of abundance. Brodia, kingdom of might. Elusia, kingdom of knowledge. Solm, queendom of freedom. The land of Lethos, home of divine dragons. And Gradlon, domain of the fell dragon. Fallen to ruin. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the Fell Dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us, heroes known as Emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. If his shadow stretches across the land again, then we must fight him anew, as we did in ages past. Fell Dragon, Sombron, must be stopped. Here we are. We are safe within these walls. So this is Lethos Castle. It's beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Though you may not remember this place, I've long waited to welcome you back here. Welcome home. <sighs> I'm home? Yes, you are. <sighs> I feel overwhelmed with joy. I may cry. Queen Lumera. Vander. Clan. Frem. Thank you for all you've done. You are worthy stewards indeed. You and your predecessors. Watching over my child all these years. I am ever so grateful. You are too kind. Yeah, it's awful nice of you to say that. I'm starting to feel woozy. Oh yeah, go us! We just got 
praised by Queen Lumera herself! The happiness of this moment aside, I am troubled to see the Corrupted here in Lethos. The Corrupted? Those enemies you were fighting out on the grasslands. Oh, I didn't like those things one bit. Just the sight of them made my blood run cold. Understandably so. The Corrupted are corpses revived by an evil power. The Fell Dragon used them as his soldiers in the war. Before the start of that bitter conflict, Elios had known peace for eons. But then, a dark presence emerged. Sombron. Despite tireless searching, we could not determine where he'd come from. But seeing the destruction he wrought, there was no doubt of his evil intentions. Now the Corrupted are spreading once more. This may be a sign of his return. No. I wonder if it is mere coincidence that you awakened as all this unfolds. If the Fell Dragon has been released, then we must prepare for battle. I can't imagine fighting someone like that. Worry not. I doubt he will attack anytime soon. This castle is filled with the spirits of divine dragons. The Corrupted cannot enter it easily. Let us devise a plan now, while we have the opportunity. Emblem Marth. It's been quite some time, Lumera. That it has. Thank you for lending your aid against the Corrupted. You're welcome. But of course, I could help only because your child remembered me. You know, it is possible the others are awake now, just as I am. Perhaps you are right. Sorry, but what do you mean? Who's awake? There is something I should show you. Follow me. What is this place? This is the Ring Vault. It is where the Emblem Rings are enshrined. Those of the Holy Knight, of the Sage Lord, and of the Azure Twins rest here, as well as the Ring of the Princess Exalt, and finally, the Ring of the Instructor. Each dwells within an Emblem Ring, as Marth resides in the Ring of the Hero King. So, counting Marth, there are six Emblem Rings. Wow. In fact, there are twelve. Six here, and six entrusted to the other countries. As a precautionary measure. What do you mean? The emblems grant world-altering power to whoever has all twelve rings. For generations, the Divine Dragons used this power to ensure peace and prosperity in Elios. Indeed, that was how we locked away the Fell Dragon. But many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Which is why they're scattered all over the continent, not just stored here. Precisely. The rings offer their power but once every thousand years, at which time the Divine Dragon travels across Elios to collect them from each nation's ruler. With a thousand years having passed since last time, I was planning to carry out this ritual soon. But if the Fell Dragon is after the rings, the emblems may be summoned before I arrive. Summoned? It is how one calls for an emblem from a ring, just as you did earlier with Marth. Only those with royal dragon blood are capable of summoning. That includes you, my child. Oh, you must be talking about the phrase that popped into my head. An invocation, you mean. What was it? Shine on, emblem of beginnings. I wasn't even thinking about it. The words just fell from my mouth. That was how you summoned Marth. <sighs> what was your focus, your intention, when you spoke those words? I wanted to help Clan and Fram. I didn't want to lose them. I wanted to protect them. Your focus was on helping others. Remember that intention whenever you summon emblems. Not to keep the power for yourself. Understand? to borrow, so you may protect others. I understand. Now, why don't we try a practice battle? You must be a little rusty after all these years. How about we train here? You will be the one fighting. The emblem lends you their strength. You need to train your body and mind to unleash an emblem's full power. 
Vander, Clan, Frem, you will be aiding my child in this battle. Against me. Queen Lumera, even in a practice battle, I could not turn my weapon on you. Oh, Vander, please do put your heart into it. I know I will. The Corrupted? No, dear. Not at all. How could you think so? I made these opponents from plants and rocks. Nevertheless, their abilities are the same. Drop your guard and you could be hurt. They're really unsettling. Can we train with something else? They give me the chills. Listen, you must push through your fear and face whatever opponent stands against you. Never run away. You are my child, the protector of all. The Divine Dragon. I understand. Don't worry, Divine One. We'll back you up every step of the way. Yeah! What Fram said. As loath as I am to battle against Queen Lumera, orders are orders. I pledge to bring us victory. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's begin. Be cautious, Divine One. Some of these enemies are carrying long-range weapons. Therefore, they can rain arrows upon us from afar. See this enemy with the axe. Axe wielders are at a disadvantage against swords. Swords are strong against axes, axes against lances, and then lances against swords. If you outmatch your foe, you can break their fighting stance for an advantage in combat. Try it. Strike with your sword. After their stance is broken, they'll be open to further attack. Well done. You see, swords are strong against axes. Always keep such weapon advantages in mind. Enemies can't counterattack while recovering their stance. A good time to finish them off. Yes, here. Hey, Divine One, I don't know if you knew this or not, but I can use magic. I'm good from near or far, even against well-protected enemies. Right?
I can fight. Emblem, engage! Queen Lumera, please forgive me for standing against you. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. Queen Lumera, I don't want to attack you. I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. Your steward's ready. There is no need to hold back, my child. All right. Stay back! My prayers are with you! This is it! So sorry. Fantastic work. You fought together splendidly. Let's move on. Wait over there a moment. All right. If everyone is in position, we'll begin. This time, I will be more hands-on. I intend to fight as if in an actual battle. Furthermore, I'll be using this. Is that the Ring of the Holy Knight? Indeed it is. I'm inviting an old friend to join us. <sighs> I am Sigurd. If you require strength and swiftness, I am all too happy to oblige. Emblem Sigurd. He looks like a strong opponent. Each emblem has their own abilities. When allied with them, you can call upon their unique powers and skills. Whatever Sigurd's power is, it won't be the same as Mart's. We'd better keep our eyes open. My rapier is effective against cavalry, like those enemies over there. Once we engage, you can use my weapon. Try it against that foe.
like that, maybe? Your teamwork is inspiring. Now it's time for us to make our move. Come, Sigurd. That was incredible. Lord Sigurd is remarkably swift. Perhaps we should be grateful this is a mock battle. more of a challenge your enemies will not hold back and neither will I that is why you must defeat me what a delight it is to see you in battle after all these years fate has brought us here so sorry You've won. I'm proud to see you working together so well. Well fought, everyone. You bested Sigurd and me. That's quite the feat. There is much to improve upon, but this is a wonderful start. Great work. Thank you. I can't believe we had to fight against Queen Lumera. Yeah, well, I can't believe we won! Though you have only just awoken, your power seems to be growing already, Divine One. I'd like for you to have this. This is the sword you were using, isn't it? Yes. An ancient blade that can be wielded only by Divine Dragons. It served me well for many years, but now it is yours. Consider it a prize for your victory today. Thank you. Someday, I'll prove that I'm worthy of this sword. I have no doubt. Please, take this as well. Is this another emblem ring? No. It is purely ornamental. You see, before your slumber, I made you a promise. What was it? 
I said I'd give you a birthday present that suited you perfectly. I was working on it in private, but I was unable to finish it in time. That birthday has long since passed, but I would quite like to give you this gift now. I'm sorry. I can't accept. Why not? That ring fulfills a promise you made me, right? But I don't remember that promise. It'd feel wrong accepting it. Like I was taking a present meant for someone else. Please offer me this gift again once I've remembered everything. Everything, you say? <sighs> Did facing me in battle stir any recollections? It didn't. I'm sorry. You need not apologize. It doesn't matter what you can remember right now. I only hope that one day, you will think of me as your mother, as you did a thousand years ago. <sighs> Forgive me. I was so thrilled to spend time with you again. I suppose I got a little carried away, didn't I? Oh, no. It's all right. <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot. Perhaps we should call it a day, hmm? But let's agree to chat again in the morning. What do you say? Pinky promise? <laughs> All right. Please rest easy for today. Spectacular as ever. Oh, how wonderful to see my child awake at last. Now we'll never have to be apart. There is so much to catch up on, so much to see and do together. We can chat for hours, take long walks, Share meals, and then... Mm. If my child's memories are truly lost, I wonder... <sighs> Emblem Sigurd. I am here. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Today certainly was eventful. Queen Lumera seems so kind and caring. I'm sure she was a wonderful mother. If only I could remember those days. I must have felt so lucky to be her child. Why are you here alone? <laughs> It looked as though you were having a bad dream. I was. But yes, I'm all right. Were you here this whole time? You were wearing my ring when you went to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take it off. That's all right. Keep it on. Then if something happens, I will be able to help. Besides, after a millennium together, I would feel uncomfortable if we were separated now. Marth. What was I like? Hmm... You knew me back then. You must be able to tell me something. Well... You were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. Take your time. Ease back into your memories. Lumera advised that too, didn't she? Yes, she did. Sorry. I don't mean to be impatient. 
It's all right. What was that? I'm not sure. An enemy raid? We had best take a look. I'm worried about Lumera and the others. Agreed. Vander! Clan! Fram! Oh, Divine One. Thank goodness you're safe. What's happening? Tell me. Some enemies busted right through the castle walls like paper! Suddenly, bam! They're here! What's worse, they fought their way into the ring vault. If you ask me, they're trying to get their hands on the emblem rings. Even as we speak, Queen Lumera is defending the vault. Quickly, we must fly to her aid. Sounds like a plan. Follow me! As your steward. I've got this. My prayers are with you! I live to fight again. The Divine Dragon looked right at me. Too many of them. We'll never make it to the Ring Vault. Who the Thor, right? Yes, this is the one. Then let go. I hear voices. Someone's coming. moment too soon. The Crown Prince Alfred of Firinae is here to help. Let me at him. Prince Alfred of Firinae, you said? Could it be? Are you the Divine Dragon? You finally woke up? I did, yes. That's amazing! You know, I've waited ages for this to happen. There's so much to talk about, later, of course, after we've taken care of these scoundrels. Uh, who are they, anyway? We're not sure. They attacked so suddenly. Well, let's do this quickly. 
pin down whoever's in charge and get some answers. Oh, these are my retainers, Etier and Boucheron. From now on, consider us at your disposal. Lead the way, Divine One. Thank you for your help. It's an honor to meet you, Divine One. I'm Etie. My arrows are perfect for knocking airborne enemies out of the sky. With these muscles, I'll have those flyers dropping like flies. Pretty weak. What's our move? I'll cut you down! This is what I trained for. Sorry, Divine One. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. My name's Boucheron. If I'm near an enemy you're fighting, I can jump in and land another hit on them. Call on me if you need some extra oomph. I'm here, Divine One. to lose. Point the way again. Where to?
Sort of like that, maybe? Steward. any soldiers, are you? Looks like we cleared the way. Let's get to the ring vault. Whoever it is you are, the rest of your forces have all been defeated. So surrender now. If you refuse, I will stop you! Hmm. <clears throat> but how? Do I detect a hint of fear? Of course I do. <clears throat> Time to die. over to me. Leave here at once! to you. I hoped it would be enough to bring you back to me someday. But now, it would seem that I am completely spent. Oh no, this is my fault. I did this. No, my dear. You have to push those thoughts away. 
There is nothing a mother wouldn't do to see life return again to her beloved child. But I... This ring, it belongs to you now. The ring of the Holy Knight. I had so hoped to give you the ring I made as well. But that's not possible now. Listen to me, child. Those who invaded here, I sense the power of the fell dragon within them. <sighs> you must not allow them to capture any more of their rings. Please, I beg of you, gather together all twelve rings. <sighs> and when your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. And I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want. But please, don't leave me. <sighs> Mother! Ah, oh. oh, young one. How I've longed to hear you call me that. All of those years, I held out hope. My heart is fuller than you could ever know. It can't end like this. You were going to give me that ring once my memories came back. You promised. And there, there are so many things you haven't told me yet. You said that we would talk. I did. There's still so much I wanted to say to you. Being your mother, becoming your mother has brought so much happiness into my life. I know, and I'm happy to be your child. In this moment, here and now, and a thousand years ago, I am. Don't go. Stay with me until I remember again. Please, mother, I need more time. <laughs> oh, my sweet one. Now, let's make a promise. Mother and child, we'll make it a pinky promise. I swear to you, I'll be with you always and forever. And the ring, remember. Once you've rested, we will talk. You and I. Mother. No. Please! This simply cannot have happened. Queen Lumera. Divine Dragon Queen. She has left us. Mother. Please wake up. You promised you'd stay by my side. You have to. You have to keep your promise. Thank you for helping with my mother's funeral. It was the final service we could provide Queen Lumera as stewards. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Come on, Fram. Think how hard this must be on the Divine Dragon. We gotta hold it together. I'm trying, but... <laughs> <sighs> Lumera. I never thought our paths would diverge so soon. Nor I. And to leave a child behind, I did that in death. A bitter memory. I vow to protect your offspring in your absence, Lumera. If we could grant our power now... Marth, you know that's not possible without the other emblems here. Yes, yes, I know. This is awful. Sorry I couldn't have done... something. No, Prince Alfred. Without you, our losses may have been even greater. Though I must ask, why did you come? Was there something you needed? Our kingdom is in danger. My mother sent me to ask Queen Lumera for help. All over Firinae, our people are being attacked by these... these... creatures. Creatures? What kind of creatures? These things are like... people, but... 
cracked, almost crumbling. The corrupted. Oh, so that's what you call them. Yes, corpses brought back to life. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. They just keep attacking everything. We sent our knights out to hold them off, but it's a losing battle. My kingdom is being destroyed. Divine One, will you help us? Please, come with me to Firine. Me? What can I do? It was my mother's help you wanted, not mine. Queen Lumera is gone. You're the last Divine Dragon. We need the power of the rings to save Firine. And only you can do that. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to press the topic. I'll return to Firine. We'll do what we can. I'm coming with you. You will? I don't want more families to be torn apart. More people to suffer. Even if I'm scared, I have to push through my fear. Now that my mother is gone, it's my duty to step into the role of Divine Dragon. And if each kingdom is protecting rings, I take it Firine has one, correct? That's right. Then I need to go there anyway, to honor my mother's request. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. As the Divine Dragon, I officially accept the Kingdom of Firine's request for aid. That's great to hear. Thank you, Divine One. Happy to help, Prince Alfred. Just Alfred is fine. I've been visiting you at the Somniel since I was a boy. I think of you as an old friend. A very, very old friend. I appreciate that. Actually, I can't remember anything from before I fell asleep. Nothing? This world is new to me. I appreciate having friends who can teach me about it. I'll do my best. Can't say I'll know much compared to Queen Lumera, but I'll try. Thank you, Alfred. We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a Divine Dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a Divine Dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one. But don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings, just as you asked. And then, I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are, safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. 
but it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm, a piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground in the ring vault after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait, it's familiar somehow, even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firene. Yes. Ah. You know, Yes! Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Well, let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please... You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. If I may... Here we are, the Kingdom of Firene. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the Corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to! Let's see. Firne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. 
we're known as a uh, land of plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm, the Queendom of Freedom, and Brodia, the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firene. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Illusia to expand his own territory. I take it Illusia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Illusians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Illusia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firene? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Oh no. The Corrupted. They're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saley, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis, Chloe, you can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <sighs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with her highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's. Lord Sigurd, I am ready. doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusian army is marching on the castle. 
What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. <sighs> the words... They're coming to me. Care for us, Emblem of Echoes! I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinae's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Saline. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. It is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Celica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Please grant me your strength. I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. Resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. <laughs> my apologies. I strike you! 
I want to help you. I'm listening. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. This isn't so bad. For the Divine Dragon! I'll do my best. I am your weapon. Lend me your strength! I won't get lost. We fight for peace. Lend me your strength. I live to fight again. Houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old fashioned village pillage. The crystal, it's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> 
There is nothing to fear. I'm starting to feel it. deserves. So your tale ends. It's starting to wear on me. rely on you. We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted!
feels way better. be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Pyrene. There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Huh? She's... gone. Divine One! Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid, and your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. 
please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Celine? Friends? I would be honored. Very nice. Thank you. Oh my! Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Durton. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. Um, <clears throat> Divine One. What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. Uh, you're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. You got yourself a bargain. Huh. Can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. <laughs> it is good that we can talk after I spent so long silently watching over you. I know what you mean. I'm really glad to have you at my side, supporting me in person. I may. I thank you. Now about the shop.
Do come again. Wow! So, about the armor. Take care. Yes. Oh, my. Where's the castle? It's so quiet. Where are our knights? Or the Illusion soldiers, for that matter? You said they were marching toward the castle when you left. They've probably made their way inside. But then, what of the townsfolk? What of Mother? Let's hurry. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, Queenie. But our forces have taken the castle. This is the part where you tell me where you've got the ring stashed in here. Who's to say? Is it inside the castle? Out on the grounds? I'm asking all polite like. Come on! <laughs> I'm not in the habit of speaking to lowly vermin. That's all that you are, the lot of you. The mouth on this one. You think I won't get you where you stand? <sighs> I'd recommend against it, darling. Lady Zephyr! After all, Her Majesty can't tell us much of value if she's dead. Now, I come bearing news. One of our soldiers said he spotted the princess fleeing before we arrived. How curious. Did you perhaps give that daughter of yours the ring for safekeeping? Well, isn't this tragic? We'd simply hate to resort to violence. You leave us no choice. By virtue of your silence, we will now kill every living soul in this castle one by one. <sighs> Please, no! Mother! Mother, we're here! Alfred, Celine. Oh, look, the kids are home. You illusion scum! Get away from her! <laughs> Who's going to make us? I'm glad you've come. Now we can see for ourselves if the princess has the ring. No! Please! Leave my children alone! Of course. As long as you tell me where the ring is. I... Ah, young Saline does have it, doesn't she? We'll have to kill her then. The prince, too, for good measure. Take her majesty away. We'll continue our conversation later, if need be. <laughs> Unhand me! Mother! Let her go! All right, enough with the dramatics. Huh? You... You look familiar. <sighs> no, it couldn't be. Who are you? I am the Divine Dragon. Such lies. Lumera is the last of her kind. Shows what you know. The Divine One was asleep for a thousand years. Really? 
When did that beastly woman have a child? <laughs> Very well. Perhaps you can tell me what happened to dear Lumera then. I've been so worried about her since that awful battle at Letho's castle. How do you know about that? How indeed. You stole the rings? You killed my mother? She died? Oh, that poor dear. <laughs> Murderer. I will avenge her. Why, I didn't kill her. I will say your coming here was quite helpful. Assuming you are the beast's offspring. Because that means you have them, don't you? The rings of the Hero King and the Holy Knight. You'll never take them. Never. You were after our ring. I won't waste my breath on explanations, but I will tell you this. The Kingdom of Illusia has freed Lord Zombron from his imprisonment. The Fell Dragon has returned? No. Of course, even we couldn't have accounted for... you. His return must have awoken you. Show a little gratitude. You're wrong. I awoke because of my mother. Because she waited for me. All these years. A touching tale, I'm sure. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait! What can we do? To start, we defeat these soldiers and take back the castle. I'm not going to let them hurt Queen Ev, or anyone else. Get the rings. No prisoners. I was hoping you'd say that. The door's locked. What should we do? There's no time to find the key. Let's use brute force to knock it down. As your steward. Emblem engage! Raise your sword! eventually wilt. Here goes. Your steward's ready. What's next? As your steward! What's our move? Understood.
Gotcha. <laughs> the castle's under siege. Mighty fine time to nab some treasure. Thieves? Here? Now? That's the last thing we need. <laughs> We'd better stop them. For the Divine Dragon. Emblem engage. Trained for. My apologies. All flowers eventually wilt. Did 
Forget your loss. For the Divine Dragon. I'm on a mission! It's decided. Weakness.
My resolve is unchanged. Flowers eventually wilt. I'm getting hungry. The Divine Dragon. the divine dragon I can keep going. I hope you find peace.
Don't worry, I'm fine. Please grant me your strength. Was that sufficient? eventually wilt. My apologies. I will not be cut down. I'm ready to dig in. Simple enough. All right. Is it my turn? It looks like we can break that wall. We could catch the enemy by surprise if we do that. Oh! 
Those shiny rings of yours are gonna be mine, mine, mine! Reward, here I come! <laughs> that all you got? This one's a tough opponent. He can keep on fighting even after taking a fatal blow. Week. Oh. <laughs> no! I'm sorry. I am ready to serve. I will show you no mercy. Prepare to die. Ooh, the Divine Dragon. If I kill you, I won't have to lick her boots anymore. The Divine Dragon. Here until the end. If I can, I shall. Looky here! The runaway princess! I'll make you fly the coop again! I am not running this time. It will be you who flees for your life. Yes! Oh! I will not forget your loss.
Alfred. Mother is in the back room. She's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. My children, you're safe. What a relief. We have a guest, Mother. Someone came all the way from Lethos to see you. The Divine Dragon? Queen Ev, it's an honor to meet you. I'm so glad that you're all right. I've come here by invitation of Prince Alfred. Just look at you, awake at long last. I am Ev, the Queen of Firene. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you. The Divine Dragon has come to help our country, Mother. We were just in time to rescue Saline. And get this, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from our ring. A legendary emblem. Oh my, how extraordinary. Thank you sincerely. You have my deepest gratitude. My family is safe because of you. You are blessed with the same powers as your mother. How is Queen Lumera? Well, she's... she's gone. My mother passed away. No! That's awful. I'm so sorry. Some intruders entered the castle. They tried to kill me, but she gave her life to protect mine. Oh, how tragic. I'm glad that... that I could spare your children the pain of losing their mother. <sighs> My heart goes out to you. Forgive me. We've only just met, and here I am, laying my grief at your feet. I just wish I could have saved her, too. Divine One, while I cannot take away your sorrow, perhaps I can help you bear it. To reunite with her and then lose her so soon, I can only imagine how painful that was. For now, allow yourself to grieve knowing that I grieve with you. Thank you, Queen Ev. Your warmth, your kindness. It's almost like she's here with me. How are you feeling? Better. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. No, we shouldn't have dragged you into all this right now. I'm sorry, Divine One. As am I. But if I hadn't left when I did, what might have happened to you, Saline? Or you, Queen Ev? I'm proud to serve people in need. Like my mother did. Thank you. Now, the Illusion leader. She said her kingdom released the Fell Dragon. I take it that's why the Corrupted are appearing in Elios again. Now there's no question that the Fell Dragon's after the rings. Which means we need to hurry. Head them off before they can reach the next one. Queen Ev, your country's ring. May I take it? Of course. The Kingdom of Firene gives it with love, trust, and gratitude. Thank you very much. There is something you should know, however. My kingdom has another emblem ring in its possession. What? Since when? There is another ring? Here in Firene? It was kept secret to avoid conflict. For generations, knowledge of this ring has been confined to the monarchs of Firene. However, now that the Fell Dragon has arisen, it is best to dispel the Shroud of Secrecy. It is commonly thought that the Divine Dragon gave one ring to each country's leader. However, Firene received a second. The Ring of the Dawn Maiden. I see. To ensure that no one would find it, the ring was hidden away far from the castle. It rests in a shrine on the Brodian border. Oh, I remember those old ruins. What? You do? Yeah. Mother took me there after father died. She told me to keep the location in mind. At the time, I didn't know why. Now it makes sense. I was preparing you for the day you became king. I'll take everyone to the shrine. From there, I can continue on with the Divine Dragon. So, you are leaving, Alfred? Yes. I want to do my part to end this war. With your blessing, Mother, I'm going to help the Divine Dragon bring peace to Elios. Mother, I would like to join as well. Alfred. Saline. You have my blessing. I know you will serve the Divine Dragon with honor, on one condition. Swear to me that you will come back alive. I swear it. I swear it. 
Thank you very much, Queen Ev. I trust that you will take some time to rest prior to your departure. The journey ahead will be arduous, but know that you are all in my prayers. May good fortune shine upon you. Hey there! You're the Divine Dragon, right? Got a second to talk? Who might you be? Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Pinay, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. And, well, we'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please, come along to the Somniel. Really? That's great! You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> okay. I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? Hmm. Uh, what do you say? How about we call it even this time around? <laughs> I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. <laughs> I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood. Thank you. Now, about the boutique. Be well. Welcome, welcome. Here's how the smithy works. I'll be here.
These pills ought to clear up the problem. Let me know if the pain persists, okay? And you're looking chipper today. I told you that cold would be gone before you know it. Father, isn't it time you took a break? Look, I made you some tea. Thank you, John. You didn't burn yourself or anything preparing it, I hope. You worry too much. I'm old enough to manage a simple pot of tea, I assure you. <laughs> it makes me happy to see you growing up so fine. Huh? What's going on out there? Doctor, you have to help us. Monsters are on the attack and people are getting hurt. <laughs> What the devil are those beasts? This will get ugly. John, go and hide. I'll take care of bringing people to the clinic. This way, everyone! If you're unhurt, then assist someone who is injured. You must pull together! I know Father told me to hide, but how can I? I have to do my part, too. Oh, no. Get moving! There's shelter at the clinic! Keep your wits about you, everyone! I'll patch you up once the crisis has passed! We can't stand idle with the corrupted on the loose. Let's save those villagers! Are you alright? Get to safety and leave the corrupted to us! You don't have to tell me twice, but there's still a few left who didn't make it out in time. We'll do everything in our power to save as many of them as we can. They'll love you for it if you do. You're their last hope at this point. There are so many wounded we couldn't get to the clinic. Is it up to me to treat them all? Father, I'm here to help. If we split up, we can treat everyone. John, I thought I told you to run and hide. I can't stay hidden away when there are so many who need my help. After all, Father, am I not your son? You taught me that a doctor does whatever is needed. My lessons have sunk in, I see. Very well, then. Come and give me a hand. It's not safe here. You should be running. I can't. I'm the local doctor's son. I won't leave until I've helped the injured. Huh. You've got a lot of heart for a kid your age. All right? Let's join forces and save those villagers. I really appreciate the help. My name's John. Now come on, there's work to do. All the monsters are gone! We're saved! And it's thanks to the lot of you. I'm glad no one got hurt. I was a little worried there. You can't know what this means to us. We decided to give you this to show our thanks. Come now, Jean. Give the nice people a proper thank you. Oh, right. Thank you for saving our village. We saved it together. You did well today, Jean. Oh, I introduced myself to you, but I never asked your name, did I? Well, there was a lot going on. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon? From the land of Lethos? Oh, please forgive my rudeness. Don't mention it. Like I said, there was a lot going on at the time. What brings such a splendid personage to our humble village? I've been on a journey to defeat the Fell Dragon and bring peace to the world. The whole world? Wow. If it's all right with you, Divine One, can I come along and help? <gasps> Sean! What's got an end to you? My dream has always been to become a doctor so I can save people. And that hasn't changed. But with monsters running rampant, I might die before I can do that. Look what just happened. At the Divine Dragon's side, I think I can learn to fight and to heal people at the same time. Well, that's all very well for you. But what about the Divine Dragon? 
you'd just be a burden. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Not if what he did during that battle is anything to go by. If Jean wants to come, I don't mind. Though, I understand why you'd be worried. Well, if he has your permission, then... I can only ask that you take good care of my boy. What? You're actually allowing him to go? Father, I told you, you don't need to worry about me. It's not like I'm never coming home. In fact, when I do return, I'll be a first-rate doctor. You'll see. How quickly they grow up. Of course, Sean. Be a good boy, a hard worker, and an attentive student. And come home safe. I will. Thank you, both of you. I can't wait to start working alongside the Divine Dragon. The feeling is mutual, Sean. I have a hunch that I'll be leaning on you a lot in the days to come. Almost there. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. Except her. Oh! Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'd better help. I am her prince, after all. I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! <laughs> oh, what a scrape I'm in. Hey there. <gasps> What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time. I'm saved. Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Right, I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya! Hiya... Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? Is that... Did you... Uh, are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firene. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firene. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it, right? Right? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. 
golly! That's great news! She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her! Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah. A burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? Hmm. He's too far. I really can't say. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have the killer's eyes. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. Okie dokes. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage? Smart thinking, Yunaka. It's pitch black out here. How can we fight them if we can't even see them? Don't worry, Divine One. That's what I'm here for. My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. There he is! Let's take him by surprise! Good idea. Please, take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This'll net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. You can't even hear me, can you? I hear her! That's the voice from before! That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo. That's why we're here. Right. Well, thank you. You know, now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop. You're gonna make me blush. Got the ring. Heal us, emblem of dawn. Ah. 
I am Emblem Micaiah. I sense the future shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka, I entrust this ring to you. Me? Uh, but I... She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Micaiah? Yeah, okay. I won't let you down. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. With my magic, you may illuminate even the darkest of places. Understood. I'm ready. I am your weapon. Yeah! Say the word. Your steward's ready. Power blooms in me. What's next? The divine dragon looked right at me. Looks like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot! You got it! Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. Here goes. Whatever you need. Yeah. Ah! 
<laughs> I won't fall. Strength. Don't worry, I'm fine. I am the 32nd steward of the dragon. So embarrassing. I'm gonna pull out and get back to my training. I had to stop you. what I trained for. What a lovely scene. Dragon. Ugh! <laughs> 
I live to fight again. to lose. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. I live to fight again. Is it over? Is it my turn? Ah! Serves you right. I can still fight. A 
little late to be saving the day. We killed off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> I won't forget you. That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... What's the matter? I have a... uh, confession. The thing is... I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and... Kinda... well... lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about joining our forces? 
Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the emblem rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it! Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say, Haya Papaya. Uh... <laughs> Haya Papaya, back at ya, Divine One. With that settled, let's hurry onward. We've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian king when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Huh? Is that... Hey! Huh? You're the girl I met in Flora Mill Town. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time. It really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? The person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. What a pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. This kind of thing happens all the time. It looks pretty deep. There, that ought to hold for a while. Thank you. You're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends, as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? <laughs> Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. There she goes. See you around, Vale. Oh my! What in the world is this creature? Ah, so you have found it at last. Vander, what do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. She did? So... This creature has been alive for a very long time. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? If it is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel, doing so may bring some manner of benefit. What a great idea! Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. I'll call you...
Yes, I like that name. It's nice to meet you. I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around. Sorry, boss. The thief was too quick for us. We lost track of where she went. We're supposed to be the thieves, you bums. We steal. We don't get stolen from. Well, she can't have left this fortress yet. Go catch her. No excuses. Yes, boss. Boss! Bad news. Am I about to hear an excuse? There's a tough-looking bunch headed right for us. They're armed, too. Typical. How much worse can today get? Whatever. This won't stop us either. Battle squads in position and ready to move. I want our thieves in the treasury now. Once the treasure is secure, get to a safe place. Got it, boss. <laughs> a whole room full of treasure! I'm sure no one will mind if I help myself. Hey, is someone talking? Sounds panicked, whoever they are. Move your butts and get in position. Is there about to be a fight? Well, I'd better find some place to hide. I guess this is my best option. Can you believe the luck we're having today? Less talking, more stalking. Make sure your gear is ready before things kick off. Uh-oh. This is way too many bandits to make a clean getaway. Hmm. The townsfolk told us about a bandit base, and I'd say we've found it. I feel sorry for all those poor villagers who had their valuables stolen. Precious keepsakes, family heirlooms. Let's see if we can put them back in the right hands. Though it looks like we're in for a fight before that can happen. Hmm? Did that treasure chest just... move? So that's where the thief went. Ah! I've been found out! It won't open! Hey, thief. Let go of the lid. Don't make me work up a sweat. Dang! Found me. Only one thing to do now if I want to get out of this. Time to show my skills! There was a child in there? We have to hurry and rescue her from these bandits. There's the thief. Get her! <laughs> if you think you're gonna catch me that easily, think again! What's the little girl doing here? This is a bandit fort. It's no place for children. But you're not a bandit, right? So why don't you keep me safe? Well, uh, I mean, I could, but... It's a deal! Thanks a million! You might not think so, but I'm pretty handy in a fight. Let me help you help me! Here's hoping the local authorities will keep these bandits from causing any more trouble. You guys are really strong, huh? Do you have room on your team for me? You want to join us? I should warn you, our battles will be much more grueling than that. You'd be placing yourself in danger. I know I'm small, but I pack a punch. I can take care of myself, guaranteed. Besides, I've got nothing better to do. Not until I figure out where my family went. You lost your family. It gets lonely on the road. Maybe if I travel with you folks, our paths will cross someday. Well, if that's what you want, I have no objections. I'm the Divine Dragon. Looking forward to working with you. Hang on, what? You're the Divine Dragon? My sails! They're gonna go through the roof! Oh, and the name's Anna, but you can call me Lady Anna. Pleasure to be in business with you.
So, you made it across the border. We're in Brodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. Watch out! <laughs> We're under attack? Name yourselves! I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <sighs> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief! I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Firne, and your ally. The Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firne? That's right! Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? I... <laughs> I am so, so, so sorry! Huh? Uh, I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene! I'm begging you, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! It's all right. No harm was done. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Hmm, wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. You're not just a soldier, are you? Uh, no, I'm Alcrest, second prince of Brodia. Prince? I thought so! How's it going, Prince Alcrest? Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh, these are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. Honored to meet you and your coterie. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. I can't say I feel very welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. He ordered us to meet you at the border and formally welcome you to the kingdom. We've been waiting for a long time, and all we encountered were bizarre creatures or bandits. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We had to take a little detour. Still, if your arrow hit the Divine One, Brodius standing would have been seriously hurt. Be more careful next time, Prince Alchrist. I will. I really am sorry. You cannot be held liable, Alchrist. You had no way of knowing who they were. Was it not possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more resplendent manner? This is the Kingdom of Warriors. If you can't dodge one arrow, you're not worthy to enter. Here, the weak serve the strong. Maybe we should give you a little test, hmm? What did you say? She didn't mean that. Apologies. My country places too much value on strength. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess, Prince Alfred. Oh, well, thank you. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me greeting you instead of someone better. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. Really? You're grateful to see... me? Yes. Honored, in fact. <sighs> How polite of you to say so. Charming as well as divine, I see. Could you do me the favor of being... less dazzling? I find it... Uh, so hard to shine as it is. Uh... all right. Now, come with me. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. We will arrive at the Grand Crossing soon. That will take us to the castle. Good. Divine One, if I may. I was wondering about something Queen Eve said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. An Illusion we fought told us as much. I see. We'd heard rumors to that effect. But I didn't dare believe them. <sighs> Those neighbors of ours. You will need all the rings to defeat the Fell Dragon, right? For generations, my country has possessed the Ring of the Young Lion. The Ring of the Young Lion? 
It has a red stone and a certain gallant aura. Diamant, the crown prince, told me he's been hearing a voice from the ring. He's a remarkable person. I'm lucky to be his brother. You really admire him, don't you? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The king adores him, as do our people. My brother is cut from the noblest cloth. I'm afraid I was made from the tatters. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is. The Grand Crossing. There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are... Illusion soldiers! They're occupying the bridge! No! Finally! It took you long enough. Very rude to keep a princess waiting. Very rude indeed. Princess? That would be me! The second princess of Illusia! Lugia's second princess? Uh-huh, in the flesh. And you're the divine dragon. Uh, right. Ew, I knew it! I could totally tell. You're the prettiest. That's a dead giveaway. I always thought Lumera was the only divine dragon. You could have knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one. Wow, those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see. Don't come any closer! You wicked illusions aren't worthy to approach the Divine Dragon! Huh. Nobody asked you, Brodian! Besides, we're not the wicked ones, you are! <sighs> My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory, taking our land. It's the worst! Do you know how many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people? We're not just invading to expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Hardly. I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings. By order of my father, King Hyacinth. He told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. Never. Aww, I thought nabbing your rings would be the easy job. Lucky big sis getting to attack the castle instead. The crown princess? She's going to attack Brodia Castle? Oops, probably shouldn't have said that. We must go right away. Ha, as if I'd let you pass. My father's gonna be so proud of me. All illusion soldiers, forward march! Get me those rings! We must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. Of course, Prince Alchrist. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. I will protect you both. So brave. But, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, get behind me. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, Chris, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on, Citrine. You should also be in the back. Ah, uh, you too. Looks like it's starting. To your positions, everyone. Oh, the Divine Dragon is absolutely... Absolutely not as cute as we are. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Outshine the enemy, and then defeat them. Now, let's steal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them.
Solcrist. Citrine, stay back. I'll handle this. I can knock down anyone who stands in our way. Apologize later. I'll do it. I'm all set. Very well. Thank you for the dance. Let's go! I am your weapon. For peace. Do my best. Emblem engage. I cannot afford to lose. Please. We've had such a wonderful time playing together, haven't we, Divine Dragon? Speaking for myself, it's been lovely. So I hope you don't mind, but I brought a friend along to join in the fun. <sighs> That's an emblem. But how? How is she here without my summoning her? Look at your face! You silly divine dragon! Did you think emblems were just a you thing? Not by a long shot. Yeah, it's a pretty cool trick, huh? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm able to use it. And it's all thanks to Lord Sombron powering up this ring. It's called the Ring of the Princess Exalt. <laughs> Cute, am I right? That's one of the rings my mother was protecting. 
Give it back! Yeah, not gonna happen. It's Illusia's ring now. But if you really want to see it one last time... Come a little closer. I'll give you a good long look. That emblem is a formidable foe. Nearby enemies can join in her attacks. We'll have to be careful. I want to help you. I'll protect you. I live to fight again. Protect us. The rest it deserves. And they lived happily ever after. There is nothing to fear. Ha! 
I want to help you. Simple enough. Is it go time? Don't worry, I'm fine. Your lucky day, cutie. You get to fight me. You got an emblem ring? Better cough it up. I will never give up. How about this? Please grant me your strength. Nicely. Please die. Grant me strength. You're horrible. That's it. 
I'm leaving. I still stand. Emblem engage! Return the ring. No way! I'm the one who's after the rings. We could have done this the easy way, but no! You had to be stubborn. I'm stubborn? My prayers are with you! They fled in a hurry. Hmm. There's a lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. We didn't recover the emblem ring. We didn't lose any either. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Let's call that good enough. <sighs> you're right. It is plain now that Queen Lumera's stolen rings lie in Illusia's hands. In which case, we can deduce that they possess five. Five? Yes. 
Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle, the rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. Which one? If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. The King favors it, or so I've heard. He keeps it in his personal chambers. His chambers? That's odd. Firne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Firene, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. Speaking of which, how soon might we be able to depart? I really am worried about the situation there. The soldiers should be back from patrol soon. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. what you said to me all those long years ago where are you brother we're here brodia castle I don't see any Illusion soldiers. Oh, thank goodness. The attack hasn't begun. Wait. There's someone in front of the gate. He doesn't look like a guard. Is it an enemy soldier? No. That's... That's Diamant! He must have come out to greet us! I've been waiting for you, Divine One. I greet you as the Crown Prince of Brodia. I'm Diamant. I've heard so much about you. I'm honored to finally meet the legend in person. It's a pleasure, Prince Diamant. And Prince Alfred, welcome. Queen Eve's letter explained your situation. Thanks for coming all this way. It's good to see you. Likewise. I'm sorry it took a war for us to meet again after all this time. Oh, and Alcrist. Thanks for escorting our guests from the border. I know that's a rugged road. It was nothing, really. I bear ill news, however. Illusion forces attacked us at the Grand Crossing. Is that right? A battalion led by Princess Hortensia. We fought her off, but she said something troubling. The Crown Princess intends to assault Brodia Castle. If they're after our emblem ring, we may be on course for a dangerous confrontation. We'll have to prepare our defenses. Thanks for the warning, Alchrist. Come. Father will want to hear about this. Why do you all look so tense? Father, you were supposed to be waiting inside. Yes, I know. And I was. But then I had this feeling my boy Alchrist might be home. It seems my fatherly intuition was right. As usual, <laughs> welcome back, son. Thank you, father. I wish you'd stop finding excuses to leave the castle. It's not safe out here. Please, Diamant, not another lecture. Where's the harm in welcoming my dear boy back from his journey? Anyway, we'd best not argue in front of our guests. Oh, it's all right. Please, pardon my rudeness. Divine One, Prince Alfred, welcome. I am Morian. King of Brodia. Good to meet you. Likewise. I never imagined I'd meet the Divine Dragon. Indeed, such a special occasion calls for a welcoming duel. There's no time for that. 
we have an important matter to discuss. As all Christ was escorting our guests from the border, Illusion soldiers attacked them. Ha! Huh. Illusions. It appears that the Crown Princess is planning an assault on Brodia Castle. Already making their move, huh? Soldiers, go now! Shore up our defenses! Yes, Your Majesty. Well done getting that information, Alchrist. Please, I don't deserve such kind words. Humble as ever, son. <laughs> huh. King Morian, excuse me, but I need your kingdom's aid. You want our emblem ring, right? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. That's why I brought it. Here, the ring of the young lion. Hey, Diamant, think fast. Father, we're supposed to take care of the ring, not throw it around. Ah, you're no fun. Um, Alfred? Yes? King Morian seems so... nice. This is the man who's always invading Elusia? I thought he'd be more... intimidating. You're seeing Morian friend and family man. He's known to be a big-hearted guy. But in battle, the demon comes out. He's not someone you want as your enemy. Ugh. Father can be such a handful sometimes. Divine One, I've got the ring for you. Thank you. What will you do with it? I'm going to summon an emblem. Rise up, emblem of binding. I'm Roy. If you're summoning me, that can only mean war has begun. There was a person in there? How about that? All along, this emblem dwelt in our family's ring. And now you have released him. It seems divine is no exaggeration, huh? Urgent news, Your Majesty. An illusion wyvern rider is approaching. It's dodging all our archers' attacks. What? She's here. Divine One, may I call upon Roy's help to defend the castle? Of course. I, Princess Ivy, speak for the Illusion Throne. I will now take your lives. Your souls, and the rings. I underestimated how far you could get into Brodian territory, Princess Ivy. My soldiers are on the way. Now, I will give you a chance to surrender before they arrive. Oh, I'm itching for that fight. Father, go back to the castle. What? Why? If something happened to you, our country would be devastated. Please, leave this to us. Right. Why should the king get a say in the matter? I'll do as you ask. But, Diamant, Alchrist, don't you dare get killed. We won't. Uh, well, we'll try not to. You must be the Divine Dragon. That's right. You really are as stunning as my sister said. I'm pleased to meet you. As is my ring. But that's... The ring of the Sage Lord. A gift from my father. With its power, I am sorry to say... I must kill you. I won't let that happen. It's you who will fall, Princess Ivy. You won't surrender, then. In that case, my forces will prepare for battle. As will ours. I'll stop at nothing to get those rings back. <sighs> Finally! Horsey, you stopped! <sighs> Where were you taking me? Huh? Wait, uh... Is this the castle? Is that Prince Diamant? Amber? 
What are Illusion soldiers doing here? They've attacked us. Say, Amber, weren't you out fighting beasts? I was, but then Horsey got spooked and wouldn't listen to me. I kept getting tossed around on its back, and next thing I know, here I am. <laughs> I'll never understand how you end up in these strange situations. But this time, it works in our favor. I was just wishing you were here. Maybe Horsey sensed this danger. That's so clever of you! Ready to defend the castle together? I was born ready! If our enemies reach the gate, the castle will be theirs. We can't allow that to happen. All right. I will do what I must. Please grant me your strength. Your orders, please. I am your weapon. Awaiting orders. Together we will defend the castle. Very well. I'll do it. Whatever you ask. Yes. Whatever you need. until the castle is ours. If these enemies all come at once, our defenses won't hold. Our castle has a ballista. We can use that to pick them off.
Lend me your strength. I cannot afford to lose. Emblem engage! Please protect us. Understood. Emblem, engage! The true battle is yet to come. want to help you. this victory.
the stuff. Fierce battle. I'll help. I'll do my best. I live to fight again. Leave now, or my duty demands you be destroyed. Nothing personal. You dare! Unfortunate. I must return to Princess Ivy. With 
This emblem's strength and my own. There will be no defeating me. My name is Kagetsu. Pleased to meet you. If only it were under friendlier circumstances. <laughs> are strong. can still fight. My turn?
I'm ready. I can fight. Stop. A fallen hero. That would make a good legend. But it's not the one I want. I'd better retreat. I won't follow you. We recovered the ring, but the emblem is tainted with fell dragon energy. I'll have to summon him again myself. Free us, emblem of genealogy. I am Leaf. Thank you for letting me swing a sword with these arms again. I will do what I can to retrieve that which has been stolen. Thank you, Leaf. How could I have failed? It's over, Princess Ivy. Surrender. I will not. There is more for me to do. No! She's gone. Your Highness, urgent news from the border. What is it? An Aleutian battalion stands at the ready. King Hyacinth is acting as general. He's leading their army himself. What? Yes. And he is demanding to see King Morian. <sighs> I must face him. Anything less would bring dishonor to Brodia. Father, he's baiting you. This may be a trap of some kind. Go back inside. Ha! I can fight my way out of whatever trap he springs. I urge you to reconsider. Listen, who's the father and who's the son here? Stop trying to protect me. <laughs> son, this has been happening a lot lately. What's it all about? Are you worried Brodia might lose this war? Or lose its king? <sighs> We're not ready for any of this. Brodia to lose its king. Or me. My father. Diamond. From a young age, I was told I would lead Brodia after you died. Imagine, a boy forced to anticipate his father's death. To think of that empty throne. The Fell Dragon has returned. War is here. The future is uncertain. And I'm not ready. It's all right, Diamond. If I die, I die. Brodia will live on. But, father. What? You don't believe me? After I'm gone, I know you will lead with a steady hand. Though, I'm offended you expect that day to come so soon. You think I'm gonna lose, huh? You think I'm weak? That I need your protection? Oh, the hubris of youth. That's not what I meant. King Hyacinth awaits me on the field of war, his army at the ready. If Brodia hides, then what? After years locked in battle with Illusia, Will we reveal ourselves as cowards? Listen to me, Diamant. I will fight bravely for Brodia. I do not fear death. Being known as a king who runs from battle? That scares me far more. <sighs> what do you think about this, Alchrist? Me? If I die, and Diamant alongside me, you will take the throne. <sighs> Father, don't say that. I... I will not let that pass. I will protect Diamant to the bitter end. Oh, Christ. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my boy. Diamant, you could learn a thing or two from your brother. Fear, 
has no place in my kingdom. If we step into fear, then we step out of Brodia. <sighs> now then, to the border! It seems I can't dissuade you from this path. All I can do is walk it with you. Come on, everyone. Let's show Illusia why we're called the Kingdom of Might. Ha <laughs> ha! That's it. This won't be the last time I see the castle. And when I'm back, a tournament with our strongest warriors. That means you, Divine One. Me? Yes! I want to see you transform into a mighty dragon! Whoosh! Roar! Oh... okay. What's the matter? Ah, oh, nothing. You're right. I could turn into a dragon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to spar with you too, Divine One, after a father gets his chance. But that's for later. Now, we should prepare for our journey to the border. Indeed. <sighs> this talk of turning into a dragon... Mother could. Can I? I have no idea if I can. Or how. We'll return soon. I leave Brody a castle in the Royal Guard's capable hands. Yes, Your Majesty. You can count on us. Done a fine job protecting it all these years, haven't we? We won't start slacking off just because you're not around. Excellent. And when we return, you'll be treated to a victory feast. Looking forward to it. See you soon, Your Majesty. Strong of body! Strong of heart! All right. Time to head out. Here we go. They're wrapping up their goodbyes. Yes. On to the border. Diamant, where's the king? He's headed to the front line. Our orders are to wait here with a rear guard. Will do. Here, take this. The ring? You didn't give it to your father? I tried. You wouldn't take it. The king said that if anything should happen, he wants you to keep my ring safe. But what if he needs it? Father wants a fair fight. Not to say that using the ring is unfair, but we Brodians have a particular sense of pride. He wants to stand in his own strength, and asked us to respect that. <sighs> I understand. I'm just not sure our enemies will have the same code of honor. Let's be at the ready. If push comes to shove, I want to be able to help. It's a plan. Agreed. It looks like the battle has begun. Invasions of my country come at a very high price. And now you will pay it. <laughs> Do you really think you can withstand the might of Brodia? Yes, my army is blessed by Lord Sombron himself. <laughs> Dragon's got. He is not yet at full strength. Not until the ritual. Ritual? The one by which we shall reignite his true glory. And for that, we need a sacrifice of sovereign blood. <coughs> blood thus offered <coughs> will be yours. What? Oh! 
<laughs> Father! Come on, Diamond. There's still time to rescue him. You have lost this battle. Former King of Brodia. Well, he's not getting any lighter. Come on. We know what to do, Your Majesty. See you later. My father. They're trying to take him away. We won't let them. So you say. But you are wrong. Princess Ivy! Whatever the cost, you will hold them here, child. Yes. Oh, and Ivy, don't forget that ring was given to you by our Lord Sombron. Your failure to protect it was a grievous one. <laughs> it is your duty to reclaim the ring now. I take my leave to Elusia. Do not fail me again. So, you want me to buy time for you as I die here? Very well. I die for you, father. You're not going to stop us. We have to get King Morian back from them right now. We have to. The storm keeps getting harsher. We must drive back Princess Ivy's forces. Dragging away father like that. What could King Hyacinth be planning? I don't know, but with so many of the Corrupted, this will be a tough battle. The snow's really swirling now. I wonder if I'll be able to find Prince Diamond. Couldn't be a worse time for meditation, but I've got to clear my head. All right. My will is firm. As your steward. I'm listening. Anytime. I'm ready. Very well. I'll protect you. Go ahead. Your orders, please. I fear this will not end well. Princess Ivy, did the king perhaps grant you another ring? No. You heard him, didn't you? If I want a ring, I must reclaim the one I lost. This time with no reinforcements. We must make do. If you want to leave, I'll understand. What will you do? I have no choice but to stay. Even if I know it's hopeless. Even if I know I will die. You do. Head to the northern and southern forts. The Corrupted are standing by there. So much for meditation. Now, think you can get through my defenses? Ha! <sighs> 
Emblem, engage! eventually wilt. Lend me your strength! Apologize later. I'm 
getting hungry. Satisfying ending. I won't forget this. A satisfying ending. All right, time to attack. Bring out the corrupted. of the stewards. in this state. I'd better head to the rear lines to rest. I claim this victory. Give me an order.
I'm prepared. Dream well. If Princess Ivy stays, I stay. Grant me strength. I am saved. I could have run, but I remained. Now I must fight. My... I'm in trouble. Just as I thought. I'm not strong enough. I must retreat, but I will grow stronger. Even mighty ones fall! I cannot fall here. I must protect Princess Ivy. Whatever you need. To Princess Ivy, I go.
eventually wilt. Jade! Prince Diamond. I'm so glad you're safe. Is everything all right at the castle? Yes. The Divine Dragon helped us. However, Father... He's in peril. Jade, I relieve you of your border duties. You're with me from now on. Of course. Understood. Lend me your strength! Is that sufficient? Decided all.
I will not forget your loss. eventually wilt. I had no choice but to win. My apologies. I still stand. For the Divine Dragon. My father's orders were plain. You will not pass. This is the mission of the stewards.
Was that sufficient? Fight another day. later. Yes, here. You've won. Please. Kill me. No. I will not take your life. Don't be naive. If I live, what's to stop me from hunting you down? You can't return to Illusia after this. Your kingdom's through with you. What gives you that idea? If King Hyacinth had wanted you to survive, he would have given you an emblem ring. Besides, he had no need to stall us. The weather alone would have slowed us down. I don't understand it, but... The King used you. He never meant for you to survive. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Your father has already sacrificed your life. I won't do the same. You will not grant me the release of death. How cruel, but... You are my deity. And I respect your will. <sighs> Could I... Ask you to forget that? All right. In exchange, I offer information. I will tell you where King Morian is being taken, and why. <laughs> well, out with it. My father intends to perform a ritual that will restore the Fell Dragon's power. A ritual? You see, though the Fell Dragon has been freed, his abilities are diminished. Imprisonment drained him. He is exhausted and can't transform into a dragon. 
Ideally, he would have all twelve rings, but securing them will take time. In the interim, Sombron decided to temporarily regain his powers through an ancient ritual, in which he consumes sovereign blood. You can't mean my father. But then, King Morian... Yes. My father took him as an offering to Sombron. That was his aim from the start. That's horrific. The ritual will take place at Destinia Cathedral. You must hurry, and do be careful. Since the Fell Dragon's return, Father has not been himself. I see. That is the extent of what I know. Come, Zelkov. Kagetsu. Let us leave this place. What are you going to do? Whatever I can, without taking sides. If we meet again, Divine Dragon. I pray it is not as enemies. Let's head to Illusia. Yes, we have to hurry. The deeper we venture into Illusia, the worse this blizzard gets. Is this the way to Destinia Cathedral? I don't know. In this snow, it's hard to tell where we're going. <sighs> we don't have time to get lost. Hold on. I see someone up ahead. Is that you? Vale! You know her? She's a friend. Vale, how did you get here? I... I don't know. You don't know how you crossed the border into another country? Well, how about you? You look worried. Is something the matter? We're trying to reach Destinia Cathedral, but we got lost in the snow. If it's the cathedral you're looking for, head that way. You know where it is? Uh-huh. You're close. See that really tall tree over there? Use that as a landmark. I appreciate your help. I owed you for patching me up the other day. That was so kind. Huh. Were you wearing that ring before? Yes. It's very important to me. I didn't notice it the other day. It's pretty. Really. Pretty. Fail? Emblem ring. Vale! <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I better be on my way. Where are you going? It's not safe! She's gone. There's no time to search for her. Not when Father's life hangs in the balance. You're right. Let's hurry. Vale. What in the world? Are you ready? Destinia Cathedral is our enemy's home base. I suggest we stock up on supplies. Oh, the snow's really coming down out there. Yeah, the cathedral always gets hit harder than anywhere else, huh? And Ivy's late. We've been waiting here for ages. What if she never comes? Maybe things went bad at Brodia Castle and she didn't survive. No way! Princess Ivy can handle herself! Thanks, Rosado. You're sweet. Ugh, why is this happening anyway? Ever since Lord Sombron was released, Father's been acting weird. He used to be so kind to me. But since they came into the picture, it's like I hardly exist. You mean the ones who showed up at Elusia Castle with Lord Sombron? Yeah. That kid with the hood and the four weirdos who follow her around. Father probably only likes them because they brought him so many rings. I thought if I could get him some, he might praise me like he used to. <laughs> Look how that turned out. I'm sorry, Hortensia. It's not your fault. What happened at the Grand Crossing? That was all me. I just... I don't have any clue what Father's up to. I don't know why he wants the rings, or what this ritual's about. I'm totally in the dark! Hortensia? Pardon me for interrupting. Hey, Gold Mary! King Hyacinth has asked you to join him at the altar. And he wants you to have this. 
An emblem ring? Whoa, the king gave you another one, huh? He said you should wear it and prepare yourself for battle. That must mean the Divine Dragon is coming. Good. I'll get some answers about what happened at Brodia Castle. Let's go, you two! We've arrived. Destinia Cathedral. Vale's directions really did help. Let's head inside, quickly. Hold on a moment. What is it, Marth? I sense the Fell Dragon's presence. He's waiting for us, inside the cathedral. <sighs> We're not ready to fight him. If the ritual has been completed, we should retreat. And even if it hasn't, I think we had best escape at the first sign of danger. You mean, leave King Morian behind? I'm worried about all this. We shouldn't stay any longer than we have to. Whatever we do, we must avoid a direct encounter with the Fell Dragon. It'll be all right. Princess Ivy said that Sombron can hardly move, remember? Plus, we have half of the emblem rings. Even if they had the rest, we'd be evenly matched. It is true that with the allies we've gained, we are formidable. But I urge you, as our leader, do not fall prey to overconfidence. Perhaps I am being too bold. Still, despite everything we're facing, I'm calm. I think it's because you're here, Marth. Me? With you and the other emblems supporting us, we're all feeling more courageous. I hope you'll always stay with us. We are not going anywhere. We will remain by your side until the end of this journey. Thank you. Now, is everyone ready? It's time to put a stop to this ritual and bring King Morian home. I bid you welcome to Destinia Cathedral. We're so happy to greet you, loathsome divine dragon. Spare us your lies! Alas, your presence indicates that Ivy lost her battle. A predictable outcome, of course. You don't appear to have taken her captive. I assume her body has been left for the birds. You mean my sister is dead? Where have you hidden King Morian? All will be known in due time. Tell us now! Look, over there! There's someone beside the altar! Can it be? Diamant, it's father! He's alive! Don't worry, father! We're here to save you! Something's wrong. He's been... It appears you were a few moments too late. As you can see, the ritual has been carried out. Hyacinth! You bastard! We have to leave at once. Call a retreat without delay. We can't! King Morian is beyond our aid. What do you mean? <clears throat> you would have us leave our own father behind? I cannot! I will not abandon him here! The only option is to fight Hyacinth! I won't flee after... after what he has done! Diamant, Alchrist... Foolish, but I'm not a bit surprised. <laughs> the doors! Yes, we're trapped within. This grand cathedral will serve as your grave. Thanks to your impetuousness, you brought the rings unto my very hand. Hyacinth, you? You're a monster. That's our father! You're going to pay for this. Here and now! So be it, Hyacinth. Now we fight! It's me. It's your son. Isn't there some way we can change him back? There's nothing we can do. 
The king you knew is gone. No! <clears throat> we have to end this. What are you saying, brother? Do you think father would want to live like this? As this abomination fighting for Hyacinth? We have to let him die as the proud noble man he was. As the king of Brodia. I don't know if I can do this. We must. We will free King Morian's soul and take down Hyacinth. Here goes. As your steward. Lend me your strength. <laughs> For the divine dragon. My will is firm. Emblem, engage! Say the word. Understood. Go ahead. Allow me. Yes. Let's go! Okay. Hortensia sad. Don't worry. Just like Princess Ivy, huh?
This is the mission of the stewards. Was that too much? My apologies. Up a good fight. I must insist now. Please die. Too precious to her. Others must need you as well. Is that sufficient? eventually wilt.
stop you. The Divine Dragon. I'll protect you. I won't forget this. My apologies. Please forgive me. I go. Pardon, but I must bow out. Else I fear my eyes might close forever.
With that emblem at his side, King Hyacinth will be able to fire arrows from a great distance. Let us proceed with caution. Just a scratch? Lend me your strength! Simple enough. 
King Morian. You said you wanted to duel when we made it back to the castle. Remember? I wish we could have crossed swords as friends. But now, we must face each other as enemies. My prayers are with you! eventually wilt. No choice but to win. I will not forget your loss. Engage! This is the mission of the stewards. Tell me, how do you feel about the new Brodian king? Once Lord Sombron drank his blood, we had no need of him, but we corrupted him for you. Am I not generous? You can show your gratitude by dying for Lord Sombron. Won't be much use in this state. I'd better head to the rear lines to rest.
were so many of him. How is this possible? He used the emblem to create doubles. Careful. We do not know what they're capable of. Not accept this. All flowers eventually wilt. I'll apologize later. Tedious. This is unacceptable. I am but a hindrance to the Divine Dragon in this shape. For now, I must fall back. We've won, Hyacinth. It's over. Get away! Do not come near me! And now, I avenge my father. That spell! <laughs> it's you! The one who killed my mother. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was finished there. I'm not being merciful. Merely pragmatic. The ritual was a success. The fell dragon will be here in a moment. He can move once again? That means the sacrifice worked. <laughs> here he comes. Lord Sombron! <laughs> hmm. It seems my powers have returned because of you. It was an honor, my lord. And yet, I still hunger for more. Please, my lord, devour these fools! <laughs> Alas, I have a different meal in mind. Huh? Only saw 
Catherine's blood will quell my hunger. You understand. <gasps> I want your blood. And I will take it. <laughs> I thought he and the Fell Dragon were on the same side. <laughs> now that was entertaining. What? <laughs> Did you see his face? The shock? The betrayal? <laughs> Stop laughing! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Is that Vale? You irritating girl. You had to go and ruin my fun. This is why I detest humans. No, it can't be. But that's the bandage I used to dress her wound. I should introduce myself. I am Sombron's daughter, the Fell Princess. You may call me Vale. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Vale! What do you mean, the Fell Princess? How could you deceive us like this? Deceive you? We've never even spoken before. What? Enough idle chatter, Vale. Take the rings. As you wish, Father. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Divine Dragon and their merry band. Fancy running into you here. It's you again. I know you. You're the wretch who stormed Fearnay Castle. Wretch? Not much of a greeting, that. But I guess the fault is mine for not properly introducing myself. You have my apologies for my man's actions in Fearnay. I take responsibility for what he's done. Take comfort in the fact I killed him myself. As for who I am, my name is Zephia. I am a mage dragon of great power, and Lord Sombron's humble servant in all things. As for my companions here, they are like family to me. Together we are known as the Four Hounds. <laughs> you tell yourself that. She's a dragon and the rest of us are humans. Family, she calls us. The name's Gris, and I'm not the prisoner-taking type. Call me Marnie. I heard we'd be meeting some royalty today, but you look like a bunch of losers to me. I am Mavier. The pleasure is all mine. Lady Vale has told us much about you. I don't care what you call yourselves. You're in our way. Now stand aside! Come on, we can fight our way past them. Everyone, engage with emblems! <laughs> huh? The rings! Something the matter? Uh. <gasps> the Draconic Time Crystal. Of course you had it with you all along. Sorry, but I just had to take it back again. I grabbed it during your little chat with Zephia. Amazing you didn't notice. You must not be very bright. Hold on. You used it? Yes. Now all your rings are here. Right where they belong. Give... give them back! Six, eh? I have to admit I'm impressed. Father, the emblem rings. Well done. Now the rings are in my possession. Good. Now to purge them of any trace of divine dragon power. To begin, the ring of the hero king. Shine on, emblem of beginnings. 
Marth? Marth, speak to me, please! No use. My father's spell power is now coursing through the emblem ring. He's no longer the sweet little Marth you knew. No, please! Provide for us, emblem of the Holy War. <laughs> Sigurd! Care for us, emblem of Echoes. Heal us, emblem of Dawn. Selica! Micaiah! Stop it! Just stop! Free us, emblem of genealogy! Rise up, emblem of binding! Leaf! Roy! I can't do this without you! <laughs> Say goodbye to your beloved emblems. Now they belong to us. Oh, how I wanted these two. Mark. And Sigurd. After killing Lumera, I was forced to leave them back there with you. Do you have any idea how irritating that was for me? Fail! We must retreat, Divine One! Oh. So now you want to turn tail and run? We have all your rings and you have nothing. Abandon hope. You will all die. Give them back! Give them back to me! You have nowhere to run. And no rings to protect you. At last, I can unleash the full force of my hatred. You and all your allies will be killed by your beloved friends. The emblems. We have to fight. We have to rescue Mark and the others. No, Divine One. Vale has the time crystal and the rings. We're not going to win this one. I don't have to tell you how powerful the emblems are, but we can at least survive this thing. If we make it over there, we might be able to shake off Bale. All right. Whatever you need. Protect you. I had no choice but to win. There's a ring. Now's our chance. I think not. Uh, veil. Vale. <laughs> I so enjoy your flailing. Yes. I'm ready. Understood. Yes, here. Your orders, please. Very well. I'm listening.
my corrupted soldiers. Kill their every last shred of hope. Forget your loss. I had to stop you. I can still fight. My turn. I'll apologize later. Satisfying ending. I won't flinch. As your steward. Let's go! Yes. <laughs> 
for the Divine Dragon. The Corrupted alone aren't enough. Hounds, take care of these pests. I understand what must be done. <laughs> Which of those morons is gonna be my first victim? Orders are orders. I just hope the other side gets a few good slices on me. We won't let them escape, Lady Vale. You have my word. More enemies are coming. We cannot allow them to slow us down. <sighs> They're cutting us off! How can we endure this? The Divine Dragon's forces. Good. I was afraid we wouldn't catch them in time. It does not look so good to me. They are being chased, and they have no emblems. We had best get them these rings. I am back, Princess Ivy. Zokov? How did you fare? I was unable to recover the stolen rings from the Dragon Girl. But I did get this. Oh, pretty crystal. Perhaps these gifts will be enough to get them out of this bind. Let's hope so. Hello, Divine One. Princess Ivy! Why are you here? I... wanted to try one last time to change my father's mind. I was too late, but I did retrieve these rings from Destinia Cathedral. You got two rings? Yes, here they are. The Ring of the Lady of the Plains, and the Ring of the Princess Exalt. Are you sure about this? Turning against your own country? Right now, turning against Elusia is the only way to save it. For my kingdom, for my father. This is the only course of action. I know this isn't enough to atone for all I've done, but... Will you let me join your side? Of course I will. Thank you. The Ring of the Lady of the Plains belongs with you since it was entrusted to Illusia. Sweep across, emblem of blazing! I'm Lindus. Just call me Lin. Ready to turn this battle around? Reignite us! Emblem of Awakening! Marth! No, that can't be right. It is I, Lucina. Lucina! I may not be the Hero King, and I cannot replace him. But I can aid you. I strive to be a light in the dark. A light for all who have fallen to despair. For now we may only escape. But as long as we survive, hope will abide. Now, engage with me. I have one more gift for you, Divine One. The Draconic Time Crystal. How did you get it? I borrowed it. While it is not one of the stolen rings, perhaps it will help. Thank you. Emblem, engage! I 
had to stop you. I hear you. Emblem, engage! Please, don't worry. All is set. Thank you. Give me strong foes. This is the mission of the stewards. Let's be careful. I'm sorry. eventually wilt. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll help. I claim this victory. choice but to win. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here. This way. We can travel to Solm through this forest. I hate to abandon Hortensia. But staying in the kingdom is not an option. There's too much we're leaving behind. <sighs> Father. It's painful. But we can't turn back. 
we'd lose everything. I will lead the way. I failed you, Marth. I failed you all. So, Ivy was scheming against us. She stole two emblems from right under my nose. How irksome. Regardless, the advantage is mine. I have all of the rings they gathered. You shall all be destroyed. I will gut your allies, burn down your countries, and crush your spirits. We should be safe now. Vale is Sombron's daughter, and now she has our emblem rings. I'm sorry, everyone. I should never have brought us to the Cathedral. It's not your fault, Divine One. I should apologize. I asked you to let me fight. I was so angry about what they'd done. What about me? I'm the one who wanted to return Father to Brodia. That was illogical. Excuse me? If you hadn't gotten in the way... Calm down, everyone. We're on the same side. No, we're not. If not for her, we might have made it in time. We might have saved him. Oh, Christ. Princess Ivy told us about the ritual in the first place. Without her help, Father would still be one of those creatures. Diamant? She helped kill our father! Why are you making excuses for her? Princess Ivy's not to blame. Her father was. And the fell dragon murdered him. There wasn't even a body left behind. <gasps> Arguing won't get us anywhere. Apologies, Divine One. Princess Ivy, I hope you'll forgive my brother. He spoke out of turn. No, it's all right. I am sorry that I couldn't stop the ritual. I just... I can't bear the thought that I'll never see him again. And the ring he spent his whole life protecting. Gone. We have suffered loss after loss. But the emblems aren't dead. We can still get them back. And we will. I know we will. To find one. You still have emblems on your side. That's right. Don't forget about us. Lynn. Lucina. All is far from lost. We can offer our unique strengths as emblems. You can still challenge your fate. You don't lose by retreating. <sighs> I wish it didn't come to this. My mother told me that a divine dragon should never run away. We're not running away. As Lucina said, we're retreating. There's a difference. Hmm. Time and again, you've shown true bravery, even in the face of daunting odds. But refusing to move on, that's not bravery, it's folly. There's courage, and there's stubbornness. Lumera would have taught you the difference. Unfortunately, in your short time together, she didn't have the chance. Perhaps that's why Marth said what he did outside the cathedral. Probably so. Now at least, I understand. We're not running away. We're stepping back. Gathering our strength for the next battle. I'll become a better fighter. A better leader. I'll make sure no one, not one more person, loses their life under my command. And I'll bring back our friends, the emblems. What do you say, everyone? Are you with me? You know I am. Let's turn the tables on them. I won't rest until we reclaim what we've lost. Even now you have hope. I will stand with you too, Divine One. I will help too, if you'll have me. Thank you, everyone. Now, to the Queendom of Solm. Stay with me, and I promise to keep you safe. What is this place, Lucina? I feel a magical power here. 
This appears very similar to Arena Ferox. Most curious. Ferox? That's a place from your world, right? Yes. Ferox is a kingdom divided by East and West, with a militaristic Khan overseeing each. Every so many years, a fighting tournament is held to determine which Khan will rule them all. Arena Ferox is where I cross swords with my father. He taught you swordsmanship, yes? It must have been an interesting, if fierce, bout. Yes. It was a hard fight. He had no idea who I was and held nothing back. He trained me well, but that fight was when I first saw just how strong my father really was. That must be precisely why this familiar place was chosen as a trial ground. Trial ground? What does that mean? We each feel the extraordinary power here. Tell me what it feels like deep down. It's almost like I'm sensing your power, but also like you're far away. Well then, draw your weapon. Fight me. If you pass the trial, our bond will grow stronger. With a stronger bond, you will be able to draw upon more of my power as an emblem. I hope I can learn as much in this arena as you did. That's good to hear. However, it's going to require more than hope for you to win this battle. You're going to be surprised if you think I'm only bringing hope to this fight. That's the spirit. Don't hold back. Strengthen our bond. Fight with everything you've got. All right. Devoted to you. Grant me strength. Draw, so I can keep our people safe in future battles. upon our enemy. here. Huh. 
Was that too much? Good win. You were beautiful while you lasted. My resolve is unchanged. win just by standing there your stance has no openings I don't see how I could hit you no matter where I strike doubt will only dull your attacks trust in yourself and come at me with everything understood here I come Guided by the emblems. 
I'll do my best. Your combat skills have grown admirably. Compared to when we first met, you've grown strong and become a formidable opponent. Thank you. It is in no small part because of your guidance, Lucina. Such kind words. If I helped you at all, then I couldn't be happier. There's a lesson there, you know? What one person can achieve on their own is limited. I agree. I couldn't have come this far by myself. Everything I've accomplished has been thanks to those who have fought beside me. I'm relieved to hear that. I feel my friends close by, even now. Their spirits live on in me. Their spirits live on? The power of my bonds with them helped us to change a hopeless future, the same as you are now, with your own allies. You're one of those allies, Lucina. Aren't you? Of course. I'll fight with you until the very last. Then we can't lose, no matter what the world sends our way. You're right. Our bonds are far stronger than destiny. So, this is Solm. It's very... sandy. The Queendom's land is covered in deserts. I believe this one is called Tula, and as you've no doubt noticed, it's much hotter than in Lucia. I fear I may melt. What now, Divine One? We'd better head straight to the palace. I just hope the Hounds haven't gotten there first. During my time in Lucia, the four Hounds did pay a few visits to Solm. But they came back empty-handed each time, so I expect the palace is unharmed. Thanks, Ivy. Pretty handy having an enemy as a friend. I will choose to take that as a compliment. Which emblem ring was entrusted to Solm? The Radiant Hero. Said to be among the most powerful. Needless to say, it would be quite a boon. Sounds like exactly what we need right now. Let's get going. Let's see... which way to the palace again? Divine One, I believe we passed that enormous rock earlier. What? Really? 
All this terrain looks the same to me. I wish I could help. My knowledge of Solmic geography comes only from maps. Wait a moment. Prince Alfred, Prince Diamant, your nations are allied with Solm. Haven't you gone to the palace before? I did, but quite a long time ago. I don't remember the way. I traveled from Firene. I've got no clue how to get there from Elusia. So none of us knows where to go. <sighs> All right, I'll say it. We're lost. I'm afraid so. We can't afford to waste time. I wonder if there's a landmark to go by. You don't look like you're from around here. What's with the outfits? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but I took one look and thought to myself, self, they are lost. And, uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the guy. Here to keep the peace in Tula Desert. Call me Fogato, yeah? As captain of the Sentinels, it's my duty to help people in need. You find folks need a hand, just let me know. Thanks for that. As for myself, I'm the Divine Dragon, from Lethos. Wait, yo! Uh, uh, you're telling me the Divine Dragon is here, in my desert? No kidding? Yes. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You weren't. There's no need to be formal with me. Didn't expect you to be casual. That's cool. Uh, but hey, what brings you all out to my piece of the world? We're on our way to Solm Palace, but we don't know how to get there. This is your lucky day. Come on, just follow me. If I know how to get anywhere, it's the palace. You don't mind? Of course I don't. You know what's out there? Sand, as far as the eye can see. And I would rather you not have to deal with that. Lucky me mad, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Fogato. We appreciate your help. <laughs> don't sweat it. Oh, you know what? I do have a quick errand to take care of first. An errand? What kind of errand? More of a mission. See, not too long ago, these freaky creatures started appearing everywhere. As captain of the Sentinels, when I get a report about a problem in the desert, I take care of it. Sorry about this. You have a sit, and I'll take you to the palace right after I'm done. Actually, why don't we come with you? We can help. Well, that'd be great. My friends went ahead of me. Let's go meet up with them. The problem's even worse than I expected. Hey! There they are! Pendrea! Brunei! Fogato! You're late! I was starting to think you wanted us to die out here. With any further delay, these creatures would have made a meal of us. Sorry about that, fellas. But hey! I brought help! Help? What do you mean, help? Oh, Pendrea, my pious friend. This is really going to blow your mind. Hello. I'm the Divine Dragon. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon! Hang on. What were you thinking bringing the Divine Dragon here? That hair. Like two scoops of sorbet swirling together in the desert heat. Hey, save it for the kitchen. That's a deity you're talking about. I knew this would get you too fired up. Divine one, these are my sentinel ones. What do you say? Ready to handle a mission with us? Ready. Let's do this thing, Sentinels. And, uh, guests. Finally! Time to get this party started! I will serve up a most deadly dish. Before I forget, watch out for those patches of quicksand. That stuff will really slow you down.
me. I won't lose. Devoted to you. Emblem, engage! Watch this! Yes! Here goes. This time, victory was mine. For peace. Allow me! <laughs> Go ahead! They're cooked. Divine One, it's such an honor! Please, use my abilities as you see fit. I can use my staff to warp you or an ally somewhere far away on the battlefield. anymore. Let's pray. Eventually wilt.
thousand curses upon our enemy. I did that. Dish indeed. Nice going. You really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, to Soul Palace. Stay close. I'd hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Solm and Firene had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother the prince. That's strange. I never met them either. Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing! I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick, or shy? Shy... That would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The Queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Let's be on guard, alright? Got it. We're here! Soul Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway, now we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato, what are you doing? Talking to the guards! What else? Does he have a meeting with the Queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of sentinel business. Fogato, wait for us! Hey, I'm home! Home? Welcome back, Prince Fogato. 
I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you... the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? Uh, no. You didn't. Whoops! <laughs> Egg me face! Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogato, Captain of the Sentinels, and the Prince of Solm. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in. You wanted to meet Mom, right? Mom! Visitors! What is happening? I didn't realize he was royalty. Prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They pass through the shadowy moor. It appears they've arrived in Solm. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just the pride of the Four Hounds? <laughs> you two really keep on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Gris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. You won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <clears throat> lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I must sleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish. like home. Home? Do you mean the world you're from? Yes. This place is just like the Sakai Plains. That's where I was born. <sighs> I remember their beauty well. When I was young, those plains seemed to stretch forever. It truly is wonderful scenery. And the wind is so pleasant. It makes me happy to hear you say that. Even if this is not my true homeland. We woke at dawn and tended to our cattle, caught game, and slept when the sun set. That was every day of my life growing up on the plains. But it didn't last forever. Can you tell me what happened? The Lorca tribe, my people, were attacked by vicious bandits. They killed so many of us. The bandits were cowardly. They poisoned our drinking water, then attacked in the chaos. That's terrible. Yes. But the Sakai Plains are our motherland, and have always blessed us with their bounty. It is a place I love deeply, though it holds many painful memories. Enough mourning. The sense of this place is exciting me. Ready your sword. I'll show you the true skill of a Lorca tribe warrior. I can't wait. You won't beat me easily, though. I've overcome so many hardships in my life. And more will come, I'm sure. But our bond will grow stronger with this fight, as will my power. 
So whatever you do, don't hold back! Are you ready? Then come at me! Attack with everything you've got! I can hear the voices of enemy forces in those tents. We should attack them, quickly. Let's go! Whatever you need. As you wish, Divine One. I had a feeling. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. I am full of vigor. I hear you. I love it! As your steward. Power blooms in me. I won't miss! I, I'm sorry! Emblem, engage! <laughs> Descends now! <laughs> I'll change the future into hope. A satisfying ending. Drop your guard. 
Was that too much? while you lasted. Their souls find peace. Don't worry. Let's be careful. Save us all.
I am saved. This is the mission of the stewards. No escape for you! I'd rather be friends. I'm listening. You were beautiful while you lasted. Where you lead, I follow. Yes. I thank you. Onward. Sleep now. Our bonds give me strength. I'll protect you. I'll go first.
Let's do this! Let's follow. Is it go time? Just a scratch. Called? to just stand around. I'll have at them too. I'm ready.
Just a scratch. Say the word. I won't be holding back. Rest now. I won't falter. I won't forget you. Go first. <laughs> Time to pray.
unforgivable. I won't fall here. I'm sorry, Divine One. It would be rash to press on. I must retreat. I am the Divine Dragon! <laughs> Sure, okay. You're very good. Wow, you beat me soundly. You're very strong. And you were as skilled as I expected. Very powerful, too. I wonder if I could be like you. If I grew up on the plains, I mean. <laughs> Perhaps. I learned to fight out here. But I learned more when I met Elliewood and Hector. We traveled long and far together. Sometimes we compete with one another, just like this. They helped me to learn of justice and courage. And they gave me the strength to trust others. And that strength has made me who I am today. When I woke, I had no memories and no one I felt I could rely on. But now I have so many friends around me to teach me about the world and about myself. I hope that at the end of my journey, I'll be as strong as them and you. You'll definitely become much stronger. I'm sure of it. Of course, I'll help too. Thank you, Lin. Divine One, Royals of the Three Kingdoms, welcome to Solm Palace. I'm Sephoria, the Queen of Solm. It's an honor to meet you, Queen Sephoria. And you. Really, it's a treat. And a surprise. I never expected Fogato to bring the Divine Dragon here. Out of everything he's done on his outings, this is the most impressive. I was just doing what any prince would do for his queen. That's mom to you. My son tries to act so cool, so detached. Anyway, those introductions when you arrived, there were a lot of them. First you, Divine One, and then the Firenese, Brodian, and Illusian royalty. Quite the guest list. I was so overwhelmed, I nearly fell off my throne. You have my apologies. We're here about a very important matter. Yes, you said. Bell Dragon Sombron's return. I had no idea all that was happening. And he created those creatures, hmm? That explains why they're so vicious. But your palace hasn't been attacked by the corrupted? Or illusion forces? Oh, it has. We got rid of them. I see. You got rid of them. Wait, really? All of them? You seem surprised. I'm impressed. But certainly glad no one's breached the palace. I'm sorry to hear the other countries are having a harder time of it. And Queen Lumera, I visited her in Lethos many times. She was always very gracious. Naturally, the Queendom of Solm stands with you in your war against the Fell Dragon. Thank you. On that note, I have a request. The Ring of the Radiant Hero, which was entrusted to Solm. May I take it? Of course. I'll get it right away. Wait, hmm, where was it again? <laughs> I haven't seen it for a while. Fogato, do you know where the ring might be? No clue. Maybe it's in the doodad drawer? Hmm, please, wait here a moment. Oh, okay. The doodad drawer. 
Has it been lying around in a musty cupboard this whole time? This is one of the strongest emblem rings. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, you know what? I just remembered. Tamara took it with her. Tamara? My sister. Also the crown princess. She's set to inherit my crown. And like Fogato, she's always out doing who knows what. To be fair, I acted the same when I was young. Anyway, she's been gone for days. Probably on a camping trip. Oh, that sounds great right now. So it's true. The crown princess and prince aren't around much. And she doesn't know when they'll be back. We can look for Princess Tamara. Do you have any idea where she might be? I think she was heading to the Southern Desert, in which case she'd set up camp in the Oasis. All right then, we'll head there. You know, a trip to the Oasis is just what I need. I'll pack my things. Yeah, actually, Mom, how about you stay put? Oh, all right. New kids go on without me. If you find Tamara, do summon the emblem, will you? I'd love to meet him. Be careful, it's already getting dark out. Come on, everyone. I'll lead the way. Mm. This meat is gonna hit the spot! I hope you're hungry for fun, cause that's what's on the menu first! <clears throat> and now, an exclusive performance from the one and only... Tamara! I'll be performing my favorite song with my backup singers, Marin and Panette. Ready. As am I. Hope you remember the words. And a one, and a two. Meat, meat, meaty meat, meat. What have we here? A bunch of pretty birds squawking away in the night. Ha! Cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap is right. But there's nothing cheap about the ring that one has. Let's grab it. Midi, midi, ah yeah. Midi, midi, uh uh. Hey, hey, quit your con. Who are you two? Come on, wake up. What do you think? We're bandits. Bandits? And what do bandits do? Take stuff, like your fancy ring there. Give it. Oh. Oh? <coughs> Oh? That's all? You're in trouble. Really in it. Right now! In it and surrounded by it. We've got monsters. Big fans of ours. These two and way more. <gasps> so, we asked nicely, but you had to make us mad. Now, we'll do this our way. I saw a bonfire. That's gotta be her. What were those strange sounds? Tamara and her friends singing. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. People call them the racket of Solm for a reason. Weird that they stopped. An attack, you think? Let's get over there and find out. Tamara! Oh! Hey, Fagato! So you're Princess Tamara. Nice to meet you. Don't tell me. You're the Divine Dragon, right? Fogato wouldn't have come here unless he found you first. He wouldn't have... what? Uh, not important. We've got bigger stakes to roast. Have to deal with these bandits for a start. It'd really help if you could use your summoning powers on this ring. The Ring of the Radiant Hero. I've always wanted to meet the person who lives in here. Can you make that happen? All right. Great. And a one, and a two. Fight on. Emblem of Radiance. Those arms! You're ready to fight! I'm Ike. Make sure you use me wisely. Thanks for your help, Ike. You'll be fighting alongside Princess Tamara in this battle. What's that? 
More? Those cheap, cheap birds must have gone con for help. Phooey! That's what I say. They won't beat our monsters. That's right. Not to mention our thieves. Experts in the yard of Ransackery. <laughs> They're gonna attack the village. We have to stop them before anybody gets hurt. Marin, Penet, come on! As you command, my princess. We'll crush them with the hammer of justice. Indeed, they shall sorely regret terrorizing these poor, innocent people. I'm your knight to command. The way forward is blocked, but not for long. Go, Tamara. With my strength, you'll have no problem opening up a path. Princess. No mistake. Grant me strength. I've got this. Lend me your strength. Change the future into hope. Yes. M me? Shall we? I'm ready. Okay. Yes, here. You think the village will loot itself? Get gone! Yeah, start at that house there. Let's go! <laughs>
Allow me. I'll apologize later. Ready for anything. Emblem, engage! You're done for! <laughs> problem. That's how a knight does it. Thank you. 
sorry. Uh, what's that? The bandits? Oh, jeez. I'd rather you get a hold of this than they do.
I won, my princess.
I'm still alive? Huh. enough. dragon in this shape. For now, I must fall back. but to win. Retribution is due. In our business, you pay. My.
elegance. I'll go first. Yeah. Nothing short of victory. Ow! to see that. Please, don't worry. You hear? We've got exclusive plundering rights. Watch this!
That takes care of that. Sorry for roping you into the scuffle, Divine One. That's all right. But I haven't had a chance to say why I'm here. I already explained this to Queen Sephoria and Prince Fogato, but the Fell Dragon has been released. He's back. Hmm. It's sudden, I know. You're probably shocked. I already knew. You did? Mom and Fogato did too. We've all known for a while now. Fogato, you too? Sorry. Truth is, our chance meeting in Tula Desert wasn't totally by chance. Were you deceiving us? The opposite, actually. I had to make sure that you weren't deceiving us. When the Fell Dragon returned, we had to take steps to protect our country. I'll lay it out for you. The palace has scouts all over Elios, keeping an eye on the Three Kingdoms. When Elusia brought back the Fell Dragon, we learned about it early on. But we couldn't beat him without the Emblem Rings. And we couldn't use them without you. Our only option was to focus on defense. The Corrupted started appearing, so we had to quickly lay out a plan. And what was the plan? First off, Mom would stay in the palace. She'd work with the Royal Guard to keep out intruders. And we'd send out our militia, the Sentinels, to bolster soldiers' efforts against the Corrupted. As Captain, my job was to watch out for the Corrupted near the Illusion border. If someone claimed to be the Divine Dragon, I'd size him up and bring him to the palace. That's why you hid the fact you're a prince. I was in the Sentinels too, and I wandered the country keeping our ring safe. As part of this plan, did you ever consider asking for another country's help? No, because then we'd have to help them. We can't fight another country's battles. We're stretched thin fighting our own. That's how Solm does it. You scratch your own back, we'll scratch ours. Thank you very much. I see. I'm sorry we misled you, but we did it to protect the Queendom. I don't mean to criticize your country's way of doing things. I'm just surprised. Here's the most important part of the plan, though. If you did turn out to be the Divine Dragon, we'd give you the Ring of the Radiant Hero and then tell you where to find our other emblem ring. Solm has a second ring? Yep, the ring of the crux of fate. It's in the... Your Highness, a message from Solm Palace. Huh? What is it? Hortensia, Princess of Illusia, has breached the palace. Oh. Oh. What? How did she get in? We have to save Mom. Let's go. Where are we? Gebel Castle. At least that's what it looks like. Some place you've been? Yeah. It's near the border between the nations of Crimea and Gallia. Interesting that this place is where we'll have our trial. Trial? We were pursued here by forces from the Kingdom of Dayan. They laid siege, trapping us. Our escape was cut off. The strength of their forces was overwhelming. My father had died. And I'd taken up his role as leader of the Grail mercenaries. And this is where I met my first great trial. That sounds rough. What did you do? I fought to protect my sister and the Grail mercenaries. If you found yourself in the same situation, what would you do? I'd like to think I would also fight. I don't want anyone I care about to be harmed. And I believe you would fight well. So show me how you would defend those near to you. No words now, only deeds. A trial? You want me to fight you? If you win this fight, our bond will become even stronger. Understood. I won't lose. That's the spirit. Now, let's begin. Give me your best. With pride. Wouldn't miss it. Come 
Tell me where. I can fight. Ready and able. Grant me strength. you wish. I will do what I must. Good wind. I'll go first. <laughs> A battle fit for Brody. I'll change the future into hope. Let's have some fun! Ooh. 
Ooh, I just spotted a rare bug. Give me strength. I'll do my best. upon our enemy.
I'll change the future into hope. Ready for a fight. Flowers eventually wilt. You lasted. No choice but to win. My turn now. There! Yeah! A 
And so, the knight claimed victory. I've been better. Go first. Okay. What a pain. That was cool, was it not? That's on me! Here we go! <laughs> huh. 
I can't believe I did that. Don't fear for me. Great work. You overcame the trial well. Thank you, Ike. You should know that going forward, the fighting's gonna get more intense. It's important to remember that you're a leader, and you must not give in to the pressure. In this war, there can be no retreat. You're right. If we run away, the world will be covered in darkness. But I worry that fighting this hard may be too much for everyone. Or too much for me. There are people who need your help. Don't worry. You're more than capable. And when it seems your spirit might break, it's the bonds you forge that will win the day. I'll hold your words in my heart. Don't worry. If it looks like you've forgotten it, I'll be there to remind you. You'll be by my side? Always? Always. Thank you, Ike. I'm glad to know you're here with me. Queen Sephoria! Finally! Took you long enough. Let her go! Yeah, I don't think so. And don't you dare come any closer. I've got an emblem ring. It'd be so easy to kill her. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I didn't realize she was still on Illusia's side. I don't see any other soldiers. Did you get in by yourself? Uh-huh. I told the guards I'd been separated from Ivy, and they let me walk right in. Now, you've got a choice. Hand over the rings, or I kill the queen. Hortensia, don't do this. Ivy, it's been a while. You know, I, I thought you were dead. I was so relieved when I heard you'd made it. But now what? You're with them? Well, I... Since father sacrificed himself, Illusia has been working in concert with Lord Sombron. Like you? You abandoned us! Abandoned me! And took sides with the enemy! You're a traitor, Ivy! A stinking traitor! I have not betrayed anyone. Hortensia, please, hear me out. I don't want to hear another word out of your dirty, double-crossing mouth! Just give me the rings! No, Hortensia. Never. I'm sorry! Did I not make myself clear? Hand them over or I kill the Queen! I heard you, but I'm not doing what you ask. I'd be throwing away everything she, Timera, Fogato, and the people of Solm have done. So no, I won't give you the rings, and I won't let you kill Queen Sephoria. Ah! I agree with the Divine Dragon. Those rings are staying with us. Right. If we let the Fell Dragon have them, my country and my people are doomed. So threaten us all you want. Take my whole family hostage if it makes you happy. But I stand for Solm, and I always will. There she is, the future Queen of Solm. And her ally, the Divine Dragon. What's wrong with you? This is your mother! You're supposed to be scared! <sighs> Cry already! Cower and beg for her life! Give me what I want! No, what I need! I need the rings! It's the only way to bring Father back! Hortensia, he's gone. 
The fell dragon murdered him. You watched it happen. There's no way we can bring him back. Even with the rings. You don't know that! I have to try! I have to save Father and Lugia! Everything's all wrong now! I just want to put it back how it was before! I know how you feel. No! Stop trying to get in my head, alright? I'll kill her! I'll do it! I don't think you can. Not if you know the pain of losing a parent. <laughs> well, get on with it then, if that's what you truly want. Are we doing this or aren't we? I... <laughs> I... <laughs> she needs her sister now. It's all right, Hortensia. Oh, I've been so worried about you. I can be... I'm afraid I have to cut the reunion short. Zephia, what are you doing here? Missed you too, Divine One. I must thank you for helping us gather so many rings. All of them, I thought. Until the princess's... Rather, former princess's thievery came to light. <sighs> Enough about that. More importantly, Princess Hortensia. Taking a ring without permission, sneaking off to a place like this. Naughty, naughty. Lord Sombron and Lady Vale's orders were clear. To wait, to watch. Oh, your retainers, by the way. They tried to stop us. They failed. Where are they? What did you do to Gold Mary and Rosado? You'll have to see for yourself. Now. We hadn't planned on making a move this early, but since we're here, it would be a shame to return home without a few souvenirs. Marnie, Mavier, wouldn't you agree? More hounds. I did not expect it would be so easy to enter the impregnable Solm Palace. Zephia, what do we do with the Queen? Kill her? She's not much use anymore. No, Lord Sombron will want to savor every last drop of sovereign blood. Ah, <laughs> I gotcha. Queen Sephoria! What a good girl you are, Princess Hortensia. Coming here to get rings for Lord Sombron. Now that the three of us are here, why don't we help finish what you started? We can kill them all and head back home to Elusia. What do you say? But... but I... Come, dear. Take command. Just think. If we take their rings, we'll be so close to having all twelve. So... close. Just a few more rings. Hortensia, what's going on? With all the rings, then Father will... That's right. King Hyacinth will be resurrected. We'll make everything just as it was before. Just as it was before. Uh... <sighs> I will kill them all. I will take their rings. It's the only way to save Father. Is she really going to fight us? Hortensia? Snap out of it, please! Hortensia! She can't hear you, unfortunately. Enjoy killing one another, won't you? All right. Let's go. I'll go first. 
May their souls find peace. I hear you. Emblem, engage! Unforgivable. Shall we? Understood. Understood. Allow me. <clears throat> <clears throat> You were a worthy opponent. Of course. I'll protect you. My will is firm. Yes, here. Farewell to you! That was cool, was it not? the opponent. Was it not? You were a worthy opponent.
Don't concern yourself. Enough! For Illusia! Glad we met. That was cool, was it not? A worthy opponent. Divine Dragon. My turn. I won't forget this. Apologize later. Uh, 
No mistakes. Unforgivable. Forget your loss. <laughs> that was cool, was it not? I still stand. This is the mission of the stewards. You were a worthy opponent. Unforgivable. I'm sorry. 
sorry. I fight another day. As your steward. Salvation. Was it not? I must focus. You were a worthy opponent. Ha! <laughs> 
You put up a good fight. Stolen rings. You'll return them, won't you? <laughs> Your army is not to be trifled with. Because I respect you, I will hold nothing back. I am but a hindrance to the Divine Dragon in this shape. For now, I must fall back. Again soon enough. Do not involve dying. I take my leave.
掉。Allow me. Beaten by a bunch of weaklings. But the floor's slippery. That's the only reason I lost. I'm going home. No choice but to win. Apologize later. I must get the rings. I must save Father. I'll go first. <clears throat> Stop you. I will defeat you. It's the only way to... The emblem is surging with fell dragon energy. Be on your guard. Yeah! 
dream well. Souls find peace. I had no choice but to win. I'll reclaim it all. you like. Go. They retreated. I should go with them. No, it's not safe. Zephia could take control over you again. But I was the last person left at Elusia Castle. Without me, there'll be no one to lead. No one to take care of the country Father left behind. That is true. But it's out of our hands. How can you say that? Don't you care about Elusia at all? Of course I do. I would have given my life to protect our kingdom, but it is not our kingdom anymore. It's the Fell Dragons. Surely you see that. <sighs> Princess Ivy. I didn't want to admit it, but Father stopped being king as soon as the Fell Dragon awoke. Since then, true power has rested with Sombron, his daughter, and the Four Hounds. If you went back now, you would become an instrument of their designs, just as Father was. I... I want to go home, too. You have no idea how badly. But there's no home to go back to until we defeat the Fell Dragon. After allowing Father to relinquish his power to Sombron, we owe our people no less. <sighs> the castle. My only home since I was little. We really can't go back now, can we? No. We can't. That little nook where I had tea with my friends. The garden where you and I read together. Even Rosado and Gold Mary. I've left everything and everyone behind. All right, Ivy. I'll join this fight. So that someday, things can be like they were again. Thank you, Hortensia. I'm really sorry for... For what I did. Divine One? You should have this. The Ring of the Instructor. One of the rings stolen from Lethos. Thank you for returning it. Don't give me too much credit. I wasn't exactly planning to hand it over. Even so, you have my thanks. Teach us! 
emblem of the Academy. I am Emblem Byleth. It feels as though I've just awoken from a very long dream. I'm glad to be where I belong, at your side. Use my power to guide everyone. I will. Thank you, Emblem Byleth. So, how is everyone? Queen Sephoria, you're all right. That I am. Some Illusion soldiers tried to seize me, but I was saved at just the right moment. We took him down! Alfred and I intended to help. But by the time we'd drawn our weapons, the fight was already over. <sighs> That's the Solm Royal Guard for you. Pretty good, right? I'm just glad the Queen is safe. Well done, everyone. Well done yourself. No more trespassers. My palace is rid of them. Divine One, thank you for protecting the rings and my family with such courage. The way you spoke, the look in your eyes. You were the spitting image of Queen Lumera. <sighs> your words mean so much. Thank you. Um, excuse me, Queen Sephoria? You! I assumed you had gone back to Illusia. Look, I'm really sorry about what I did. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. I owe you an apology as well. Queen Sephoria, please. Zephia was using some sort of magic to control Princess Hortensia. As soon as it wore off, she stopped fighting. Even gave me her emblem ring. I don't recall Zephia being there when the young princess held me hostage. Look me in the eyes, you two. Uh, okay. Threatening a queen's life is a grave crime. You deserve a room in the dungeons. But... I won't send you there. You won't? It was the Fell Dragon's minions who broke in and started the conflict, right? Your only crimes were slipping in uninvited and threatening to kill me. If you want to make amends, defeat the Fell Dragon. Rebuild your kingdom. When cooler heads return to Illusia, Solm can only benefit. Let's move on now, shall we? Thank you, Queen Sephoria. Your show of compassion will not be forgotten. We will restore Illusia. I swear it. For my part, I think I'd better look into shoring up the palace's defenses. You're right. The Fell Dragon's forces might come back for you. I can leave some soldiers here to help keep you safe. Oh, no need, no need. I have lots of family members who can handle things here. If the situation really boils over, I can always leave a double here and wander the land. So don't worry about me. You just focus on taking out the Fell Dragon. We will. Thank you. Tamara, it's time you showed the Divine Dragon where to find Soam's other ring. Sure thing, Mom. One ring of the Crux of Fate coming right up. Where is it? The Northern Fortress. Oh. You don't scare easily, do you? Another ring in the Divine Dragon's hands. Still, not enough to turn the tide. <sighs> I must sleep. Curse this feeble form of mine for plunging me into darkness. I pray that next time my waking hours will not end so soon. What is that? In the back there. Is that... a throne? 
This resembles the Holy Tomb. That's a place from my world. What is the Holy Tomb? It's where the goddess Sothis sleeps. For the Church of Seros, this is the holiest place of all. To ensure the safety of the tomb, a monastery was built atop it. Okay. So, why is it here? Only a very few know the legend of Saint Seros in the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros received power and revelation from the goddess and, with it, a sacred duty. She was to save the people of Fodlin and use her power wisely in order to lead them. Perhaps it's inevitable that we'd be guided here. Why do you say that? If the bond between us is to further strengthen, then you must face a trial here. I see. And you want me to fight you, Byleth? Show me whether you can wisely use the power you've gained on your journey so far. Understood. In your eyes, I see no hesitation. Good. Ready yourself. I'm ready. And I won't hold anything back. To win the fight, keep your eyes wide. Always know where your enemies are. What are those things scattered around the battlefield? Those are my targets, and I will destroy them. Unless you can prevent me from doing so. I'll guard them well. I'll protect you. My will is firm. Understood. I hear you. Grant me strength. On our enemy. I'm your knight to command. <laughs> Understood. Do my best. Princess.
Lend me your strength. Good win. No problem. There is no escape. A 
thousand curses upon our enemy. Not a worry. I'll go first. You have my thanks. Then to work. Unforgivable.
Thank you. I'm ready. Talk about a good time. I did that. Emblem engage. Sleep now.
of blooms in me. It's nothing. Divine One, it would be rash to press on. I'm honored. I'll go first. Allow me! Depending on the wielder, power can be used for good or evil with equal ease. That's why the heart of the one controlling the power is important. The heart? That would mean my heart determines how the power is used. All right, Violet. I'm ready. No! Yeah. 
Controlling the power is important. The heart? That would mean my heart determines how the power is used. All right, Violet. I'm ready. I'll change the future into hope. That was not my coolest move. to win somehow well done your fighting was magnificent the trial is past I learned so much battling you thank you but your skills were quite strong even before we met still you've taught me so many things you're an excellent teacher Violet and that's kind of you to say though it helps that you have such raw skill already all I need to do is listen and give a little nudge to those embarking on a path your success here is the direct result of all the choices you've made before today. I've always understood that one choice leads to another, but I'm worried what might happen if I ever make the wrong choice. You needn't worry at all. By passing this trial, you've shown the truth of who you are, and you have your allies to set you right. Should you ever begin to stray, remember, I will always be by your side as well. To the very end. Thank you. I'll continue on my path, trusting my allies to help me along the way. You've clearly learned all you need to hear. Shall we continue on our journey? Ah, <sighs> my new moves are coming together nicely. Just a bit more practice and I'll call it a day. And this spot, it's perfect for rehearsal. So quiet and empty. <laughs> what is that? <gasps> no good. I'm trapped here. Is it my fate to die like this? It's such a pity to be caught so unprepared. I'd have practiced combat as well as dance. said that oh thank goodness you can hear what I'm saying can't you follow the sound of my voice you can hide in here there's a door to your right now go hurry I'm coming <laughs> is the northern fortress that frightening yep 
My ancestors designed it that way. Didn't want people to go poking around. The locals won't get near the place. They say ghosts wander the ruins. A haunted castle. Lately, some have heard a young woman's voice calling out from inside. <sighs> Relax! That's just the local lore. Then why did you make it sound so real? Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't be talking. I've never even been there. Mom always told me to stay away so nobody would figure out the ring's location. There it is now. The Northern Fortress. Hmm. For an abandoned fortress, it's awfully noisy. Wait a sec. The Corrupted! They've gotten in! Let's go. We can't let them get the ring. Oh no. Yeah, this place is swarming. Guess it is a little haunted, huh? Hang on. Divine One, look! There's someone here. They have us well and truly surrounded. Again. Still, safer inside than out in the open. Thank you, Ring. I was telling you to hide, not come looking for me. How could I stay away? A talking ring. You really set off those creatures as well. I take it you're a princess, trapped in this unusual form by a wicked curse. Let me help. Actually, I'm... No need to persuade me, your highness. I'm not one to doubt an unusual story. Oh, spirit of the cards, cast your light upon the path before us. You're a fortune teller, hmm? What are your cards saying to you? Le Dragon. It means help may come from an unexpected source. I suppose we'll just have to hold off the beasts until it arrives. That guy's not here to steal the ring. I think he's trying to protect it. He's clearly no friend of the Corrupted. Let's give him a hand. It looks like he could use one. I hear you. Emblem, engage! Lend me your strength! Ha! 
I won't falter. I had to stop you. Go first. Remember this. Here we go. I'm sorry. I'll do my best. Ha! You're too kind to me. Watch this for Illusion! I'll go first. That was cool, was it not? You there. Are you hurt? Who are you? Don't worry, I'm not your enemy. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon, you say? What do you know? My card spoke true. Unexpected source indeed. Thank you. I am Seedol, a traveling dancer. I was out there rehearsing when those creatures appeared. A talking ring called me to safety. A talking ring, hmm? Yes. I believe it's a young princess who fell victim to some sort of curse. Isn't that awful? Not a curse, exactly. You know her story, then. Tell me, who is this mysterious ring woman? Hand it to me. And we'll find out together. All right. Bear your fangs, emblem of fates! I am Emblem Corin. I'll fight with all I have. Thank you for finding me. I'll help ensure the path you decide to walk is the right one. Thank you, Emblem Corin. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long. An emblem? Really? One of the godlike figures of legend. Seedal, would you fight by Corin's side? We could use your help getting out of here. It would be my pleasure. This world, wonders upon wonders. Huh? 
Did those doors just... We won't be able to escape the way we came in. Let's try that path over there. I was in such a rush earlier. I didn't notice the miasma all over the place. The creatures must have brought it with them. It certainly wasn't here before. Use my power to dispel the miasma and open a path for your allies. Join me for one song. Divine One, as a dancer, I can raise your ally's spirits with my graceful movements. Please, call upon my abilities as you see fit. I'll protect you. The choice is yours. Here we go! I'm in your debt.
not forget your loss. I won't miss a step. Bravo! Stage is mine. All flowers eventually wilt.
we met. That's it? Here we go! A satisfying ending. Allow me! Lovely performance! Let the show begin. Emblem, engage! Descends now. Dream well. You put up a good fight.
Thanks. the stars for you. Understood. You're lost. is yours.
Of course. Grant me strength. Unforgivable. Now I'm mad. You were a worthy opponent. Here we go! Farewell to you!
paths diverge for a moment. Divine One, Emblem Corin. Thank you. All right, we're safe. Hang on. Someone's at the entrance. Don't tell me. More of the Corrupted? Is everyone okay? I saw all those monsters coming in and got worried. Vale? Oh my! We meet again. Did you defeat the monsters? <laughs> yes, we did. Every last one. I'm glad. How have you been? I was surprised to see you out in that blizzard. I hope you found the cathedral. Whatever game you're playing, stop it. Huh? Are you mad about something? Don't act like you forgot. I can see through your lies now. Lies? What do you mean? I promise you, I'm not... Not a step closer! You stay where you are, Fell Princess. <sighs> How did you know? Just looking at you, I feel again the shame of losing father. You took my country from me. My father. What more do you want? The people you killed. They had families. But you don't care, do you? All that pain? You don't even give it a second thought. Wait a moment. I... I killed people? Who? Drop the act. You know what you did. How dare you show your face here? You murdered my mother, and stole the rings. I didn't! I didn't! Please believe me! Believe you? Like I believed we were friends? I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> We've got to do something! Let her go. It's probably a trap. Ah, <sighs> you're right. Divine One? Are you alright? I'm fine, but the next time I see Vale, I swear. <sighs> I killed people, stole rings. Why would I do that? I don't understand. Lady Vale, I finally caught up with you. Oh, Chris, it's you. You're a hard girl to find. Why'd you disappear? Had me all freaked out. Papa told you to drag me back home, right? Told me to... huh? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're the other one. I'm not going back. No matter what you say, Papa will just make me do something cruel. When he awoke, I thought we could finally spend time together. But no. Always telling me to kill the Divine Dragon, or attack so-and-so's castle. Well, I don't want to. I'm not an evil person. Despite what all those people said, even the Divine Dragon was angry with me. And I thought we were friends. The Divine Dragon said you were friends? Wait, you met the Divine Dragon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's... complicated. Look, whatever those people told you, it's not true. They were imagining things. You think so? Of course. How could you have done something bad and then forgotten it? Right. Right. I couldn't have. If only I'd said that before, maybe there wouldn't be this awful misunderstanding. You want to try and speak with them again? Set things straight? I do. But... Aren't you going to bring me back? If this is what you want, I'll help out. Nothing if not loyal, that's me. All right. Thank you, Chris. It seems I misjudged you. It's settled then. Let's head to Firinae. Firinae? Why there? Because that's where the Divine Dragon is going. How do you know that? Come on, we're on a schedule here. Gotta head for the port and set sail. Do you want to patch things up, or don't you? I do. I do, you're right. No time to waste. <laughs> this ought to be real interesting.
Is this? No, it's not. And yet, the similarities... What's the matter, Corin? This place looks very much like where my fate branched. I had three options that day. My decision meant abandoning two of my possible fates. What do you mean? In my world, there are two opposing kingdoms, Hoshido and Nor. I was born in Hoshido, but spent my childhood in Nor. Having ties on both sides of a conflict, that would be a hard way to live your life. Indeed. This is where Hoshido and Nor faced off, and I had to choose which country to back. I had family and friends in Hoshido and in Nor. I didn't want to abandon any of them. But as hard as it was, I had to make a decision. Hoshido or Nor? Maybe neither, and I would fight alone. There was no obvious answer. I don't know how I'd make such a big choice. It's possible a significant one still awaits me at some point on our journey. You've already decided to face the Fell Dragon and save the world. I'd call that a big choice. Now let's see if your choice was a worthy one. Face me in combat. The results will inform my next choice. Surely our bonds will grow stronger. I understand. The paths we've each chosen. I'm excited to find out what lies beyond the point where our fates meet. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Corin can alter the terrain. I can't get caught unaware by her changes. I've got this. I'm ready. Tell me where. Anything for you. Our time has come. I will do what I must. Let's go. Shall we? I will obey. Emblem, engage! If I did that...
As expected. I'll go first. Talk about a good time. I won't falter! I'll change the future into hope. and curses upon our enemy. Short of victory. It's time. A battle fit for Brody. I'll do my best. Give me strength. To the death. You didn't give it your all.
As expected. Just meditating. My princess. I'll use that to my advantage. Don't worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. I'm hurt. <laughs> Not invincible. Ah. 
I'm honored. I'll go first. <laughs> Remember this. Lend me your strength. I'll change the future into hope. Allow me! on the field that day. This is where your destiny branched, isn't it? I think I can understand what you went through. Do not swing timidly without resolve. You must genuinely try to kill me. As you say, Corin, I've chosen my path, and I'll travel as far as it takes me. I expected no less from you. You gave my blade Yato quite a workout. What a beautiful sword. It's a divine blade, forged to bring peace to the world. When I first saw Yato, it flew from its hiding place into my hands. It chose me. It was the same day my mother died protecting me. <laughs> you lost your mother too? It would have been easy to lose myself in that pain. I couldn't have recovered alone. Luckily, I had friends who stood by me and helped me find my way home. And, like my friends, Yato was by my side at every step on my journey. I understand your feelings quite well. 
In the coming days, you'll make choices that might cause you no end of suffering. But no matter what pain you're feeling, I'm with you. And I'll help you find your way home again. I will remember, even in the darkest moment, that I am not alone. Then you'll be just fine. Thank you, Corin, for joining me on this path I have chosen. With Emblem Corin added to our ranks, each country's rings have been collected. Right. No more rings in the wild. Between us and Sombron, they've all been taken. Let's consider the situation. There are five emblems on our side. Lynn, Lucina, Ike, Byleth, and now Corin. Meanwhile, the Fell Dragon's got seven in his grubby claws. Most of them are old allies. Marth, Sigurd, Selica, Micaiah, Leaf, and Roy as well as another emblem ring his forces stole from Lethos, the Azure Twins. To gather all twelve, we will need to face the enemy directly. Are you proposing we invade Illusia? Returning to Illusia already? Yeah, that's gotta be complicated. Indeed. But that aside, invading Illusia now would be a mistake. They have a clear advantage. Seven emblems to our five. The worst-case scenario is that they steal more of our rings. That's what concerns me. If that happens, we can abandon all hope of defeating the Fell Dragon. But the longer we wait to attack, the more likely it is they'll attack us. It's best that we strike first. One never wants to be on the wrong end of an ambush. But we're not ready to take the offensive. Rockin' a hard place, huh? Pardon the interruption. Vander, what is it? Word from the Port of Solm. A number of warships were spotted on the horizon. Judging from the crests on their sails, they appear to be Illusion vessels. They're attacking the Queendom again? No. In fact, the fleet sails toward Firene. My kingdom. We'd better take a look for ourselves. Let's head to the Azure Coast! It's near the border, and it's got a clear view of the sea. <laughs> Smooth sailing. At this rate, we'll be the first ones in Firene. It would seem so. I wonder why Zephia told us to go ahead. Our orders are to kill everyone we see, right? With this kind of head start, think of the body count we can get. We'll be heroes! Seems like Zephia's really taken a shine to us, don't you think, Mavir? I do not particularly care. I have my orders, and I will follow them. <sighs> See, this is why I can't stand you. You never praise me, and you're no fun at all. I thought Chris was bad. At least he's not the boringest man in the world. <sighs> Lady Marnie, Sir Mavir. You got something to report? Two soldiers have deserted the fleet. Hmm. Perhaps they had reservations about the current strategy. Whatever. Leave them be. We'll catch up later and beat the daylights out of them. Uh, but they took an emblem ring. What? Explain. As a precaution, we kept each ring on a separate ship in the fleet. These soldiers attacked the guard on watch and stole the ring of the Azure Twins. Warships are already in pursuit. We will take chase as well. The ring must be returned at any cost. These soldiers... What are their names? Rosado and Goldmary. Princess Hortensia's retainers? I thought those two were behaving themselves lately. No longer, it seems. Do we know where they went? They were headed to Solm by Wyvern. Alright. Turn this ship around! Take us to the coast of Solm! Ugh. And we were in the lead! Those two are in heaps of trouble. We're in Solm now. I think it's safe to say we lost them. Perhaps we should pause for a moment then. I'm sure your wyvern needs to rest her wings. Good idea. Let's take a breather and then start looking for Hortensia.
We have to make sure she gets the Ring of the Azure Twins. Indeed. Aha! There they are! Let's seize them! Is a few minutes rest really too much to ask? Let's get out of here, Gold Mary. That's an Illusion fleet, all right. And it does look to be headed toward Firene. We have to get there before they do. That'd be nice, but look. We've got Illusion soldiers on the beach. You want to attack again, huh? I'll give you a good old-fashioned Solmic welcome. That's not enough troops for an invasion. It looks more like a search party. Divine One! There's a Wyvern coming this way! They must have spotted us. Everyone, at the ready! Hold on! Rosado? Gold Mary! <laughs> Hortensia! You're not hurt, are you? I was so worried. Not as worried as I was! Oh, I'm so happy you two are alive! Nice to see you and your retainers back together again. The Divine Dragon! Watch out! Put that away, Rosado! I'm on the Divine Dragon's side now! My sister is too! Princess Ivy as well? Psst. If you're being held against your will, blink three times! I swear, it's not like that. I wanted to join them, so I did. I made this choice for Illusia. Question is, as my retainers and my friends, will you join me? All right. If this is what you want, then it's what I want too. Whatever banner you're under, I will defend it with all my might. Good. I knew I could count on you two. Um, Divine One, sorry for drawing my weapon on you. Here, this is yours. Is this... The Ring of the Azure Twins. We stole it from the ship we were on. Thank you. Good going! <laughs> I hope my dazzling abilities do not blind you. This is just what we needed. Restore Calm, Emblem of the Sacred. Finally, I am returned to your side. My name is Erica. I raise my sword in hopes that peace will come to this world at last. I know we can depend on you, Erica. Now, which of you should I give this ring to? You're both to thank for bringing it here. You ought to give it to Rosado. Rosado flew us here. He was instrumental in our escape. You were too, Gold Mary. But there's no time to argue, is there? Lend me the ring and I promise, I'll do my part. It's settled. Here you are, Rosado. Finally! This is where those thieves ran off to, right? By all accounts, yes. Now, we sniff them out. Moments ago, the beach was dry, and now the water is up to my ankles. The tide here seems to rise and fall at a moment's notice. Try to keep me on dry land, will you? Ugh, I'd hate to be stuck tromping around in the water. All right. Emblem, engage! Our side's cuter for sure, but by the looks of it, theirs might be tougher. Worry not, Rosado. 
With my power, you can punch through even the hardiest foe's defenses. You may also call upon my twin brother's abilities if you like. Emblem, engage! Here we go! Why do we repeat our mistakes? I am prepared. Anything for you. Nice, nice. Engage! Devoted to you. Grant me strength. Watch this! Ready for anything! How mysterious. Understood. As you wish. My will is firm. I had a feeling. Allow me! You didn't give it your all. I'm here.
Our bonds give me strength. Alive? Huh. Join me for one song. No choice but to win. Destiny awaits.
I'll go first. Remember this. upon our enemy. Shall we dance? Change the future into hope. I'll go first. 
you like. Apologize later. No good traitors. I cannot allow this. Yeah. Here it comes. you punks doing here? You're nothing! I won't forget you. While you lasted.
Emblem, engage! Join me for one song. No mercy for mutineers. Forgive me! No, I've done it. Uh, what a mess. No more I can do here. The rest is up to you. I should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. As if I'd lose. A thousand curses upon our enemy. Here we go! Allow me! I have failed! Alas! I withdraw for now, but we will meet again. The Illusion soldiers have fled. Marnie and Mavi are too. Now we can head to Firinae. Yes, right away. If those ships made landfall, then my people are in danger. Ah, <sighs> that cool breeze. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Almost a shame we'll arrive in Firinae soon. I'm surprised you came with us, Sepia. You're so loyal to Papa. I figured there was no way you'd approve of this. Oh? Well, your father is my master, but lately his orders have been somewhat concerning. I know exactly what you mean. He thinks nothing of killing people. I have the same blood in my veins, of course. Maybe it's natural people mistrust me. 
Oh, Lady Vale, no. I heard about those awful things the Divine Dragon said. That you killed Lumera? Stole the rings? If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word of it. After hearing who your father was, the Divine Dragon probably said that to hurt your feelings. Hmm. I've decided I won't harm anyone, ever. Even if it costs me my life. So, I'm not going back to Papa. I don't want to destroy this world. How kind-hearted of you. If you two really want to help, then after I've cleared up this misunderstanding, will you help me find my sibling? What a silly thing to say. You are Lord Sombron's only child. You have no brothers or sisters. That's not true. We've met. Look at this. How beautiful. It looks like a dragonstone. It is a dragonstone. A thousand years ago, I was crying, and one of my siblings gave it to me. I remember it well. Even though I can't stay with you, I'll always be your friend. If you're sad or lonely, remember, if this stone is intact, that means I'm still alive. As you can see, in all this time, it hasn't even cracked. But that means... What does that mean? It means my brother is still alive, and I'm going to find him. Perhaps with his help, I can convince Papa to end this horrible war. <sighs> Sophia, is something wrong? No, I'm just so... moved. After we finished our business in Firene, Gris and I will help find your sibling. Thank you. I've been looking on my own this whole time. You two will be a big help. Look, Lady Vale, fear an A on the horizon. Why don't you take in the view? Maybe reflect on what you'll say to patch things up? Good idea. <sighs> Another one of Lord Sombron's children survived? First time hearing of it. I don't understand. They all perished in the war a thousand years ago. All of them except Lady Vale, who was too young to fight. I watched it happen, Gris. Watched as each and every one of them met their end. Unless... No. What? Remember something? It's only a hunch. But if I'm right, we may have a problem on our hands. Good thing we heard this before she fell asleep. Yes. After all, once we've gotten to Firene and uncovered the truth, she will never awaken again. Look at this place. Oh my. It can't be. It's impossible. What's wrong, Erica? This looks almost exactly like... I'd swear to you, this is where everything changed forever. Changed? How so? I was a member of the royal family of Renee. Our close neighbors, the Grotto Empire, were our allies for centuries. Then, with no hint of warning, the Grotto Empire invaded. That must have been difficult, if you were allies for so long. As the royal family, my brother and I fought together with our friends to protect our people. The final conflict took place right here. I know things only look similar, but it's very much like being back there. You don't have to go on. I understand that it's a painful memory. I... I lost a very dear friend that day. But you didn't lose hope. You fought on, even when faced with losing a friend. I... Would you spar with me? Here, everything I feel about that day is bound up. My heart is full of grief. Perhaps fighting here will help overcome that. Though that sounds like my brother's thinking. I would be glad to spar with you. However, I don't plan on losing. Well, you wouldn't last long if you didn't try to win. And if you do win, then our bonds will only become stronger. Now, let us begin.
I'll protect you. I'm honored. Our time has come! Ready and able. Grant me strength. Let's go! The choice is yours. Come and face me! Let's do this! Emblem! Engage! Here goes. Lend me your strength! Tell me where. Understood. <laughs> you didn't give it your all. Short of victory. <laughs> victory is mine.
I'll go first. Don't fear for me. Give me strength. No choice but to win.
could have been friends. I am sorry. Change the future into hope. Salvation. your defenses, but that doesn't mean you'll win easily. My will is firm. Give me strength. Sure, okay.
may all find salvation. and moon carry on. the end. Am I fated to join the stars? Not today. I will exit the stage with what grace I still have. I can keep going.
unforgivable. Nothing left of you. The fight for peace must not end here. You're all. That's it. Huh. 
Ready for a fight! I'll go first! I'll do my best! Allow me! Uh, Come on! Uh, uh, Here we go! My turn! This won't do! Impressive! I won't falter! I won't forget you! I guess I'm not invincible after all. Emblem engaged. As if I fight. Grant me strength and victory. I'll go first. Uh, uh, I'm not finished. Fighting you here, it feels so strange. I feel it too. Facing you like this is making me stronger. You've been strong from the start. Now, show me you have the skills to back up your strength. And so, I am defeated. You've gotten stronger. You might even be able to defeat Ephraim, my brother. Thank you. I guess you've always relied on your brother, haven't you? I wouldn't... I mean, we're siblings, and we always need one another's support. I guess I hadn't thought of it that way. You should know that I rely on you, Erica. I trust your opinions and your skills. Thank you. 
I just want to be a help to your cause. The same as others helped me. I'm so very happy to be part of this, and to help all of you. You've saved me so often. I'm starting to think I'd be lost on my own. <laughs> you should have more confidence. As long as we both trust in our own skills, we can be there to support one another. That sounds good to me. I hope you'll continue to be with us, Erika. I hope so too. I'm sure you can save this world. I don't see any Illusion soldiers yet. Uh, they're likely headed for the castle. We better go to Flora Port. That's the port closest to Firne Castle. You might remember it from your first time here. Right. My first time here. I was so taken in by those beautiful rolling hills. Oh no. What's wrong? Smoke. From the northeast. That's the direction of Flora Port. Oh, they must have... No, no, no! Let's go! Flora! Why would they do this? These people... Aren't soldiers, farmers live here, families. Don't give in to despair, Alfred. For your kingdom's sake, we have to be strong. There are more Illusion warships off the coast. If any more make land, Firenay will crumble. We need to fend off the incoming vessels, and then rescue as many villagers as we can. Oh dear, what a mess. Ugh, and the smell from that smoke, it's really quite horrid. Zephia. <laughs> and Vale, you too? I'm guessing this is your handiwork. No, absolutely not. We only just got here. I heard you'd be coming to Firenay and I wanted to talk. Why do you think we're here? Because we saw Elugia's army coming. Your army. The one that's burning Flora to the ground. You're Sombron's daughter. How can you not know what his forces are doing? Not sure. Gris, did you order this attack? Is that how you knew where to go? <sighs> Gris, tell me! Sure, I knew about the attack, but I'm not the one who gave the order. Well, then who did? What monster told our forces to attack a town of innocent people? Why, it was you. Wh what? The homes up in smoke. The people burning to death, crying for help, any help at all. It was your design. Your command. Fine. Ah, we finally made it. What did I miss? Forgive our lateness. There was a complication. Arnie? Mavir? Hey, Lady Vale! Hope you've had some rest after that long trip. Guess I'm a little late. But I am ready and raring to kill everyone in town, like you said! What? Why would you do such a horrible thing? Those are innocent people! Innocent? It's not like you to care about that. Oh, I get it. You switched, huh? You're the boring one. Switched? The boring... What do you mean? Someone explain this to me! <laughs> All right, it was a chore dealing with you anyway. I'll tell you the truth. You should hear this as well, Divine One. The truth? You want to know why you're clueless? Why you can't remember ordering the attack? Because it was the other Lady Vale's doing, along with every other move we've made. The other Vale? Lord Sombron desired a fell child suitable to carry on his legacy. You disobeyed him, failed to use your fell dragon powers, wished for peace. <laughs> you were a defect, unworthy of your parentage. Thus, Lord Sombron gave me the power to make a few... adjustments. What adjustments? What did you do to her? It was simple, really. 
I strengthened your draconic impulses the teensiest bit. Then you thought nothing of killing humans. You embodied Lord Sombron's will. Killing Lumera, stealing the rings, unleashing the corrupted across Elias. All you're doing. That's... That's why I kept waking up in places I didn't recognize. Yes. As your consciousness slept, the other was awake, carrying out her work. Think of it. You fighting the corrupted that you had created. <gasps> but it gets better. The fell dragon's daughter and the divine dragon became friends. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? And pathetic. No. No! I'm sorry! You're right! I've done horrible things! The person who killed my mother and stole our rings, it was Vale. But not... There you have it, Lady Vale. I'd say the misunderstanding has been resolved. Sephia? Riss? Marnie? Mothier? You weren't my friends! I'm alone! I've always been alone! I... Vale, it's all right. Please, let me help you. How about no? From this point on, I no longer have any need of you. Sleep now. Go on. Drift off into a dream. No. Time to wake up, Lady Vale. We do need you. I know how disappointed you would be if you were to miss the bloodshed. You're a liar! Nothing like that... <sighs> Thank you for waking me, Zephia. I've been so looking forward to having some fun. Fetch me the Ring of the Hero King. Yes, as you wish. Marth! And my hounds, prepare yourselves as well. Whatever you desire, my lady. <sighs> How exciting this is. I hope they have the endurance to at least resist a little. It's no fun if they just die. Right? Don't you agree? You know, seeing as how I don't share memories with that pathetic little girl, I simply had no idea you and I were friends now. I hope that you can forgive my rudeness. Your apology means nothing to me. You're not Vale. Give her back! Rest assured that I am Vale. Yes. In fact, I am Vale in her truest form. Only one of us deserves the honor of calling the great Bell Dragon her father. That honor belongs to me and me alone. <laughs> My friends, it's time to fight! Oh, that's right. I have an exciting surprise for you. Ivy, and you, Divine Dragon. It's been some time, has it not? King Hyacinth? Father! You're alive? He's not. This is corrupted Hyacinth. You mean... Looks good as new, hmm? Not like Father's King Morian. I can do much better than that. When I create the Corrupted, they're just like themselves. But at times, that can be a hindrance. So I made some modifications. This... is unimaginable. Princess Ivy earned this. Why me? For stealing the rings from Destinia Cathedral. Ever since then, I have longed for vengeance. <gasps> Hyacinth? I intended to give you the Ring of the Lady of the Plains, but your daughter stole it. Take this instead. The Ring of the Sage Lord. Yes, Lady Vale. You would have me fight my own father? No! You can't treat people like this! Don't you understand how cruel this is? Cruel? This is easily the most fun I've ever had. Speaking of fun, all of the emblem rings are here. Six on your side, six on mine. There's no telling who might win. Vale, 
Now then, let the killing begin. Let's go! Allow me! Remember this. Okay. Understood. Our time has come! Here we go! That was cool, was it not? All right. Emblems engage! No mistakes. Grant me strength. Allow me! <clears throat> For Illusia! Shall we? Let's do this! Come and face me! My will is firm. I'm listening. Yes. Unforgivable. No problem. Together, for our friends! My turn. Brisk and sharp.
<laughs> you hit me, I hit you. Let's get this pain party started. <laughs> you put up a good fight. I can still fight. I'll help. May all find salvation. Now I'm angry. Remember this. You put up a good fight. I owe you one. I won't flinch. eventually wilt. Remember this. I'll go first. 
Glad we met. Allow me. Watch this for Lucia. That helps. I'll go first. <laughs>
I will stop at nothing to protect Lady Vale. Allow me. My turn. <laughs> Unforgivable. Here we go. Ah! How about that? Getting hungry. Allow me. Ah! What a lovely finish. Forget your loss. Resolve is unchanged. Go first. Come on. Alas. What more could I have done? you like.
I've got to hang on. Here we go. Yeah. Simple enough. Thank you. my night? Then by all means, try! I'm sorry. No need for restraint, Sigurd. Run wild! <laughs> Look upon the might of Lord Sombron! The emblem is going wild. This is just like what happened at Solm Palace. This poses a real challenge. Lend me your strength! Watch out! I did not win. Allow me. Glad we met. Is it go time? I'm ready. No. 
nothing short of victory. You put up a good fight. I remember nothing. That look on your face, is it fear or hatred? <laughs> eventually wilt. Your impulses, Emblem Leaf. Lord Sombron is limitless. I was right in my actions. Say the word. Allow me. Ugh! 
new toy. I'm going to enjoy this. Can you defeat your old friend, Marth? I'll crush you. The fight... I'm getting hungry. Here we go! I'm sorry. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> Unforgivable. Hero King, let's make it hurt, shall we? Impressed by Father's power? Bell Dragons are far beyond Divine Dragons. I cannot accept this. The moment I slipped into the Fell Dragon's thrall, my fate was sealed. Ivy, Hortensia, I'm sorry. Know that I love you both. Illusia is yours to lead, and yours. Engage! No hesitation. Tenacious! 
not possible. How could this happen? I promise you will not survive our next encounter. Damn, the ring we gave Hyacinth. They snatched it. We gotta protect the other ones. Let's get them onto the ship. I will take the ring of the Hero King. Come, my lady. We must hurry. <sighs> Is something the matter? Zephia, give me your ring. What are you planning? Just do it. Very well. that you never wake up again! Mavir, keep an eye on those other rings. Understood. The Ring of the Holy Knight. Thank you, Vale. Emblem Sigurd. Emblem Leaf. I'm glad you two are back. As am I. Allow me to apologize for failing to protect you at the Cathedral. All this time within my dimmed consciousness, I feared you and I would never again meet. Sigurd, that was my fault, not yours. As you saw, they have been twisting Vale's mind and using her as a pawn. With Sombron's movement limited, it is she who carries out his will. I see. Should we try to rescue her? First, we have to help the people of Flora. We can go to Elugia after we've put out the remaining fires and rescued the survivors. With this fight, we have eight rings. We're at an advantage to take the other four. Yes. Victory is in sight. Alfred, why don't you go to the castle? Tell Queen Ev what has happened here. Yeah. Leave the village to us. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. <laughs> Be safe, Vale. There's something unnatural about this place. You feel it as well? I've no explanation for it. Yet this place bears a great resemblance to Chalfi. Chalfi? I've never heard of it. Is it somewhere in your world? Correct. It is my homeland. I had once thought to lead a quiet life there in Chalfi, alongside my wife, Deirdre. What happened? Deirdre was kidnapped by followers of a dark faith. Her life was twisted to their desires. She was to aid in the resurrection of a dark god, heralding a new age of terror and destruction. What? That's awful. Ah. Uh, yet there was still light, still hope for our future. How so? I believe I shall share that part of the tale with you following the trial. Take up your weapon, for I am the trial that you shall face. Overcome this trial, and our bond will grow. My power will become yours. And we have to fight in this place that is like your homeland. There's significance to that. Correct. Now earn it. Show me that your skills are sufficient to surpass my own. I'll take you down, Sigurd. I'm giving this everything I have. The trial is thus. Find your way to me and claim victory.
If we're going to reach Sigurd, we'll need to cross that bridge. And if we can capture that fortress, we might be able to operate it. Shall we? Together! Here we go! Guess I did it right! I'm ready. Understood. I'm listening. For peace. I will obey. All right. Anything for you. Let's do this. Understood. Shall I go? Let's pray. Grant me strength. As a thousand curses upon our enemy. Emblem, engage! I'll change the future into hope. Our time has come. I'll go first. <laughs> As expected. Allow me! For Brodia! I can't believe I did that. I'll go first. That went well.
A good wind. Grant me strength and victory! Allow me! I fight for my friends! Bonds give me strength. Change the future into hope. to learn. I'll go. Let's be careful. Sorry. What a pain. At 
your service. Better to act than to worry. and curses upon our enemy. You were beautiful while you lasted. The Fortress General's dead. The bridge is ours. Let's rest here for a minute, Divine Dragon. Just meditating. I won, my princess. Ooh, I just spotted a rare bug. Tell me where.
I see. Take your life. Tell me, how do you imagine the world once your war ends? I wish for a peaceful world. For myself, my friends, everyone. A world that we will build for ourselves, where no one will be hurt by the greed of others. It requires power to turn a dream into reality. Show me you have what it takes. Yeah, this won't do! Well played. Well done. You have passed the trial with a stunning display of skill. I didn't do it alone. All of us claimed this victory together. Correct. Friends, allies, family. Anyone with whom you forge bonds will give you strength. Now, the moment of truth. Do you wish to avenge the death of your mother, Lumera? I... when I lost her, I was sad and angry. I thought I could never forget the one who took her life. But you asked me if I'd want revenge, and I don't know anymore. I lost many friends, even family, in battle. And yet I find I bear no grudges. I know well the meaning of grief. As well, I know there is no single truth. I entrusted this knowledge to my son, Selaf. I hoped that it might guide his future. Your son? You and Deirdre's, you mean? Indeed. Now listen well. You carry a proud and noble conviction in your heart. Knowing grief, justice, and truth are subjective, are you still able to fight with conviction? Of course. This war will end, and then I will see to it that the world remains at peace. <sighs> a perfect answer, my friend. And the one I was hoping to hear. So, until the fighting is done and gone, I shall be by your side watching over you. Something about this place is really off. It appears to be the River Thracia. Quite similar, at least. Is this some place in your world? In looks. It is quite close enough to a stretch of ground where I once stood. The River Thracia was a beautiful, broad river. And it was the site of much bloodshed. I can't imagine someplace as serene as this turning into a battlefield. This is where I faced the genius tactician Sias. Some thought him a hero, Reinhardt, a powerful man said to be the Crusader Throod Reborn. 
was there as well. It was a difficult battle. Many were the moments when I thought defeat was at hand. So why does this place look like that? I do not know for certain. I sense a mighty force emanating from here. This must be the trial appointed to you. A uh, trial? I want you to fight me here. If you overcome that trial, our bond will grow stronger. That bond will bring with it power we cannot do without if we are to survive the battles ahead. Winning a battle against you is my trial? Understood. Good. Victory is your only way forward. I will stand my ground. No running, no hiding. Now, come at me! Nice, nice. Together. Guess I did it right. As you wish. Grant me strength. As if I lose. A good wound. and curses upon our enemy. Divine One, 
it would be Give it your all. Emblem engage. Our bonds give me strength.
I'll change the future into hope. Whatever you like. Not forget your loss. Let us become one!
the fight. It seems I've blundered. Better to act than to worry. Just a scratch. That's it. Emblem, engage! Raise your sword! Nothing to fear. I can keep going. Here we go! <laughs> Remember this.
Now, destroy the bridge! Guess I'm... Better to act than to worry. Too slow. Gods, please protect us. There! There is nothing to fear. Our time. I'm here. I will strike you down. Princess does it. Gods, please protect us. There is nothing to fear. Gods, please protect us. A satisfying ending. Victory is mine.
Lend me your strength. Allow me. I'm proud of you. I'll go first. As expected. If I... That was fun! Thanks! Ready for a fight. Grant me strength and vic- I must focus. Allow me. All mine! <laughs> <laughs> Go first. <laughs> Not yet. I fight for my friends. I have been waiting. Are you prepared? Of course, Leaf. I will face you anywhere, at any time. Then let us begin. A fair battle between equals. Me first! Ah! Damn! And so, I lose. You have become stronger since we first met, my friend. I feel like I've still got a long way to go. I appreciate your guidance. Guidance? An interesting word choice. I believe I understand now why the trial was located here. Oh? Why? I was a young prince, inexperienced in leading an army. My errors were many. Some fatal. On the day of this battle, I was told something I've kept in my thoughts ever since. Once blood is spilled, it cannot return to its source. Make that sacrifice worth something. Life is a series of choices. There is no way for one to know if their past choices were correct or a mistake. All we can do is make the future into something good and righteous. We must strive for that. Such is the responsibility of a guide. And it is what I learned in the place so like this one. Thank you, Leaf, for sharing your story with me. I feel like I understand more than before. I will work to build a good future. And you'll be beside me until the end of this war? Here, on the shores of this beautiful river, I swear my service to you. Gave the Ring of the Holy Knight to the Divine Dragon. Apologies, my lord. The Ring of Azure Twins lost as well. Twice my four hounds failed me. You do understand the gravity of all this? Yes. And Vale. Still in a deep slumber. 
No matter how much I amplify her draconic impulses, she won't awaken. She refuses her true nature. In that case, take this. Uh, what is it? An enchanted helmet. It will strengthen the spell you cast on her. My power with your spell will correct what is wrong with Vale. I see. Keep it safe. Use it when the time is right. Of course. As you will it. There is... something else I would like to discuss. What? Pardon me, Lord Sombron, but... Lady Vale is your only child, correct? My only living child? Yes. That is correct. Of course. I was speaking from fear, not fact. Forgive me. Why ask such a thing? Vale believes one of her siblings is alive. I thought it best to raise with you. She spoke of an unbroken dragonstone. Hmm. But she must be mistaken. We both know the truth. Your children were killed in the war a thousand years ago, all but Vale. I remember one who stood above the rest, with hair and eyes like fire. What was the name again? Something like... Zephyr. My lord. I do not remember all my children's names or faces. But that one I killed myself. Yes. Moments later, I was imprisoned. Did you collect the body? I... I did not. Then I rescind what I said. <laughs> the answer is no. And if you find that offspring, bring me a corpse this time. Yes, Lord Sombron. As you wish. Thanks for arranging this ship for us, Alfred. Thank my mother, not me. When I said we were headed to Elusia, she got one of the fleet's finest lined up. How was everything at the capital? Well enough. There haven't been any attacks since we left for Brodia. What a relief. I told Mother what the other side's been up to. How they're after sovereign blood. She was shocked, of course, to hear about King Morian and King Hyacinth. Understandably so. As for the destruction at Flora Port, the royal family will spare no expense on aid. Though it may be years before the harbor is returned to its original beauty. We must defeat the Fell Dragon so that such horrors never happen again. What's our plan? When we arrive, do we head straight for Illusia Castle? First, we should try to learn what we can from the Illusian people. Rings or no rings, if we don't know what we're up against, we could lose everything. Besides, there's something I need to find out. And what's that? Whether Vale is alright. Hmm. From our vantage, the Hounds certainly didn't seem pleased. They may attempt to erase her personality. If anyone can do it, that woman can. I know Vale killed my mother. Nothing we've learned changes that. But I can't help but worry about her. I hope she's not hurt. Yes. I suppose she's a victim in this too. And she did risk her neck to give us the ring. Or it was all an act and she's just gaining our trust to stab us in the back. Again. That's worth considering. We don't know enough to rule anything out. Still, I want to trust her. Divine One, excuse me. Two ships flying Illusion colors approach from ahead. Any sign of the Hounds? None. However, it appears the enemy intends to attack us. Then we've got no choice but to fight them on the water. Prepare for battle, everyone! We're fighting on two fronts. Good news is, the ship's got flame cannons that'll set fires and slow down the enemy. Be careful, though. Wouldn't want our allies to get caught in the blaze. <sighs> 
Since the king's death, my country has become something unrecognizable. Elusia's armies serve Elusia no longer, but the hounds. Is this truly what I meant to do? I've got this. I love it. Okay. Let's end this scene. There is nothing to fear. I am full of vigor. No mistakes. Emblem, engage! Good wind. Power blooms in me. <laughs> At you. I'm ready. Wouldn't miss it. Anything for you. Emblem, engage! You didn't give it your all. Let's go! What a lovely scene! Understood. Death does not frighten me. I know my wife awaits me on the other side. A thousand curses upon our enemy. A 
good wind. <laughs> They're nice and distracted. Don't mind me, Chunks. I'm just here for the treasure. <laughs> My wound is healed. Just meditating. Gods, please protect us. more than enough. My love, I am on my way. Right and proper end. I'm still alive? Huh. on our enemy. Not a worry. Hmm. 
I have to withdraw. A battle fit for Brodia. Better to act than to worry. I did it right. I've looked forward to this day. Emblem, engage! Give me strength. At your service.
I will not forget your loss. Please, don't worry. I'm not a child anymore. Won't be much use in. <laughs> what a pain. I'll change the future into hope.
I have my orders. You will not survive this battle. There! Don't fear for me. I'll help! May their souls find peace. Illusia is in sight. So... I've returned. Are you all right? Whatever has become of Illusia, I'll still do what I must. Give report is a little farther north. I suggest sailing there. Understood. It's near the castle and the cathedral, so we should be able to gather intel there. I will inform the others of our destination. Marth, Selica, Micaiah, Roy. We've returned without you, but we'll get you back this time. Just hang on. Illusia. A return then to the land where we were separated from our fellow emblems. If reunited, we can at last grant the power we offer once every thousand years. We should discuss our other option. That is, the far greater power only we know about. Yes, of course. The miracle. We could use that power at long last. I would suggest Lumera. I don't like this idea. We shouldn't perform the miracle. We have to think of the future. I agree. The whole future. We can't favor anyone with it now. Favor someone? We're talking about Lumera. We can prevent a tragedy. Please, those of us who were scattered in other lands are still learning all that's happened. Some of us were at her castle, some were not. It's natural to see things differently, so we are not all in agreement, at least at present. Using our power every thousand years is one thing. The miracle, we've never used it before, never in all of existence. The cost of doing so is not small. Perhaps we should never, ever use it. <sighs> of course, we are not all here. What might the others think? What might they decide? I have returned. Hey, uh, Zephia. How'd the report to Lord Sombron go? Bet he was mad we lost the rings, huh? Very. <laughs> Knew it! So he's gonna punish us, right? Finally, yes. In fact, no. It was a scolding, nothing more. He impressed upon me the gravity of our role. That's all? <laughs> he must really love us! Feels good to be appreciated. Has Lady Vale woken up yet? No. That spell you keep casting on her. This is getting reckless. 
We should dispense with the magic for now. Allow her to return to normal. The spell will soon have a more stable effect. Lord Sombron gave me an enchanted helmet. What? For her to wear. A helmet imbued with his power that will amplify the spell I cast on her. Finally, I can erase the defect from existence. I intend to use it shortly. I would like to have some good news for my next meeting with Lord Sombron. Speaking of news, our warships ran into the Divine Dragon's forces. No luck stopping them. Sounds like they're sailing to Illusia as we speak. Huh. Moving faster than I expected. Yeah. Only a matter of time before they're knocking at our door. Oh! Want me to buy us some time? I can do it! Of course, dear. So good of you to volunteer. But I can't have you going all alone. Mavia, you'll accompany her, won't you? Very well. What? Why? I'd be fine on my own! You are good, of course. But you'd achieve even greater success with Mavia at your side. Well... Okay. All the more praise for me then, right? Zephia, I ask one thing. Wait to cast your spell on Vale again until we return. All right, Mavi. Then we depart. We'll be back before you know it. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Mavia. He's way too attached to that other veil. Truly. But it doesn't matter at the moment. And won't as long as he stays in his place. The four hounds are my family. I will always love Mavir. Always. As long as he obeys. Now we have a serious matter to discuss. What Lady Vale said about having a sibling. Right, right. That Dragonstone of hers, something about it being whole, not broken. Yes, exactly. We need to look into that. The situation bears... examination. Here we are. Give report. I expected it to be better defended. We just sailed right in. <sighs> What's wrong? This is a port town. It's typically bustling with people. Why is it so quiet? I see someone over there. Maybe they can tell us. Divine One, wait, that's... <coughs> one of the corrupted! Yes. And surely not the only one here. You're right. They must have spread through the whole town. Which means... I'm afraid so. Does the Fell Dragon mean to destroy Illusia too? But that makes no sense. All I know is we can't turn a blind eye. We've got to get rid of them. No, we move on. What? And abandon the people here? Princess Ivy, tell us what you want to do. We leave this place. But there are people in danger. We have a responsibility to help them. That's what we did at Flora, isn't it? We got there right after the attack. There were people to save. Look around. We're too late. Far too late. There aren't any survivors. I would have wished nothing more than to help the people here. But with every passing moment, more lives may be lost elsewhere. We cannot waste our time on the dead. We must protect the living. This is terrible. I don't think I could abandon a town like this, but it's not my decision. You'd already recognize the choice Princess Ivy would make, Divine One? Impressive. Hmm? No, that was... Thank you for your support, Divine One. Now, to the castle. Aw, you're gonna cut and run just like that? Who's there? Hello, it's me, your old pal Marnie. Oh, and Mavier's here, too. We meet again. I really wish you'd decided to stay and fight the Corrupted. It would've been so much easier. But the Divine Chicken's afraid of them. What, what, what? Isn't that right? The Divine Dragon was thinking only of what's best for everyone. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just shut up, will ya? You're annoying me. You guessed right. The port fell a long time ago. But I won't let you just walk away. Wait, how's this for a deal? Drop your emblem rings, and you can go. I don't think so. I figured. Worth a shot, though, right? Well, time to fight then. And don't worry. We brought lots and lots of the corrupted. Just for you. Tell me one thing first. Please. I need to know. What? Vale. Is she all right? Lady Vale. She... Shush, Marvier. We didn't come here to blab secrets. Afraid we can't answer that, Divine One. Our lips are sealed. Tell you what, when this is over, I'll whisper it into your dead little ears. How's that? We'd hoped to learn whatever we could from the people of this town. But with no one left alive, we're glad to get the truth out of you, one way or another. Mavier, take. Zephia permitted us to use emblem rings? Nah, I just went ahead and borrowed a couple. You did what? Marnie, when this is discovered... I'll be what? Scolded? Punished? Please! We're Lord Sombron's favorites! Besides, if I capture even one more ring, imagine the praise I'll get! I'll be a hero! Even in that case, he will not forgive you. Ugh, skip the lecture, okay? Just put it on! If you ruin my chance to shine, I won't forgive you! Divine One, the Flame Cannons! With those, you can burn right through that miasma! Why the Divine Dragon Dock here? The place is infested. Guess I've got no choice but to cut my way through these moldering bastards. upon our enemy. Anything for you. Yes. Power blooms in me.
A good wind. Guess I did it right. Prince Diamond. Saphir, what are you doing here? Your letter said you were headed to Illusia. Figured you could use another soldier. Don't worry, the castle is safe and secure. But about King Morian. I'm sorry, Saphir. I should have protected him. He was so sure he would return. He knew the risks. For whatever it's worth, I'm glad you're still above ground. Let's make sure that doesn't change anytime soon. Allow me! A proud victory! Time to crack skulls. and curses upon our enemy.
Let us waste no time. I must return to Lady Vale. Hold nothing back. If this is war, so be it. This imposes a burden upon you. Enough. Engage! 
There is nothing to fear. and die quick. <laughs> Damn. I wanted to help, but I'm just getting in the way. I better go. I really... I knew I would disappoint everyone. One less fall. Show your we mean. <laughs> 
business. Emblem Roy! A child anymore. I'll go first. Not done. Talk about a good time. Sorry. Better to act than to worry. Then to worry. And they lived happily ever after. We must retreat, now. I can't go back. I'm just gonna get an earful from Lord Sombron. Or worse, Zephia. And after all your nonsense about being exempt from scolding. Now, let's hurry to Lady Vale. Wait, tell me. Is Vale all right? Lord Sombron has given Zephia a new kind of magic to use on Lady Vale. If she does, 
The true Lady Vale will never awaken again. <laughs> the others think this is a happy outcome, but I... I have always worried for her safety. You really do want to protect her, don't you? I have said too much. Marnie, I am returning now, with or without you. You can't just leave me... Hey! Wait up! <sighs> Is it a good idea to just let them go? We took back the rings. Besides, I have a feeling that Vale is going to need him right at her side. Emblem Micaiah. Emblem Roy. Glad to finally have you back with us. I never lost faith that we would return to you. Thank you. On the shadowy moor and at Flora Port, it pained me to fight against you. I'm sorry for putting you through that. I promise to never let that happen again. I can't believe there are so many of the Corrupted in Illusia. The Fell Dragon is behind the rise of the Corrupted in this kingdom. Sovereign blood is no longer enough for him. He's abducting the people of Illusia. When Sombron drains them, they turn into the Corrupted. That's why they're everywhere. You mean, the Corrupted we killed were... <sighs> Solm, Brodia, Firene. They'll all suffer if the Corrupted leave my kingdom. We must act now. If any of my people still remain, I must do all I can to save them. Those two came all the way here to stop us from reaching Illusia Castle. The Four Hounds must be desperate to keep us at bay. Let's find out why. Hey, look! It started snowing. I'm certain I've been here before. Or someplace just like it. Where do you think we are, Micaiah? This looks somewhat like Castle Knox. I battled Ike there once. Huh? Castle Knox? You fought against Ike? It was snowing then, too. Ike was a strong commander, as was I. But we each had a different definition of victory. Ike was trying to save us, and I could not let him. We needed help, but not his. My people were cursed by a magical blood pact and headed for certain ruin. What happened? I fought Ike, fought to undo the pact. I held on to hope. I stayed focused on my vision of the future. Even on the worst day, I kept hold of that. I gave everything to protect people I cared for. I'd have sacrificed more if there'd been need. That vision is what made it possible for me to survive the war. I think I know now why we were brought here. Teach me how you never broke in the face of despair and fear, Micaiah. So, you've figured it out then? The point of this trial? Well then, face me in battle, and do your best to be victorious. If you win, our bond will strengthen, and you'll be able to draw on my power like never before. You've got to earn this. Defend yourself. I'll do my best. Set me loose. No mistakes. As you wish, Divine One. I'm honored. Ciao! Understood.
My will is firm. Come and face me! All right. Let's go. I'm ready. Let us become one! I still have much to learn. eventually built. Our time has come! Grant me... and curses upon our enemy.
in the name of peace. Lend me your strength! Our bonds give me strength. yet to come. I will not forget your loss. to act than to worry.
Why do we repeat our mistakes? Salvation. You didn't give it your all. Change the future into hope. claimed victory. I'm impressed.
Remember that battle as if it were yesterday. It's almost like I'm there again. The past and the future are together in my heart. You're a strong combatant, but I'm not going to lose. Very well. I'd be let down if you held anything back. I'll help! <laughs> so strong. Well done! You passed the trial safely. Thank you, Micaiah. Do you feel that? Our bond is stronger. I do, yes. I feel like I understand you better than before. There's just one thing. What's that? You know, I was sort of hoping I might gain some of your fortune-telling ability. <laughs> don't worry. You don't need that. You can already see the future. In fact, you're building it. I'm building the future? Is that one of your predictions? No. Nope. It's something I see right in front of me. I see someone with the strength to never lose heart, no matter what. You're a fighter. It's an honor to know that you think so. I'll do my best not to disappoint. Not a chance. Come on. Let's go save the world. Where are we? I don't recognize it. It looks like... No, it couldn't be. Roy, do you know this place? I may be seeing what I want to see instead of what's truly there, but it's very similar to a place where I once fought an important battle. Oh, do you mean in the world you're from? Could you tell me about it? I stood there, my allies at my side facing down the armies of the Kingdom of Burn. The enemy's commander was Murdoch, who was especially strong, tactically and physically. His battle axe. The power and weight of its blows are etched forever in my memory. It was a battle so grueling, I can hardly believe that I or anyone else managed to survive. But bitter as it was, I hold fond memories of that day as well. It must be an important point in time for you. Yes, you could say that. I admit I feel a bit energized standing here. Would you grant me an odd request? Battle me here, in this place. Battle you? But why? This place is from my memory, but I believe it is a trial meant for you. Achieve a glorious victory against me, and our bond will grow deeper still. My power will grow, and yours will too. Are you interested? All right. I'll fight you, and I'll win. I'm looking forward to seeing how you approach this battle. I had a feeling. Let's hear it.
I will obey. Shall we? Let's pray. Understood. Shall I go? I'm ready. Of course. I can fight. I'll protect you. I will do what I must. Wings? It sounds like wyverns. They might be reinforcements for Roy's troops. I should advance with caution. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks. A thousand curses upon our enemy. My resolve is unchanged. I did it right. Give me strength. The fight
Victory is mine. I'll go first. Let's have some fun. I fight for my friends. Here we go. Guess I did it right. Okay. A good wind.
I'll change the future into hope. Invincible after all. I'll retreat so I don't drag you down. Allow me! I will protect everyone! I'm still alive? Huh. Lend me your strength! Our bonds give me strength.
time to pray. Good to go. Grant me strength. A thousand curses upon our enemy. Please, don't worry. Forget this. Say the word. A good wind. Pray for me. choice. As you wish.
Watch this! Where you lead, I follow. Someone more, uh, adequate you should be fighting? Why are you talking nonsense, Alchrist? You are the Prince of Brodia, the land I was entrusted to. Who better could I face? Come, let our battle begin! Why would this... My leg is cramped. <laughs> I still stand! Unfortunate. I'll do as you command. Our time has... much more focused, more intense than usual. My sword, the Binding Blade, was kept in this land for centuries. My memory of retrieving it must be granting me additional power. If a memory can grant power, then I'll give you a fight we'll both remember. Quickly now, I concede! Thank you for entertaining my wish to fight. You're impressive. You would have won if I'd slipped up even once. 
I never want to have you as an enemy again. Please, you're embarrassing me. <sighs> What's wrong, Roy? You're staring. No, oh, it's just that you remind me of somebody I once knew. Her name was Edun. She was a demon dragon. And King Zephiel of Burn wished to use her to destroy humanity. A demon dragon? Like you. Each of her eyes was of a different color. And she carried herself a bit like you, too. I never knew there was such a person. Did you battle this demon dragon? Well, I had a choice. Kill her and wipe out the dragons. Or save her, the enemy of mankind. Can you guess which I chose? Which was it? I'll tell you the whole tale once this war is over, and your world is at peace. Aww. Okay, then. But you have to promise me you'll tell. I'm looking forward to the story. I promise. Until that day comes, I think we'll enjoy our time together. What? You let them take two of our rings? I apologize. See, we... we figured if we stole a couple rings, you'd be proud of us. There's no point stealing theirs if we keep losing ours, you morons! I'm sorry, okay? But Lord Sombron will understand. We're his favorites, after all. He's not gonna scold us for losing a couple rings. Marnie. Yes? You should have done as I ordered. No more, and no less. I cannot protect you this time. Me? It's your fault we lost the Ring of the Holy Knight! I was following Lady Vale's orders. Do you mean to suggest she is at fault? Well, no, but... I will not make excuses. If punishment is due, give it to me. You? Marnie was merely seeking your praise. I am to blame. I should have stopped her. What a selfless display. To see you show care for a fellow hound. <sighs> I'm touched. Or perhaps you fear what I'll do to Lady Vale if I'm angry. <sighs> Alas, it's too late. I've already cast the spell. What? You promised to wait until our return? I meant to, I really did. But then the defect awoke. I had no choice. And don't speak to me of promises. You have broken your vow to Lord Sombron. As the head of this family, I must punish my children when they misbehave. Punish? What are you gonna do? Marnie, run! I don't think so. Look at that. Both out cold. Seemed painful, too. Stop your salivating. You have work to do, and I'm leaving. What should I do with them? Oh, they'll come crawling back. They have nowhere to be but at my side. I trust you won't be distracted from the task I gave you. Even as they inflict pain upon you, pay attention. There mustn't be the slightest doubt. I know. I've got to see if that loser is Lord Sombron's kid. Here we are, in Lucia Castle. Sombron is likely within those walls. Vale, too. Yes. I hope she's safe. But there's a chance she'll face us as an enemy, not a friend. Be vigilant. At the first sign of danger, we should retreat. <sighs> What's wrong? Those words. They're Marth's. That's what he told me at Distinia Cathedral before... before I lost him. We still haven't recovered from our defeat that day. What if it happens again? It won't. We're stronger than ever before. You've really stepped into your role of divinity. You really think so? Yes. 
That's why I know we'll get the emblems back. That's the highest praise you could give me. <sighs> Let's go. Is Elugia Castle usually this quiet? No. I would at least expect royal soldiers to be standing guard. Maybe Sombron dealt with them. You mean, turn them into the Corrupted? No. Who needs those boring soldiers when you can have me? Briss. Been a while, Divine One. Welcome. You must be tired after that long journey. Oh, and look. The long-lost princess. Got homesick, huh? <sighs> I gotta hand it to you. Two more rings in your pocket. Not bad. But for the complete set, you'll need more. Like... this one. The Ring of the Caring Princess! It's the real deal, too. I'll prove it. Celica! I'll give her back. All you gotta do is beat me. What is this? Nothing. What, you think Lord Sombron's gonna show up? It's one against many. We'll crush you. Hmm, you know just what to say. Relax. No one's coming. If I'm wrong, I'll bite off my tongue and choke on my blood. What is this about? You want answers. You'll have to whack them out of me. Fine. I don't know what you're after, but we won't let this chance pass us by. Get ready, Gris. We'll make you give back that ring. Now you're talking! Make me, dragon! Tear me limb from limb from limb! Let's keep the fun going. I'm gonna make you work for it. He vanished! Gris must be using Emblem Celica's power. He's probably hiding in the shadows. Be careful, everyone! I'm your knight to command. Emblem, engage! Here we go! You didn't give it your all. Got That went well. Time to crack skulls. Yes. I've got this. Emblem, engage! I'll change the future into hope. Devoted to you. Me? Understood. Tell me where. 
Give me strong foes. Ready for anything. So what's the plan? You gonna stab me? Mash me? Shred me to ribbons? <laughs> this is gonna hurt! <laughs> Again? Where did he go? I won't falter! Yeah! Our bonds give me strength. I feel refreshed. Let's get... Engage! I'll go first. Uh. <laughs> it's time! Yeah. The true battle is yet to come. upon our enemy.
tired of playing hide and seek? Me too. Let's get vicious. Fight. Better stand back. I must focus. You didn't give it your all. to learn. I won, my princess. I'm 
got this. Thousand curses upon our enemy. Me. No problem. Allow me! I'd rather be friends. Tell me where. Emblem, engage!
That's how a knight does it. Try again! Even mighty ones fall! Why do we repeat our mistakes? was a party. There is nothing to fear. Our time has come!
for King Morian. Valiant effort. Victory was mine. I'd rather be friends. Their choice. Ready for a fight. Allow me. <laughs> bye bye now. The ring! We got it back! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Me? Nothing. Better summon her. Want to free her from Lord Sombron's power, don't you? I know. Care for us. Emblem of Echoes! <sighs> I thank you. <sighs> Emblem Celica, it's such a relief to have you back again. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> oh, man. Ain't this whole thing just a laugh, Riot? Zephyr, that little hunch of yours was so dead on! I think it's clear you've lost your mind. Look at you acting all high and mighty. It's clear you've lost your mind. Yeah, that's cute. The real question is, have you lost yours? You're playing up this whole thing like you're a god, but you're fighting on the wrong side. Why are you staring at me with that stupid look on your face? You think you're a divine dragon? Let me set you straight. You are the child of the fell dragon! I am his child? No, but... How? How dare you utter such slander, such lies! If the dragon doesn't remember it, how the hell would you know anything? Were you there a thousand years ago? Hmm? I'll tell you how I figured it out. Divine and Fell Dragons can both summon emblems, right? But they don't do it the same way. Divine Dragons pray. Fell Dragons, though... They use... invocations. <laughs> That's how you summon Selica. That's how you've done it all along, isn't it? Which means you're... Say it with me. The Fell Dragon's child. But then... I don't understand. Why did Mother call me her child? How should I know? You'll have to ask her. Oh, wait. You blackguard! <laughs> Sticks and stones, buddy. Anyway... Now I've got what I came for. Too bad it cost me a ring, but I was told to buy time, and I did. Lord Sombron and Lady Vale should be long gone by now. You mean they were here after all? Whoops. Didn't mean for that to slip out. Ah well, your Divine Dragon's a fraud. Take your time falling apart. Will you scatter to the winds? Cut each other's throats? So many options. See ya. Halt! I'm... I'm the Fell Dragons. He was lying, Divine One. I don't believe a word of it. We can't be divided by the enemy. We must be calm. Saying Sombron isn't here may have been another attempt to mislead us. Let's look around and make sure. Well? This place is well and truly deserted. Yes. Sombron is no longer in the castle. What should we do now? <sighs> if what Gris said is true, I should leave. What do you mean, leave? The night Mother died, I had a nightmare where I was surrounded by flames. My hair and eyes were red. Now I see. It wasn't a nightmare. It was a memory. One bad dream doesn't prove anything. Maybe not. But this will. Emblem Sigurd. I am here. You knew me a thousand years ago, didn't you? Answer this. Was Gris telling the truth? Am I the Fell Dragon's child? <laughs> you are. <laughs> How can this be? So it's true. I apologize. With your memories lost, we thought you could be happy living this way. That is what Lumera and I agreed upon the day you awoke. Why did Mother call me her child? Sombron had turned his back on you. Your life was in danger. Both you and Lumera wished above all else to be a family. That is the fullness of my knowledge. That's plenty, Sigurd. Thank you. I'm sorry. Everyone, I'm not a divine dragon. I never was. You have nothing to apologize for. Only a divine dragon could imprison Sombron as Mother did. What chance do we have now of surviving this war? Without such power, there's no hope of stopping Sombron. Why would you assume you lack the power of a divine dragon? 
You have fell dragon blood, yes. But you forget your own abilities. Think back to Flora Port, when my ring was returned and you summoned me. But I used an invocation. Emblems summoned through a fell dragon's power cannot communicate. <sighs> Think back upon emblems summoned with a fell dragon's power. Could they speak? No. When I called out to them, they didn't answer. Please, explain further, Sir Sigurd. A fell dragon's invocation robs an emblem of their free will. Their service is compulsory. With a prayer, the emblem keeps their free will. A divine dragon would wish nothing less. You use both invocation and prayer. You mean... I do have the power of a divine dragon? Precisely. Your hair and eyes prove the fact eloquently. At one time, both were red. The blue is proof that through Lumera's love, you have inherited a divine dragon's power. Lumera shortened her life so that you could succeed her as the divine dragon. Mother! We emblems fight alongside you of our own volition. We could only deepen our bonds with you because you have the power of a divine dragon. You are the one intended to carry on Lumera's legacy. Will you still leave after hearing this? Is that your wish? No. I want to stay. I can't change that I'm the Fell Dragon's child. I know that. But I would like to continue on as the Divine Dragon. If you will have me. Of course we will! Oh, Alfred. Sure, first we came to you because we needed your help. But now I care about you. Fell or divine or whatever else. We need you. So no more talk about leaving us. We'd never have made it this far without you. I will follow wherever you lead. If you have only half of your power, so be it. We'll make up for the other half. What matters to me isn't how you were born. It's what you do with the life you're given. If you choose to live as a divine dragon, then that's what you are. Conflicted as I might be, I am made resolute by the terror I feel at losing you. Because, to me, you are the Divine Dragon. Your leaving would not change that bond. Everyone agrees. After all, you are what connects them. You are, and always shall be, the Divine Dragon. Thank you, everyone. There's much I don't know. I may have made choices in the past that I can't take back. But for now, I'll continue on this journey with you. We emblems will follow you, completely of our own free will. Divine Dragon. Mavir, it's you. I overheard your conversation about being Lord Sombron's child. If that is true, then I urge you to help Lady Vale. What? You're not here to stop us? All this time, Lady Vale has been sustained by a desire to meet her sibling. If she sees you, she will be saved. I know it. I'd like to support her, like my friends here have supported me. Vale, the true Vale, has been a friend to us. But we don't know where she is. She is traveling with Lord Sombron to the land of Lethos. Lethos? But why? You will have to trust me. I can explain on the way. What do you think? Let's go with him. There's something about this island. It's like a magical energy. The Seabound Shrine was located in a place quite similar to this. What kind of place was that? It sat in the Novus Strait, off of Zofia. There was an altar to the goddess Mila in a cave. I wonder if that means there's an altar here, too. This place reminds me of those days. I'd just begun to experience life. I was so set on how I thought the world should be that I failed to heed my allies' advice. That doesn't seem like you. Not to me, at least. Back then, I visited Mila's temple, hoping to learn of a way to save my homeland. Then we discovered there was a Necro Dragon on the island. That thing could have killed us all. And we'd already fought a band of pirates. Saying it now, 
I realize how reckless we were. It sounds to me like you were helping people as you traveled. So, would you have chosen the same as I did? Of course. I couldn't ignore anyone in need, no matter how dangerous the situation might be. I know you wouldn't. You're courageous and strong. That's why we're here. I suppose I don't understand. What do you mean? This is where you will face your trial. Defeat me in combat, and our bond will grow stronger. Now take up your weapon, and let's see where your courage can take you. I understand, and I'm going to win. The preparations for battle are complete. Let's begin. There. See the summoner? If we don't take them down quickly, things could get rough. I've got this. I had a feeling. Power blooms in me. Of course. No mistakes. As you wish, Divine One. I won't lose. All right. I'm ready. Set me loose. Protect us! I'm here! Why do you attempt to throw away your life? Grant me... Good wind. Together. Guess I did it right. Let's go! 
Kendisi. Your story ends here. Gods, please protect us. There is nothing to fear. I will not forget your loss. is on our side. Fierce battle.
thousand curses upon our enemy. Do my best. I'll go first. Yeah. Allow me. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. A good wind. If I can, I shall. Then to work. I must admit, going to battle against you is rather strange, Saline. Oh, quite. I would rather chat over a cup of tea. Yet, as this is a trial, tea is not an option. So instead of polite conversation, I will fight you to the last, yes? Of course. Come at me now. Bring everything you have to bear and claim victory. 
I'll go first. The victory is yours. That was very well done. Thank you, Celica. You grow stronger, along with the power of your bonds. Keep forging deeper connections with your allies as you fight this war. Do that, and you will have the strength you need to save this world. I understand, and I'll do my best to strengthen the bonds I have, and forge new ones if I can. Once you've used that strength to bring peace, it will be your kindness that you will lean on. With kindness, you can build a world where no one hurts for the sake of hurting. Do you really think that's something I can do? Oh, the road will be long and treacherous. And you're just the person to make the journey. If you say so, Celica. I suppose there's no choice other than to try. <laughs> well, keep doing your best. We'll bring kindness back to the world. Yes, we will. Our ship is docked here. Thank you for escorting us. Mavier! Already, like you asked. Feel free to tell me how great I am. Wait a minute. What's the Divine Dragon doing here? Marnie? What do you want? We don't have any more rings. There are circumstances that require we travel together to Lethos. Huh? Divine Dragon. After Marnie and I lost the rings, Zephyr disciplined us to an unjust extreme. So, on my honor, I will not betray you once at sea. I will deliver you safely to Lethos. Will you trust me? I will. Take us to Lethos. What? Why would you help them? They're not our friends, they're enemies! The Divine Dragon should meet with Lady Vale. We have no reason to fight, as long as you don't start trouble threat about not threatening people when I hear one. Mavier, what's happening? You will hear details once we are aboard. If that is unsatisfactory, then you may remain here. Hey! What? Fine. Fine. Okay. Temporary truce until I get back to Zephia and the others in Lethos. So be it. Let us go, Divine Dragon. Okay. Lord Sombron's child? What? Yes. So that means you're the sibling Lady Vale has been looking for all along? And that's why we're headed to Lethos. Hang on, does Gris know about this? He's the one who told me. Gris picked a fight at Elusia Castle to verify the truth, even surrendering a ring to do so. What? Nobody told me that was the plan! Why are Sombron and Vale going to Lethos? It's about Gradlon, the Fell Dragon's land lost under the sea. He intends to restore it. To restore that unholy land? My word. What more do you know about this, Vander? Gradlon sank beneath the waves 1,000 years ago. It was, of course, Sombron's land. Gradlon was a wicked place, one as much as Lethos is holy. To raise and revive it, Sombron needs to destroy the Divine Dragon Shard in Lethos. That shard is what chains Gradlon beneath the waves. Lord Sombron finds it... problematic. So, you're saying that Sombron's greatest desire is to restore Gradlon? Far from it. His desire, if 
Such a word is fitting for Lord Sombron. He's to invade other worlds. Other worlds? The continent of Elios is only a stepping stone. He plans to extend himself everywhere. There are other worlds, and he wants to rule them all. How is that even possible? I'm well beyond what I know for certain. Lord Sombron has shared little of this with me. I can say, Lady Vale is a pawn in service of his greater ambitions. Please, tell me anything more you know. I've heard that Vale's called a defect. What does that even mean? Well, as a start, Dragon Royalty should be able to summon emblems. She cannot. Lord Sombron learned this recently, soon after his revival when reunited with Lady Vale. His children all fought in the war, but she, his youngest, never saw battle. Or any emblems. She told me we met once, all that time ago. You were among her many siblings. They all, in time, died fighting in the war. All save for you. <sighs> then Sombron was imprisoned, and Lady Vale's mother died, leaving her alone. She could find no friends in an age when it was rumored a last fell dragon child had survived. Lady Vale lived in hiding, knowing that were she discovered, she would be killed. A thousand years living like that. All alone that whole time? Not exactly. A few centuries ago, she came into contact with worshippers of the fell dragon. In their care, she slept in a hidden temple until Lord Sombron's release. She had been, long ago, close with those in that temple. But when she recently awoke... They were all dead, weren't they? So Lady Vale was relieved, even overjoyed, to find herself reunited with Lord Sombron. He detested her, and proclaimed her a defect, lacking a fell dragon's abilities and character. Sombron required her obedience, however, so he ordered Zephia to tamper with her nature. Lady Vale may have thought she was no longer alone, but she's never been more so. Ever. How awful. <laughs> what is it, Marnie? Is it the waves? Are you seasick? No! I'm trying not to cry! But oh, I never knew Lady Vale's life was so sad. I thought I was the one with the tragic story. I should have maybe been nicer to her. Probably. You have never told me of your past, Marnie. Uh, I mean, you know, happens all the time. I was just abandoned by my mom, that's all. I had a lot, a lot of brothers, and she decided she didn't need a girl. Which is weird, since I was way superior to those useless jerks, even back then. I mean, I was better at helping her, but she never said thank you, or good job, or anything. The first time we went for a walk, just us, so she could find somewhere to dump me. Imagine, my hand in hers, and we're strolling from place to place. She left me at a church. I can't believe it. It's fine. The priest was nice. As long as I helped free Lord Sombron, I got lots of thank yous. Eventually, I met Zephia and joined Pounds. See? Lady Vale's story is so much sadder. Zephia filled out the four hounds with devout followers of the Fell Dragon. Did that include you, Mavir? Yes. I was there at the hidden temple where Lady Vale slept. When she awoke, I was there to speak with her. She, a royal dragon, asked me to be her friend. I said it was impossible. Lady Vale then asked if I could offer my service to her as a knight. And you accepted. That I could not refuse. It's a big deal to be handpicked like that by royalty. Who would have thought? You made her knight? That's just cool. I mean that, Mavier. That's really cool. Should you wish, I'm sure Lady Vale would also accept you as her knight. What? No way. I don't want to work with you that much. No praise, no thank yous. I hate you. Is that so? Besides, I already belong somewhere. I need to get back to Zephia. Since you're helping the Divine Dragon, you're probably gonna get kicked out of the Hounds. I expect as much. 
Yeah, well, I like being one of the four hounds. As soon as we're off this boat, we're enemies. You do hate me, after all. So, surely, you'll be happier. Right. So, yes. I'm done talking. This is a waste of my time. Mavir, thank you for telling us all of that. When we find Vale, I hope you will do what you think is best for her. Even if that means we'll cross blades again. I shall. What's happened to Lethos? The land. It's fallen to rot and ruin. A sure sign of Gradlon's return. Or that our foes are now destroying the Divine Dragon Shard. We have to stop Sombron. Where is the Shard? It's in the castle. Queen Lumera's home. Who would have thought we'd return here to see everything? Come to this. I know you're here, Sombron. Show yourself! Ah, the Divine Dragon has arrived. Or should I call you the Divine Imposter? <sighs> You've arrived earlier than expected. How did you know where to find us? My other two children haven't even caught up to us yet. I assume you mean us. Why are you with them? You two brought them here? And betrayed us? Unbelievable. Please, no! You have it wrong! Wrong? <laughs> Looks pretty clear to me. This is my doing. I want Lady Vale to meet with the Divine Dragon. I might have even forced them to come, but it wasn't necessary. Marnie had no part in this. Mavir... Return to the Hounds, Marnie. But... but... Do not hesitate. Go now. Marnie, welcome back. But Mavir, what will we do with you? I'm willing to forgive and forget if you can explain yourself. We are family, after all. What nonsense. I know you're going to punish me, but Lady Vale will see the Divine Dragon. You rude, self-serving. I don't mind. I was just thinking I'd like to talk to the Divine Dragon myself. Vale! What's happened to you? <laughs> it's good to see you again. What did you do to Lady Vale? I told you about Lord Sombron's enchanted helmet. My spell has now truly taken hold. Vale, do you know who I am? Why, you're my dear long-lost brother. What a happy reunion. <laughs> what the... This is what you've been trying to do to her? Can the other Lady Vale return? No, never. Not as long as that helmet remains attached and intact. That other side of her is dead. D dead Oh, please. You should be delighted. You don't have to talk to the defect anymore. Zephia, I know about Vale's past. Do you? You were alive way back then. What? I mean, I didn't know. When I helped you with all of these awful things, Lady Vale was all alone for so long. And she was so excited to see her family again. She never got to enjoy it. Now she never will. It's all so terrible. What is this, Marnie? Sephia, I loved it when you gave me praise. I loved it when you said we were family. I loved belonging somewhere. I loved the four hounds. But this has gone too far. I have to do what I know is right. Praise or no praise. Marnie? I'm going to free Lady Vale. I'm going to break that helmet to pieces! No! Stop! <laughs> Marnie, that was simply pathetic. 
An attack like that couldn't put a scratch on Father's gift. I swung with all my strength, and it did nothing? I take it you were trying to free me, fool that you are? But as it turns out, you have failed in your attempt. Oh... I ordered you to stop, did I not? Such a bad girl. <laughs> you are a very naughty child. If only you had done as I had said. Marnie! Uh, here. I'm sorry. I tried to save her, but in the end, I guess I wasn't strong enough. If she's ever her old self again, will you tell her something for me? Please tell her that she's done so well. Don't go. Please. Marnie! <sighs> oh, did she die in your arms? How very tragic. What a waste. Got killed for nothing. <laughs> Marnie was just... Trying to restore Vale, and all this, for that? I will never stand by you again, Zephia, save for the moment my blade pierces your heart. Divine Dragon, I beg of you, allow me to fight at your side, to avenge Marnie, and to save Lady Vale. Malfir, of course. So you're just going to betray me? Leave me sad and lonely again? And you, brother? I thought you'd be happy to be reunited with me after... so long. You are not our veil. This must be about my new look. Then you're not going to like this look either. Marth. His fellow emblems stolen away. You turned your back on him. Oh, lonely thing. Just like me. But I'm here for you, little emblem. I'm all you need. Now, had I known I had a sibling who survived the years, I would have killed you. I'd like to make sure I'm my father's one and only child. You want to be alone forever? Yes, that's right. I have no need for this sort of family, or friendships, or bonds of loyalty. I do appreciate you bringing the rings to me, but that's where our relationship ends. Now, goodbye, brother. Fail. Divine One, I am with you from this day forward. Right away. Let's do this! Grant me strength and victory! Allow me! Think whatever you like. Understood. Emblem, engage!
I won't forget this. Yes. Thanks. I'll protect you. Shall we? Difference. Say the word. Better stand. Go first. <laughs> no one's gonna miss you. I will not forget your loss. Here goes. Lend me your strength. I am. I had to stop you. Let's go. I hear you. Emblem, engage! For Illusia! With pride! Give me strong foes. Unforgivable. Apologize later. Just getting started. Here we go. <laughs> For King Morian.
emblem. I'll go first. <laughs> you were a worthy opponent. Come one. Sure, okay. Name my target. Satisfying ending. It's nothing personal. I'm merely following Lady Vale's order. Remember this.
One strike will decide it all. Yeah! Emblem, engage! Allow me! Mavier reporting. You put up a good fight. Here we go! You're... quite strong. Perhaps you do have what it takes. Glad we met. Doesn't matter to me. I'll fight, and that's that. No one's gonna miss you.
I'll go first. For King Morian. Right. Don't fear for me. I won't flinch. Here we go. Remember this. I won't forget this. Please, don't worry. I had no choice but to win. I'm sorry.
That was cool, was it not? Let's hear it. May their souls find peace. I'm ready. No one's gonna miss you. Yes. Good to go. For King Morian. All flowers eventually wilt. Emblem! Engage! Mavir, aren't you going to protect me anymore? My time with the Four Hounds is behind me. I will not protect you. Same as ever, Mavir. You won't acknowledge me. You won't even say my name. Well, don't worry. I haven't forgotten your reward. How about a swift death? I will sacrifice anything, everything, to save Lady Vale from you. Give me strength, Marnie. I cannot die. Lady Vale still needs me. 
Apologies, Divine One. I must withdraw. Or the me from before? Raise your sword! Put up a good fight. Find salvation. Grant me strength. Isn't it? This doesn't make sense. Her changing back wasn't supposed to be possible. <gasps> the enchanted helmet. It's correct. Marnie's attack worked? Marnie. Such bravery. Where are we? Lethos Castle. You've been under Zephia's control. My head hurts really bad. And wait a second. 
second. What am I wearing? And where did I get this ring? This is yours, right? I remember. We were near the cathedral. You said it was important to you. Here. Please. Take this. Thank you, Vale. I will not allow it. <sighs> Heed me well, O oh defective daughter of mine. Papa. My goal is so close I can taste it, but their kindness makes you weak. Now go and reclaim my emblem rings at once. I won't! So I see. That is a shame. Well then, there is nothing more you can do for me. And I have never been in the habit of keeping that which has no value. From this moment, this time, your defeat is final. Why did you do that? You shouldn't have jumped in front of me! I did what I had to do to keep you out of harm's way. I wanted to make up for all the times I couldn't protect you. All the times I wasn't there for you. I'm so sorry, Vale. For all those awful things I said. I don't care! I don't care about that! Please don't die! It'll be alright. There's still so much I have to do. I can't die until I've told you everything. There's still too much left unsaid. <laughs> Who I am. Listen, Vale. <laughs> inexorable fate. No! But the stone shouldn't break! The stone shouldn't shatter unless... All that time, you were my brother! I found you! I finally found you! Please don't be gone! I need to talk to you! I don't understand why you would sacrifice yourself for me! <laughs> Such pathetic children. All twelve of the rings are finally in my possession. No! Give them back! Now! Those rings belong to my brother! Their friends fought so hard even to make it here! Yet, for all of that, I control the emblem rings. Together, their power is so great. Granted once every thousand years, and now that unrivaled power is mine.
Heed me, Emblem Rings. Grant me infinite power! Looks like it's over for you all, hmm? Sephia! Lady Defect. You survived here only because of all those who came to your aid. What a shame. Because now it's time for you to say farewell. Farewell? <gasps> My head! Lady Vale! I don't want her to have control. But... Marnie broke the helmet. Oh, Mavia. Simple, simple Mavia. It was only cracked. That certainly weakened it. But with Lord Sombron's elevation to power, the helmet works far better than before. <gasps> Lady Vale, come on out. Join us if you would. <laughs> No! Father! <laughs> what power! You've finally done it. I wanted to kill the Divine Dragon myself, but... Oh well. Lady Vale. Lord Sombron will gladly welcome you as his daughter now. Good to see you back. Would have had to kill you otherwise. Zephia, Gris, return to Father. I'll catch up with you soon. Of course. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. As for all of you, death is inevitable. But I'd like this mess dealt with now. Clean this up for me. Leave no one alive. The Corrupted! And more than we can handle on our own. We don't even have our rings! Rings? They'd be useless to you. The Divine Dragon is dead. None of you have the ability to summon emblems. This is the end. We have no way out. So, who wants to die first? There's no need for any of you to squirm or struggle. You're all about to join your beloved Divine Dragon. Are we all going to die here? There must be something we can do! Please... Finally over, Mother. We don't have to worry anymore. My <laughs> treacherous whelp. I guess fell dragon 
kids have to die in the end. But I want it to be a good dragon. <laughs> and you will. Someday life will return to you. And when that beautiful day should dawn, I will give you a birthday gift that suits you perfectly. Thank you, Mother. If I see that day, maybe I'll return dressed in white, a gleaming sword at my side, a divine dragon like you, ready to save the world. have died protecting Vale. There's no waking up again this time. I had dreamed I would awaken as a hero. Only now I realize that did happen. But it's too late. I wonder if I'll be able to find Mother here. Mother. Hmm. Vale? Why are you here? Papa used the rings to raise Gradlon. The helmet reactivated, my head began to swim, and then... I was here. Things didn't go how I wanted them to. And now it seems I've died. <sighs> Papa said you're my big brother. You gave your life to protect me. I'm so sorry. You should have let me die. Don't say that. I made the right choice. You have a link back home. There's still a chance for you. No. No more. What? I tried so hard. I wanted Papa to look at me and not see a defect. I wanted him to forget about the other worlds and just be with me. I'd always think... If only I tried harder. But it never mattered. I kept getting crushed over and over. I'm so tired. If I have to die again and fail once more, I'd rather it just end here. With you. Oh, fail. Hey, why don't we fall asleep? Together. The world will end with or without us. And I feel happy because I finally found you. Maybe the others will join us eventually. Perhaps you're right. Well then... Except... I'm not ready to give up. I want to save our world, and everyone I care about. Vale, you have been through so much, and I understand why you feel the way you do. But please, don't give up. Not before you experience the life you deserve. I don't care anymore. Even if I returned and survived all of it, I can't stop Papa because I can't summon emblems. All I can do is create the Corrupted. A fallibility befitting a fell dragon. Corrupted. Vale, there is something you can do. Huh? Revive me. As one of the corrupted. What? You did it to King Hyacinth. It was as if he'd come back to life. Returned to himself. Perhaps I could go back to the living world in the same way. Maybe. But you aren't thinking this through. You hate the corrupted. They terrify you. Now you want to be one? If we do that, you'll never be able to change back. This way, at least you died as yourself. Would you really want to die as one of them? I'll sacrifice more than that if it saves everyone. How I die doesn't matter. I just want to end this war. However I can. <sighs> Please don't give up, Vale. If we don't try, we lose everything. To me, this is the only way forward. But... Vale, 
What do you live for? What do you mean? My friends told me it doesn't matter where you're from. What's important is how you live. How you live and what you do shapes your future. So, who do you want to become? I've never thought about that. But if it were possible for me to change now, I suppose... I'd want to be like you. I'd want to become a dragon who saves the world. We really are siblings. Hmm? I said something very similar a long time ago. Let's go back and save our world. Together. Alright. I'll give it one last try. I hope to see you soon, brother. You're my dear sister. And I trust you with all of my heart. <laughs> Stop fighting. You die either way. Lady Vale, please, come back to us. Oh, you miss her, Mavir? Then I'll kill you first. Maybe you'll find what you're after on the other side. Uh. Huh? Uh. Lady Vale? You don't know when to give up, do you? That's right! I'm not going quietly! She's talking to herself. Not herself, exactly. The true Lady Vale. She's fighting back. I know that. My brother believed in me. So I... I believe in myself! Shut your mouth! You are nothing but a defect. Mark my words, you quivering little baby. You're gonna be dead soon! No! I won't! You're not in control here, I am! And I won't wear this horrible thing anymore! Wait! There's already a crack in it. I'll break it. Then I get to be me again. You'll be gone! Stop! Stop it right now! I don't want to go! Help me, Father! I beg of you! Papa isn't coming. He doesn't care. It's time now. Time to say goodbye! <laughs> Lady Vale! Mavir! It's alright. I'm myself again. I wish... I could have done something. I'm so sorry. But you did it all on your own. You're wrong about me doing it alone. My brother helped me. The Divine Dragon. I have to hurry. Guardians of the Underworld, cast aside the rules that govern life and death, so that this body, void of life, may draw breath, rise up, corrupted! one has become corrupted. What are we supposed to do now? Fight? No. We can't. Please, everyone, listen. You can speak? There's nothing to fear. I won't hurt you. I asked Vale to revive me as one of the corrupted. You must believe me. But are you really... you? Yes. I'm the same person who took this journey with you. The Divine Dragon. Whatever form I take, this soul is still mine. <sighs> Brother, look what I found! The Ring of the Hero King. It was lying by your side, as though it wanted to be with you. The emblems in the Twelve Rings have played their roles. They are likely drained of power. Can you still summon them? You've done so much today. Now, it's my turn. All right. Marth, I've returned. I'm here for you. Please, 
Show yourself. Shine on. Emblem of beginnings. Nothing happened. No. This has to work. We have so much to protect. Please, Marth. Join me once more. Shine on. Emblem of beginnings. Marth, I'm so happy to see you. <sighs> but that's the Fell Dragon version. I used Fell Dragon power to raise my brother. He's using that same power to summon. What happened? Are they reacting to the emblem? Time is short. I'll need your help to summon all the emblems again. You don't have to trust me, but this is the only way. We must stand together and fight as one! Let's go! Shall we? Okay. I'll protect you. No mistakes. My will is firm. Forget your loss. All right. Understood. Say the word. Of course. Right away. Come and face me. the opponent.
all flowers eventually wilt. Glad we met. Remember this. Them. Teach us, emblem of the academy. Reignite us, emblem of awakening. Sweep across, emblem of blazing. you in your current state. Come with me. I have already gained an emblem's power. I will deliver this one to the Divine Dragon. I am here to collect you. I'd be grateful for any help you can give. I'm sorry. Not forget your loss.
You put up a good fight. A satisfying ending. I'll apologize later. Where you lead, I follow. I won't forget this. Remember this. No one's gonna miss you. No choice but to win.
Here they are. Care for us, emblem of echoes. Heal us, emblem of dawn. It has been too long. Come, my friend. You're looking strong. Want to lend me that strength for a bit? I believe I am in the right. You put up a good fight. Unforgivable. <laughs> All flowers eventually wilt. problem. I'm sorry. That was cool, was it not? Remember this. No problem.
May their souls find peace. Here we go. Fight on. Emblem of Radiance. Provide for us. Emblem of the Holy War. Restore calm. Emblem of the Sacred. Thing I found you. Let's stick together, all right? You have not been engaged yet, I see. I have. So I'll just keep you in my pocket, safe and sound. I can keep going. Now, please show yourself. Rise up, emblem of binding. Free us, emblem of genealogy. Bear your fangs, emblem of fates. Bring your power to bear, and stand next to me now.
I ask that you join me now. I already hold the power of an emblem. Still, I promise I will carry you to the Divine Dragon. That's all of the rings! I'll apologize later. Unforgivable. That's it. I've summoned the emblems, and we fended off our enemies. What a relief. I think I'd better apologize. To both of you. What for? Doubting what you said. I thought this was all one of Somron's tricks, a way to turn us against each other. But when we fought together, I knew it was you. Our ally. Our friend. Corrupted or not, I am glad you returned. Thank you all for placing your trust in me. And thanks to Lady Vale. We couldn't have won without you. Yes. Resting back control of yourself. Reviving the Divine Dragon. You did much today. If not for your efforts, we'd probably be dead. Thank you. I did what I could. Now we're all together again. Huh? What's the matter? I can't move. What? No. I'm vanishing. I knew this was a risk, but it wasn't supposed to happen so soon. I gave you all the power I could. It should have been enough. Unless... Oh no. Summoning the emblems must have drained you. I didn't realize. It's all right. I'll try again. Hang on. Guardians of the Underworld. Cast aside the rules that govern life and death. Uh, uh. Your body is rejecting my power. It can't take any more. Thank you for trying, Vale. But it seems my time has come. <laughs> it's all right. The Twelve Emblems are here. With their help, I know you'll be able to stop Sombron. No! You can't leave! You said we'd save the world together! I'm sorry. You'll have to do that without me. At least I was useful in the end. I can die knowing you're all safe. If only I could fight to the end with you. My friends... We got the rings back. We're all together. I wish I could have finished the mission Mother gave me. I wish I could see the world come to peace. But all I see is... Light. Dragon child. You desire the power to fight. To the end. Alongside everyone. Marth?
Dragon Child, you who fought bravely even after death, would you rise once more? I want to fight. It can't end here. No matter how hard it may be, I have to continue until the world is safe. I must fight. Like the emblems have! I have heard your wish. And thus, our power is yours. must have granted their power. Beautiful. How did this... Before your slumber, I made you a promise. I said I'd give you a birthday present that suited you perfectly. I always knew this day would come. A very happy birthday to you. So, this ring... That has become your emblem ring. Barth! Lumera's power was held in that ring. You have restored the power of the Divine Dragon. She must have known this day would come. The day of your rebirth. I was dead. And now look at me, I feel... new. What do you mean, Emblem Ring? Your life was saved by the combined power of twelve rings. Making you... the thirteenth emblem. The Fire Emblem. I'm the thirteenth emblem? The Fire Emblem? That's right. And that is your emblem ring, much like the rings that house our spirits. We emblems have only ever been spirits, but you had a physical form. Perhaps this is now why you seem unique among us. And it's like I was never corrupted. Your power as an emblem dwells in the ring, just as dragons imbue their power into stones. Though you die, you are now reborn as an emblem with a new body. But how? Sombron used your power. I thought you could only grant it once every thousand years. The Twelve Rings have another power. One we kept secret. And what's that? Now that you're an emblem, we can finally reveal the truth. We have always been able to perform the miracle at any time. To use it, we all had to be together and agree on who deserved the miracle. So that means I... Yes. We all agreed we wished to fight alongside you. We could do this once and never again. Not in all the thousands of years ahead. What's more, this will be the last gift that we will ever give this world. This took all of our future power. It was worth it to fight alongside you now. This is the first time we emblems have shared the same wish. For this. For you. Everyone. You. This was the only way we could save you. No one returns from death. Now, being an emblem is perhaps not what you desired. I hope we have done the right thing. I've died twice. I didn't expect to be back again. So, thank you. My friends and I will do our best to protect this world. I'll make the most of what you've done. Oh, and Marth, I'm so glad to see you again. I'm sorry we were separated in Illusia. It's been so long since then. Oh, it was barely a blink compared to your years of slumber. It's good to see you, my fellow emblem. <laughs> yes, 
my fellow emblem. Glad to have you back, Divine One. Don't even think about dying again. You hear me? I don't think I could survive losing you a third time. How I prayed at the end to be with you again. We all were, and now, here we are. And you're an emblem. I look forward to seeing what you can do. I'm sorry I worried you all. I'm not going anywhere ever again. I am with you now, all the way to the end. Now we'll always be together. Vale, without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. No, oh, you saved my life too, remember? I should be thanking you. What is this? An earthquake? No. This is something far different. A greater force is in motion. Something is happening in Gradlon. Let's look. What in the world? What's all that in the middle of the sea? Gradlon. It's back. A portal is opening in the sky. Soon, Sombron will set out to invade other worlds. We have to stop him. I wish we could, but there's a barrier in the way. Yes, and it's covering the entire continent. The power that must have taken. Papa doesn't want us to interfere with his plans. How do we break through? We will need to destroy the Fell Dragon shards that are sustaining the barrier. But I don't know where to find them. I can help. You can? I feel... I guess you'd call it a vortex of Fell Dragon power, building up in Gradlon. I think there are two of them. No. Three. Follow me! We'll destroy the Fell Dragon shards and shatter the barrier. To Gradlon! Oh my! Are my eyes lying to me? This is quite a surprise. It looks just like the Lethos Castle Gardens. So I'm not the only one seeing it? It looks like the castle, but feels like it too. The air, the smells, all of it. Right you are. I've served in the castle for many years, yet this vision fooled me at first. I know it isn't real, yet I still get a sense of nostalgia looking at it. My mother trained me in the castle garden. The flowers were in full bloom, like these. I remember it well. Alas, after the attack, that garden has been left in ruins. It has, hasn't it? Look, over there! I can see something glimmering. Do you see it too? Is that an altar? And on it, there's a ring. I thought we'd gathered all the emblem rings. Can it be that there were more? Perhaps an emblem we were unaware of? Let's go have a look. Wait, I feel a presence. There are enemies nearby. <laughs> Corrupted? They must be here for the ring. We can't let them take it. That ring might belong to another emblem. I fight beside you once more, Divine One. Hmm. That ring... Could it be? Yes.
I hear you. Emblem! A thousand curses upon our enemy. Tell me where. Emblem in get Gods, please protect us. Anything for you. Shall I go? Understood. I'll do my best. Emblem, engage! <laughs> I live to fight again. Let's do this! Don't worry. I love it! Understood. Let's hear it. I cannot afford to lose.
together. Why don't we repeat our mistakes? The true battle is yet to come. Our time has come! A good wind. There is nothing to fear. I cannot lose! That was a fierce battle. We have you all to thank for this.
I'll help. I am bruised. Curses upon our enemy. With a true Satisfying ending. Lend me your strength. I'm not some kid.
my friends. I'm sorry. Gods, please protect us. Hold nothing back. Guess I did it right. I want to help you. There is nothing to fear. Full of vigor. Just getting started. Don't want to sacrifice anyone. This is I live to fight again. Let's go. 
impressive. Better to act than to worry. Victory. Rest in pieces. Peace.
I'd rather be friends. That's how a knight does it. You have my respect. the opponent. Victory is mine! Grant me strength! I win this one. I'm here. Emblem, engage. Better to act than to worry.
stream well. We retrieved the ring safely, but it doesn't seem to hold an emblem? Strange. Is it but a normal ring? It seems so, but when I hold the ring, I feel a warmth stirring in my chest. So it's as I suspected. What is it that you have surmised? The Pact Ring. It belongs to and holds the power of Divine Dragon Monarch Lumera. What else do you know about this Pact Ring, Marth? Lumera once said that Divine Dragons will give a special ring to someone they truly trust. The ring strengthens the bond between the two, and brings them closer together. It grants special powers to the Divine Dragon and anyone they make a pact with, of any sort. So, Mother once gave this ring to someone she trusted, and had a special connection with? That's what I'd guess too. But she lost her friends and allies in the war, so who she gave the ring to? Or if she gave it at all, there's just no way to know. Mother. But we know that as long as she lived, the most important person to her was you. You should inherit the ring. Give it to your most trusted ally. I'll think long and hard before I decide who's worthy to wear it. Oh, that we've arrived at this place. It must be the work of Queen Lumera. It's a happy thought, Mother watching over me. But the fight ahead is my own. I must be strong. Let's go. I'm reluctant to leave. But there is much work to do. Odd. This looks very similar to Altea Castle. Altea Castle? Is that a place in your world? That's right. It's where I grew up. After it fell into enemy hands, my allies and I took it back. You lost your home? The Dolor Empire, led by the Shadow Dragon Medius, attacked. His forces overran the castle. The castle knights offered protection, and many soldiers fell while aiding my escape. On that day, I learned the true meaning of powerlessness. Allies like Princess Sita and the mercenary Ogma helped me retake my homeland. My people call me the Hero King, but I think the real heroes are those who helped me to win. That's why I fight. For all those who believed in me, I want to deliver on their hope. I think I know what you mean. I want a future of peace with my friends and allies. That vision pushes me to be my best. You have grown strong in your battles and are more than worthy of their faith in you. Now they stand beside you, ready to share your burden. Your struggles are not yours alone. My friends and family have brought me all this way. I owe them so much. Keep those feelings close to your heart, and you are certain to overcome this trial. Trial? Battle me now. This is the trial bestowed upon you. Best me in combat to strengthen our bond. Win, and you will draw more power from me. Let the battle begin. I'll show you I can overcome this or any trial. I'd hate to embarrass myself fighting you, so don't expect this to be easy.
Ready and able. All right. Say the word. Tell me where. I can fight. Understood. Yes. Mavier reporting. Let's do this! Okay. Don't worry. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. I have been waiting for you. Do you believe you can best me? Better stand back! If I can, I shall. I want to help you. Disappoint. Thank you. Sure, okay. Why do we repeat our mistakes? Grant me strength and victory!
I fight for my friends. Our time has come. Got this. I'm not some kid. Power blooms in me. Then to work. Shall we? We have you all to thank you. Five moves. Yeah! Oh, 
Much has come to pass. Meetings, farewells, and reunions alike. How are you faring? I could never put those feelings into words. So, I'll answer you with my weapon. I would ask for nothing less. Here I come! Unacceptable! Excellent. I could sense the power of your hope and your strength as warriors. As I fought, I was reminded of an old friend. I first met the divine dragon Tiki in the midst of battle, much like this. It's incredible that your world has a divine dragon in it too. Yes. Like you, she fought for us humans. Tiki was placed into a very long sleep, in a temple where she would be kept safe. She woke and was incredibly lonely. Once we met, she said she wanted to stay with us. She called me Marmar, like a kid sister might. Human or dragon, we became friends for life. Then she and I have something in common besides our species. You, Marth, who fights to end people's suffering. Like her, I'm happy to be close to such a hero. Since our first meeting, I have felt the same. I'm grateful to you. I've become stronger because you are with me. Having my friends by my side is what makes everything possible. I couldn't do this alone. Then you understand. We will follow you always. Shard is nearby. 
I'm glad you can tell where they are, Vale. I can't really sense them myself. Hold on. I see people. It looks like... Yes. Zephia and Gris. <sighs> they must be guarding the shard. Are you going to be okay? If I'm going to stop Papa, then I can't avoid this. Sooner or later, I have to face them. Let's go. All right. Zephia! Gris! My lady, we have been awaiting your arrival. <sighs> oh, I see. It's you again. And from the looks of it, the other Lady Vale is no longer with us. She's... gone? That's right. Wormed your way back in, huh? I never thought you'd come out on top, defect. Stop calling her that. No one will speak that way about Vale ever again. You! Hey, whoa! What's this? Aren't you dead? I have become an emblem. By the power of all the emblem rings. So I can save this world. We're here to stop Papa. Both of you, please, step out of the way. And let you through. I think not. Lord Sombron is opening the portal to other worlds. We're here to protect this shard. Not even our Lady Vale could command us to step aside. Then you're prepared to die. You mean to kill us, Lady Vale? Oh, what a sad turn of events. Even after I doted upon you, cared for you as if you were my own. It used to make me happy when you said things like that. But I know they're lies. Now, you're just two of Papa's followers. Enemies to defeat. That's all. Why are you singling us out? There were four of us. Mavir was my knight. Marnie too. I've been told. She died trying to save me. Why did you kill her? I didn't even get to tell her goodbye. I took Marnie into my family. I looked after her. What did I get in return? Betrayal. How can you call the Four Hounds family? Treating them so... viciously. Because I loved them. When children stray, one must punish them. Or worse, as needed. That isn't real love. Oh, is that right? And maybe I've never known real love. I know my own heart and my own thoughts. That's all that's important to me. But we'll never see eye to eye. Not in a thousand years. I serve Lord Sombra. I've done so for a very long time. Fully committed to anything he needs. I got no plans to switch sides. Not even if we lose. Got it? I see. I suppose this is goodbye then. I'm sorry to say. We've got no other choice but to fight them. Are you sure? They're not listening. If only they would leave for their own sakes, but they want to fight. We need to stop Papa. That means I have to put them behind me. It's about time I do. defeat Zephia and Gris. Then, we can break the shard. What was that? Those two. It must be their doing. They can attack using the shard. And I'm sure they'll do it again.
I cannot afford to lose. All right. Together, for our friends! Why do we repeat our mistakes? I'm ready. Emblem, engage! It's time! The true battle is yet to come. No mistakes. Ciao! Yes. Let's hear it. I'm honored. Let's go. Give me strong foes. As you wish. Please grant me your... Tell me where. Emblem, engage! Gods, please protect us. As you wish, Divine One. <laughs> Allow your soul the rest it deserves. I want to help you. The rest it deserves. Retreat isn't an option. I will die if I must to protect the shard. You? That's crazy talk. If anyone's dying today, I've got first dibs. Besides, we'll fling these babies at them till nothing's left but bone shard.
don't want to sacrifice anyone. Grant me strength. Thousand curses upon our enemy. No problem. There is nothing to fear. Don't fear for me. in me. We have you all to thank for this. I'll do my best.
thousand curses upon our enemy. With a true heart. I win this one. Emblems protect us! Why do you attempt to throw away your life?
You were beautiful while you lasted. Beat me to the punch! Name my target. You come to get revenge? Or were you hoping the Hounds would take you back? We were a family, Mavir. That makes us like brothers. No one would blame you for missing us. I am here to strike you down. I have nothing more to say. Jeez, a stiff till the end. Guess there's no point in holding back the killing then. Mine! <laughs> <laughs> Live as a hound, die as a hound. A battle fit for Brody. Emblem Eternal!
Lady Vale, you mean to kill me, do you? That's right. Those eyes, so like your father's. You really resemble him, you know. Far more than the other Lady Vale did. You don't see me, do you, Zephia? You see me and you think of Papa. Or that other me. When we met, you seemed so kind. I really liked you. Really? I hated you. <laughs> no, that's not right. I was indifferent to you. <laughs> Lord Sombron's puppet, that's all you were. A thing to be used and cast off. Yet somehow, I knew this day would come. The day I would kill you? No wonder you didn't like me. Well, you finally have my undivided attention. Who dies here, I wonder? Nothing left of you. We did it! We broke the Fell Dragon Shard! <laughs> 
I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombra. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephia. Goodbye, Gris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Oh, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <clears throat> One last thing. Before I go. You won't be able to break the next Fell Dragon Shard. <sighs> what do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily. But those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult. And then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others. But I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains. Or drain the lake. Please, take this. An enchanted crystal that will bring that location... in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects. Small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude? That drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you. I've paid a steep price. Sophia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. <laughs> you two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... difficult to control. I would control them in time, but not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close, I'm feeling that it's just the right thing to do. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you'd told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven! Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. Huh? I can be kind, just this once. Because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this happened. So, I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. Sephia, I... don't understand you. Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow older. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? <laughs> Let's go, Vale. Yes. Go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zephia.
thank you... for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. Hell of a time to switch sides. My word. I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once-in-a-lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery, not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead? <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come? You told them about the shard. Like I said... I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted <sighs> just like that? Does that seem fair? Now that they know about the Shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end. That he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. <sighs> the Four Hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Gris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted, staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no, it's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. I think. Zephia, you drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore. It's hard to believe that there was a mountain right here where this lake is. I sense a fell dragon shard here. Sephio was telling the truth. It is out there. 
very deep at the bottom of this lake. She said the enchanted crystal would bring that whole submerged area into reach. But it will only last a few hours. So once it happens, I'll lead us to the shard quickly. Thank you. Okay. Here goes. It's starting. But wait, what's happening? The mountain is rising. Or, or the lake is draining. Everyone, stay together. No, it's not safe here. Brother! Vale! I must have been thrown far from the others. The lake is gone. The mountain is here. I guess the crystal worked. Now, I'd better find the others. You there. Huh? <sighs> How strange. Your face is my face. No. What? That can't be... me. Who are you? Well, I'm... Uh... I sense an emblem. One I have never sensed before. If you have a ring, give it to me. I need to take it to Father. Father? Sombron. The King of Dragons. <sighs> I collect emblem rings. It is my duty. I have been taught to do what I must to fulfill that duty. We are currently at war with the Divine Dragons. I have collected many rings. At war? Wait, if this is me... Is this me during the war with the Divine Dragons? Zephia's magic put me in reach of the Shard, all right. By throwing me into the past, I must be in Gradlon a thousand years ago, before it all sank, when the Shard was near here. You are mumbling. I will repeat myself. If you have a ring, give it to me. Quickly. I'm sorry, but no. Your answer must be yes. I cannot let you go with that ring. If I disobey father, I will be killed. Many of my sisters and brothers have been killed. Killed? One older brother was drowned. One older sister was burned alive. A little sister and little brother. They were cute. Were torn apart by the corrupted. Some siblings died in the war. Most were defects. Father disposed of them. Disposed of? The defects require disposal. But I am not a defect. I collect rings to prove that. Father must get his wish. Until then, I will collect rings. And when his wish comes true, what then? What will you do? What will I... Oh. Well... <laughs> what was that? That is an avalanche. They are common to this place. But I hear some of the corrupted nearby. They are agitated. That is unusual. There are, maybe, intruders. The others must be here somewhere. I'm sorry, but I have to go. The stranger with my face is escaping. I will prevent that. I must pursue them. I need your help, Marth. There you are. Thank goodness you're safe. We weren't sure where to find you. Brother, I'm so glad we finally found each other. After the earth shook like that, I know where the Fell Dragon Shard is. It's a short climb from here. Unfortunately, we've been followed. You won't believe by who. Huh? All of you, I insist that you tell me at once exactly who you are. Zephia! Whom do you serve? Fighting the corrupted as you did back there, defeating them with ease. No one on our side has reported seeing anyone like this. And surprises are not well received. What's going on? I thought she died. She did die. Zephia shouldn't be standing in front of us. She doesn't look like one of the corrupted. But also, she doesn't even know us. Everyone, this will be a shock, but... 
That is Zephia, a thousand years ago. Because we are in Gradlon a thousand years ago, during the war. What? The crystal was supposed to put us in reach of the submerged shard. It did, in a way, but not by raising mountains or draining lakes. It sent us back in time. Believe it or not, I just met my past self. That's how I figured it out. Your what? Oh, that can't be good. I have found you. <sighs> Brother, that's... That's you! Yes, it is. Red eyes, red hair. But it's you! That's what you looked like when we first met. Zephyr, please step aside. I will take care of the situation. Thank you, Your Highness. But I'm more than happy to assist you. That will not be necessary. Go. Inform Father what is happening here. Also, that I sense the presence of emblems from them. They possess emblem rings? It is possible. Understood. I'll head to the temple. She's going to tell Sombron that we're here. We have to hurry. Brother, I can't bring myself to hurt you. And that's you in our way. What should we do? We need to break the shard, but... Is that what you're trying to do? Break the shard? What if it was? Would you let us pass by? No, that is stupid. I cannot return home without your rings. We will fight. If I win, I take your rings. If you win, you break the shard. Simple as that. Then we can't avoid a fight here. Stranger with my face, I am ready to battle when you are. You will fight me, and this emblem. Marth! This is my emblem. Now show me yours. They'd never believe I'm an emblem. And it's best to keep that to myself. So? Marth! I'm here. You have a Marth, too. There should be only one of each ring. This is more and more interesting. Everyone, ready yourselves. No matter what, we must destroy the shard. I make avalanches happen, even when they don't want to happen. I just do this. We've been pushed back! That works. I'll keep doing what works. We have to reach the Shard. But at this rate, we'll get nowhere fast. If an avalanche starts near you, take shelter. Stay safe until you can proceed. Set me loose. Better stand. I won't lose. Here goes. Lend me your strength! Let's do this! I love it! Emblem, engage! Wow. 
Why do we repeat our mistakes? I will obey. Emblem, engage! A good wind. I will not falter. Emblem, engage! Anything for you. I had a feeling. Let's end. One strike will decide it all. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. That's it? Guess I did it right. Curses upon our enemy.
Tell me where. I live to fight again. my princess. Cannot afford to lose. There is nothing to fear. No one's gonna miss you.
Watch a good wind. Sorry. We met. You made it this far? You're strong. You should be on my side. No other choice. Our time has...
had to stop you. to help. I win this one. I sense that you are looking and staring. You will not win that way. Or are you scared? Yes, of course. I've been scared from the start of all this. It's only natural. Scared of losing battles. Of losing what's important to me. Losing people I care about. I will admit, I am jealous of you. You have my face. But you say the things you feel. Out loud. I am not allowed to show fear. If I say I am afraid, I will be labeled a defect. I follow orders. I don't think. I am like the corrupted. They are awful. You really dislike the corrupted too. I hate them. They have killed many of my sisters and my brothers. If I lose to you, they will kill me. No. No, they will kill me in time. No matter what. <sighs> but you don't die. I'm proof of that. What did you say? Never mind. Let's finish. Come at me, or I will come at you. This is like looking in a mirror. What I see bothers me. <laughs> Help. I will do what I must. All flowers eventually wilt. Years I've lost. Oh no. Now father will dispose of me.
Good. We broke the Fell Dragon Shard. I only hope the old me is going to be okay. We were able to provide some healing. The old you will awaken soon. That's a relief. The old you saw us in the past, though. Do you think that's... going to cause any problems? It should be fine. I do forget everything. Eventually. Oh! That's right. It seems we finished just in time. I guess this is goodbye to the past. The land around us is starting to change. Now we'll really never see Zephia again. But thanks to her help, we can keep fighting. And we will. She sacrificed her life to help us get here. We have to go on and stop Sombron. You're right. Goodbye, my old self. When you begin your journey someday, I hope your travels are as wonderful as mine. You said these invaders were right here, and yet they are not. That is very odd. Perhaps the battle moved elsewhere. I sensed an unexpected emblem, and wanted to see it for myself. But I sense nothing now. I'm surprised you came, my lord. It's been some time since you ventured outside. I had to be certain. Though I know that emblem no longer exists. Hmm? I will go back to the temple. After the battle concludes, my child will return with news. Your children are endlessly impressive. What I wouldn't do to have such loyal subordinates. If you require some of those, then just do what I do. Make children. Make children? Of my own? Family is function and utility. You put blood in, you get loyalty out. My children owe me their lives, their love. Their absolute dedication. Family. What a revelation. I would like to make one of these children. With you. You have a child with me. Please, Lord Sombron. Now is not the time. But I will consider it after the war. After my ambitions are served. I understand, my lord. I swear to help you achieve your ambitions. I expect your utmost. A child. How intriguing. What would that be like? To possess fully through such unconditional love. How did my mother and father regard me? With this... love? If only I could travel to the past. A foolish, impossible thought. Now perhaps I should find Lord Sombron's child. What was that one called? Oh, why bother? He disposes of them all. One must never ever grow attached. That would just make me sad. You there! Are you all right? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I... I... I found you lying here. I was afraid you might have been dead. But what a relief. You were just in a terrible daze. Was that... a dream? A dream? I met someone who had my face, but who also looked like you. Your blue hair and blue eyes are beautiful. The one with my face had that too. That sounds like a lovely dream. Say, it's chilly out here. I'd hate for you to catch a cold. Let's get you somewhere nice and warm. Do you think you can stand? Thank you. This is the first time for this. For me. 
you're being kind. Really, I'm sorry to hear that. What is your name, child? Oh, my name. Mother told me. This was before she died. That father called me that name. Just once. What is your name? I'm Lumera. I know that name. It's the name of the last divine dragon still alive. The name of father's enemy. <gasps> if you are the divine dragon, then I have to kill you. If I don't, father will call me a defect and dispose of me. But you were kind to me. I don't want to kill you. <sighs> I am thinking a thought that doesn't belong. I guess I am what I am. A defect. 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 Don't say that. There's nothing defective about you. But I must do my duty. Or else father will dispose of me. He'll feed me to the corrupted. That scares me more than anything. I want to live. To see tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. Then let's keep today between us. I don't want you to die. How about this? Let's meet again soon for a nice, long, kind talk. No one needs to know. What do you say? Pinky promise. <sighs> All right. <sighs> we made it back. To think, we actually met Zephyr and you in the past. It was, I have to admit, chilling. The barrier is weaker than before. It worked! Now we just need to break the last shard. Let's demolish that thing! Where's it at? One moment. Let's see. <sighs> What's wrong? You look worried. Oh, it's... nothing. Don't tell me. We gotta go to some other weird place. No. It's right here in Gradlon. But... Yes? Sorry. I'm a little tired. Could I please be alone for a bit? We've pushed you so hard. Relying on your power to detect the shards. Please, take the time you need. We can delay a little bit longer. Thank you. <sighs> we'll be able to break the last shard. I know we will. How can I tell them who's there guarding it? Or why I'm able to sense... There. So, the last fell dragon shard is here, in Gradlon Temple? Yes. What's wrong, Vale? You don't look well. Did you need more time to rest? No. It's not that, but I... I have a request. Please let me go in alone. I'll destroy the shard and come right back. What? I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. Trust me, you won't want to face what's ahead. It's best that you and our friends stay here. Brother, let me spare you from this. From what? I don't understand. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> it is you, isn't it? Mother? Oh, my dear child. How I've longed to see you again. When I sensed you, I flew here as fast as my wings would carry me. It can't be. How? I've missed you so much. Don't come any closer, Divine Dragon. Or rather, corrupted Lumera. <sighs> Just when I finally had a moment with my child. I didn't expect this. I thought she would stay inside with the shard. Vale, did you do this? No, it was Papa. 
The rings gave him the power to create more elaborate corrupted. He took her body from Lethos as one last line of defense for the shards. You knew, didn't you? You knew this had happened to Mother. I did. I also knew that we couldn't help her. The emblems have used their miracle. They could revive one person and they chose you. There's no other way to save someone who has been corrupted. You're saying that there's no choice. We have to face her. You don't have to do anything, brother. Leave this to me. But... It's chilly out here. Why not come inside? You want to break the shard, don't you? Oh, don't worry. I won't bite. I just want to have a nice, long chat. Mother... <laughs> oh, I can scarcely believe it. Queen Lumero, in the flesh. What should we do? We have to defeat her. There's no other way, but... I don't know how I'll summon the strength. I feel conflicted myself. She was my deity, now I have to fight her? Yeah. Soul's people aren't super religious, but we loved Queen Lamera too. We can't falter. If we do, that's it. The world is doomed. Let's go. The door. It won't open. Let me take a look. Hmm. A spell has been cast on it from inside. Curious. She invited us in. Wait. Where is Lady Vale? She didn't go inside, did she? What? No! She can't go in there all alone! Vale! Open the door! Forgive me for this. Goodness. Did you come to see me all by your lonesome? Your own child shouldn't have to strike you down. Mm, how heroic of you. I'm glad we have this chance to talk, Vale. From what I've heard, you are the little sister of my dear child. If that is the case, I am practically your mother as well. You are welcome to call me your mother, should it please you. Thank you for the kind offer. But I don't need a second mother in my life. I had one. Oh, departed is she. Tell me, what was she like? She was kind and affectionate. And there was so much love within her. But she died before I could truly appreciate what I had. She always did the best she could to keep me safe. And she told me that if Papa ever broke free, if he did, and if he started doing terrible things, as his family, I had to find a way to stop him. I suppose that means you intend to murder me yet again. Yes. <laughs> How I tremble at the memory of that fatal blow, the pain. Even worse than the pain, though. How you left my heart shattered. I was torn from the side of my beloved child. Can you imagine the depths of my agony? And had it not been for you, my dearest and I would have been together for all time. I know it's my fault. The fact that you died. All of this. Even though... I was a puppet. I killed you. I stole the rings. My actions led to this. You can hate me all you want. But either way... It ends here! <sighs> oh, Vale. Was that meant to hurt? As I'm sure you have noticed, thanks to Lord Sombron's largesse, I am far more powerful now than I was before. It's a shame, really. I honestly hope that you and I could get along. But anyone standing between me and my child cannot be suffered to live. It's ludicrous to think you might murder me for a second time. How are you so blind? I still owe you a death for the first one. Die, you little defect! Vale! Brother! 
Thank goodness you're all right. The door should have been blocked. How? Well, we broke through. <laughs> oh, my child. Did you miss your mother so badly? I did. Not a day has passed that I didn't think of you. That's why I'm angry to see you like this. Hasn't Sombron ruined enough? Why do you speak ill of Lord Sombron? It was he who brought us together again. Lord Sombron? You are lost, aren't you? Oh, I was. During the war a thousand years ago, I was desolate. Lonely. I had no one. My mother, father, friends. Killed. Yet I had to fight on. Alone. If I, the Divine Dragon, gave up or ran away, the world would be lost. In the midst of all that hurt, I found you, innocent and pure, no evil intentions of your own, and never treated with love. Though you were my enemy, I couldn't bring myself to kill you. Instead, I bonded with you the day we first met. I stopped being alone. Mother... I beg you, don't leave me on my own. Again. Stay here with me. No. I can't do that. The last time we spoke, you told me to fight on with divinity. Told me to bring peace to the world, no matter what memories returned. Don't you remember, Mother? Who cares what I said before? Now I want to be together. As family. I understand now. You don't think like my mother. You don't want what she wanted. You're speaking nonsense. I'm right here. I am your mother. No. My mother? The one I wanted to see again? The one I loved? She's gone. And she would want me to defeat you. She taught me to stand strong against my every opponent. Whoever they might be. How sad your words make me. You're breaking my heart right now. Who poisoned you against me? The emblems? The stewards? That sister of yours? I suppose I have no choice but to kill them all. Prepare for battle. I'm sorry. I meant to fight this battle for you. Thank you, Vale. But this isn't your burden to carry. It's mine. If I don't face this myself, I can't claim to be the Divine Dragon, an emblem, or Mother's Child. Let's do this. Together. Then, we can face Sombron at last. Brother, you're crying. Everyone, at the ready. We will free Mother's soul and break the final shard! Ready for anything! Devoted to you. Grant me strength. I'll do my best. Emblem! Bring it on! A 
I'm ready. Shall we? Yes. I can do this. Power blooms in me. Please grant me your strength. I had a feeling. Emblem, engage! Protect us. With pride. Let's pray. As you wish. I am full of vigor. your service. Okay. 
I live to fight again. Yes. A thousand curses upon our enemy. Battle is yet to come. Together. We have you all to thank for this. Nothing to fear. Emblem. Farewell to you. I cannot lose.
No problem. No problem. Gods, please protect us. deserves. I win this one. Good wind. That was a fierce battle. our mistakes. I may no longer have the emblem rings, but I can use the shard's power instead. Shall I show you? Mother, what are you doing? Everyone, get behind the pillars! I 
I'm sorry, Divine One. We have you all to thank for this. I don't want to sacrifice anyone. I cannot lose! Let's do this! Understood. I'll help. Ha! Ta -ha! There is nothing to fear. Hope is on our side. Why do you attempt to throw away your life?
I won't falter. I won't forget you. A slight injury. The true battle is yet to come. Apologize later.
I just want to live in peace. Better to act than to worry. Protect us. Not forget your loss. There is nothing to fear. Lobbyer reporting.
friends. Is over. Remember this. I'm sorry. Better to act than to work. Gods, please protect us. It is over. Guess I did it right. There is nothing to fear. Lend me your... I cannot afford to lose.
No problem. I live to fight again. I cannot afford to lose. Just getting started. Better stay. I'm not I'm some kid. kid. Gods, please protect us. Come <laughs> on. 
Why do we repeat our mistakes? I live to fight again. Our time. Win this one. I want to be with my child. That's my only desire. Please, stay out of this. Cutting in. There is nothing to fear. I will I never give up. Give up. <laughs> Quickly now. Uh, One more. Uh, yet another. Uh, uh, Mother! Here we are at last. How about we train here? You'll be the one fighting. The emblem... Ugh. What? You said that back at... The emblem lends you their... Ugh. No! These memories... I wanted to spend time with you. To chat for hours. Take long walks together. Share meals. And then... Then... Stop, please. It's all right. There are lots of things I wish we'd done, too. We weren't able to. But that's okay. It's better than seeing you suffer like this. You can still surrender, Mother. Please. For me. No! Lord Samron gave me more time with my child. I refuse to waste it. I won't let anyone take that away. Not even you. I waited for so long. A thousand years of waiting. Mine! Ugh. Here! Ugh. Almost! Ugh. I cannot afford to lose.
help. I'm so sorry, Mother. That voice... Is it you, my child? <gasps> it would... seem that you've... received my ring at last. Mother! You're yourself again! You remembered... the promise that I made to you? Yes. Every word you said to me before I fell asleep. You see this? I'm one of the emblems now. My child, an emblem. I can hardly believe my own eyes. Oh, how hard you must have worked to achieve such a thing. It was tough, but I'm glad I can show you what I've become. I just wanted to make you proud. Uh, it looks like Queen Lumera is... Disappearing. The corruption is leaving her body, so now she has to go. Nothing can be done to stop it. I'm so sorry, Mother. It seems we have to part yet again. You're wrong. From the first moment that we connected, I have always been at your side. The years after I lost my family were a dark time. The pain of what had been taken was unbearable. But then I met you. And even though I missed you during your long slumber, I knew that you would wake up someday. We'd be together again. Knowing that, how could I ever feel lonely? You and I will never be apart again. I feel the same. Ever since we met, I've never felt truly alone, not really. You showed me the warmth of a real connection, and that is stronger than death. You have always been my bright, shining light. I can never thank you enough for being my child. Thank you, Mother. Getting to be your child is my greatest happiness. If we should meet again, I want to spend more time with you. Pinky, promise me. We will, child. I'll remember this promise we have made. And I'll remember you. <sighs> the sky is so beautiful above me. Just like the one I saw the day you opened your eyes again. From now on, you must protect it all. Everything. Under this beautiful sky. I promise. <sighs> Brother, I... I'm all right. Please, don't be sad for me. Mother is is where she belongs now. I know we'll meet again. <sighs> it's time to go. We have to check the barrier. The barrier is vanishing. We destroyed it at last. But look what's happened to the sky. Sombron opened the portal. Papa, he's there. If this goes on, the power of other worlds will pour through, and this one will be destroyed. Elios will meet its end. No, I won't let that happen. My mother entrusted this world to me. 
I will protect everyone. Everyone who lives beneath this sky. <laughs> I have no doubt that a world ruled by you would be a beautiful place. What brought that on? It needed saying. I'll need you to help build that world, Marth. Help me protect it. Forever. Hmm. <laughs> Forever. It's a promise, then. A world ruled by the Divine Dragon. Now that's an inspiring thought. Everyone, how did our forces fare? We are treating our wounded and should be able to leave soon. You stand before the final battle, undaunted, full of hope. I've much to learn from you. When this war is over and we've had time to rebuild, I'm gonna visit all your countries. Bring the emblems along. After so much time confined to the rings, I'm sure they'd like to see the world. Right. Now that the Twelve Rings' power has been used, people won't try to steal them. The emblems will be safe. They can stay summoned and go wherever they want. I'll show them our countries, introduce them to our citizens. They'll be seen as war heroes. I won't say no to a new camping buddy. Oh, make that too! Hope they like to sing! I imagine their experience will make them good advisors for restoring Alusia. It's nice, isn't it? Having something to look forward to? Something to fight for? For the first time in my life? I'm excited for the future. Before we reach that future, we'll have to face Sombron. Are you ready for that, Vale? I am. I'm not afraid to stand up to him. I was so lonely. I couldn't admit it, but... He stopped being my father long ago. There's no bond left to break. Vale. Divine One, our wounded soldiers have been treated, one and all. Thank you, Vander. Let's depart, everyone. The final battle is upon us at last. <sighs> this journey has made you and your allies so much stronger. I wish I could stay here and help you all build a peaceful world. But we may soon have to part ways. The final battle is upon us. When you are ready, we will move the Somniel itself to the portal. Once we face the Fell Dragon, there may be no turning back. Are you ready of mind and equipped for what's ahead? The Somniel is ascending. We should reach Sombron soon. Let's win this battle and then return home together. Yes, of course. Ugh. Marth, what's happening to you? I can't hide this any longer, can I? Hide what? There's something I should tell you before we arrive. The portal has destabilized our world. I lack physical form, as do the other emblems. We may not be able to hold ourselves together. I had no idea. I wish I had realized. But if the portal is doing this, then it's only temporary, right? After we close it, you and the other emblems will recover. <sighs> the moment the portal closes, there will be a great distortion. We will not be able to withstand it. What are you saying? When the battle is done and the portal closed, all emblems aside from you will cease to be. <laughs> You mean, if we defeat Sombron, if we close the portal, we'll lose you and the other emblems? Yes. We've been together this whole time, and now you're just going to disappear? Please, Marth. I don't want to lose you and the others. We need you. Leaving the portal open would doom this world. Would you prefer that? No, but... We emblems came into existence in order to aid this realm. We would do anything to protect the people of Elios, even if it means our end. So our promise to rebuild Elios together, our plan to see the world, none of that is possible? I'm so sorry. There's no need to apologize. I've asked so much of you. Too much. 
But when I thought about a future with you by my side, I felt truly happy. There is a promise I can still keep. In Lethos, the day you awoke, what did I say when you summoned me? Your ally. Until the very end. I remember. I will never break that promise. Until this war's end. Until my own. I will stay by your side. You're so kind, Marth. You've always been so kind. You are too. That's why we've made it this far. More than your strength. It's your care for others that has brought us all here. Thank you. Now prepare yourself. We'll arrive at the portal soon. I'm ready. So this is the portal to other worlds. It's beautiful. But very cold. You two. Here. Sombron. Papa. I did not expect you to survive. Let alone reach me here. We've come to stop you from destroying Elios. I am done with your worthless world. Return to it and shut the portal. Live in peace there. You stay in your world. I now leave for other ones. That should satisfy us both. You're going to return and attack Elios again. We'll never believe you wouldn't. And you've caused too much suffering, too much loss, to run free. We will defeat you right now and prevent you from invading any other worlds. <laughs> invading other worlds? You think my desire is so simple? Am I wrong? Invasion is merely a means to an end. What I seek is a reunion. A reunion with Zero Emblem. Zero Emblem? I've not heard word of this before. Of course not. That emblem is not of your world, nor am I. What do you mean? Beyond this portal lie infinite worlds. One of them was my home. It had its own emblem rings, and a war arose to control them. My kind lost. The enemy used the ring's power to slaughter my relatives. All of them. I was very young. Our enemies granted me alone the mercy of exile. You mean, they sent you to Elios? A peaceful world, ruled by godlike dragons. I was meant to live a quiet life there. But I brought something with me, unknown to them. A single emblem ring. Zero emblem. In my world, known as the Emblem of Foundations. With my power, unable to speak. Legend said this emblem fought without aid. So much ambition, and no allies. That story showed me the way forward in my complete isolation. I was trapped in this world without friends or family. Only that emblem gave me comfort. Whoever it was must have been mighty indeed. An emblem should not be able to survive traveling from one world to another. To stay in form in a new world, even for moments. I've never heard of such power. Now you want a reunion. So, that emblem is gone. Exactly. And all because of villagers that found me a few years after I arrived. They mistook me for an abandoned child. They pitied me. My first connection in your world. Soon after, the emblem deserted me, leaving only the ring behind. And why? For bonding with the people of this world. I despaired, and then I reduced their village to ash. 
I swore to forego all bonds in pursuit of my ambitions, as my emblem had. I fought alone, confided in none, preparing to return to my world, to exact revenge. I needed pawns for my plan, and territory. I spent years amassing it all. Then, I attacked. So, the war a thousand years ago. That's what it was about? But Papa, you weren't alone in this world. Mama loved you deeply. Your believers, your attendants, my siblings, Sepia, Chris, Marnie, Mavir, my brother and me. Everything we did was for you. As I said, pawns. Acting on my command and mine alone. Meant to be used and discarded. Death would mean nothing. That's why you killed them all. But what about us? You wanted us to die? You were no different to me. How horrible. You can't be right about your emblem. You weren't left behind. What? A solitary warrior like that emblem would know how hard it is to be alone. And would stay by your side, sparing you that loneliness in exile. Until you weren't alone, and had new people in your life. Until you were okay. Don't you think more than anyone, a true friend like that wanted you to have those connections? You know nothing, nothing at all about my emblem. That's true. But if your emblem disappeared without a word, then you don't either. No one does. All the more reason to be reunited. I will scour world after world. Sombron, the emblem of Foundations is no more. You can search and search, but there's no point. You might meet the original hero, but emblems are not the same beings. We are not them. You will never be reunited with your emblem, ever again. Be silent. I can only imagine how much resentment you feel. But to sacrifice so many others, to be so selfish you destroy the world, kill your own children, it's all just so wrong. I said be silent. You are speaking of things you do not understand. If not for my emblem, I would have died powerless, small. That emblem had the strength to stand alone. Unlike you, huddled together, whining like dogs. Such a warrior showed me the meaning of all existence. Fight alone! Take revenge! You're wrong. That's impossible. No emblem wants to see a world destroyed. We aid people through our bonds with the Divine Dragons. We are a force for good. We would never choose to let our power be exploited for evil. Enough of this nonsense! I won't let you stop me, or sway my intentions. I have striven for this for thousands of years. If you intend to stand in my way, you will die. This is it! Prepare for battle, everyone! You dare turn your blade on me? You dare interfere with that which I have sought for so long? Such fatal hubris. You will pay for that accordingly. Witness how fragile your bonds really are! Huh? What's happening to them? I am sealing off the portal back to your world. It's what I should have done the moment you arrived here. I fear your emblem allies are too weak. They will be lost in the distortion between dimensions forevermore. <sighs> this cannot... This cannot be the end. If we must part, remember all that we have done. Marth! The emblems are... 
I knew I'd have to say goodbye someday. But I thought there was time. So much for your precious enemies. In a matter of moments, the portal will be shut for good. Take comfort, for I shall inflict no further harm upon your world. Though you will die here as I have lived, in anguish, far from home. We can never go home? I've been ready to die from the start. Brodia, my land, I pray you endure. It seems Illusia will never truly know me. I'm sorry, Mother. Worry not. I have no desire to prolong your suffering. When I am finished, not one trace of me in your world shall remain, as though I was never there at all. <clears throat> I'll stop you! Is that so? Our fight isn't over! The portal's open, I can do this! If I give it my all, I can summon the emblems back to me! Look at how far we've come! Will you fight him at my side? Your faith in me gives me strength! Yes, brother. I'm with you. Fail. I'll be with you every step of the way. I can't summon emblems, and I can't turn into a dragon. But I'm a royal dragon all the same! There's gotta be something I can do to help! Yeah! We'll all be right there with you. You've done so much for each and every one of us. So this time, we're returning the favor! No getting discouraged now. Heads held high. We believe in you, and we will win. Easy. Divine One, this is for Father, and all the soldiers who have fallen along the way. One last push to victory. Get those emblems back here so we can do this. <laughs> you think we can make a comeback? Yeah, that's what I love about you, Divine One. Whatever faith remains in this heart, I give to you. As your sister and fellow dragon, I'll do whatever it takes to help you stop Papa. Divine One, emblems, if I may offer a prayer, may I be blessed to assist you in victory today. You are incredibly cool, Divine One, and so is everyone here. There's no way we're losing. All flowers must bloom. For you, I will be a gentle rain and a ray of light. This occasion is no different than any other. My belief in you has never once wavered. The final page of our story will end with sunlight and a victorious divine dragon. I'm worried. But you don't need my support either way. I know you'll see us through this. You have always been my source of strength. Allow my faith, just this once, to be yours. Imbeciles. Your scrambling is both futile and pitiful. Please, my friends. I need you all one last time. Once more, let us engage! Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! Mark! Care for us, Emblem of Echoes, Celica! Provide for us, Emblem of the Holy War, Sigurd! Free us, Emblem of Genealogy, Leaf! Rise up, Emblem of Binding, Roy! Sweep across, Emblem of Blazing, Lynn! Restore Calm, Emblem of the Sacred, Erica! Fight on, Emblem of Radiance, Ike! Heal us! Emblem of Dawn, Micaiah! Reignite us! Emblem of Awakening, Lucina! Bear your fangs! Emblem of Fates, Corin! Teach us! Emblem of the Academy, Violet! And of course, the final emblem! Connect us! Fire Emblem! What? We 13 emblems stand against you with our allies. The future may divide us once more, but here and now, we fight with one heart. This fight, this moment in time is all that matters. 
What nonsense. You are the flicker of an ember. A dying light. You're nothing. The deeper your bonds, the greater your pain when those bonds crumble to dust. Why invite that inevitable pain upon yourself? Why allow such weakness to exist? Give up and perish, foolish child of mine. Yes, you see me as a child. Foolish and weak. And maybe you're right. Maybe that's all I am. But I am not alone. And we're stronger when we stand together. The breaking of bonds can hurt. But when the bond is reforged, it comes back as strong as ever. Or stronger. And it brings an even greater hope. If people are willing to work for it, any bond can be brought back to life. And that's what I'll do every single time. For however long it takes. You won't leave this place. Because we're going to stop you. Get ready, Sombron. This ends now! Wouldn't miss it. Say the word. Emblem! I don't want to sacrifice anyone. All right. Understood. Emblem, engage! That was a fierce battle. Count on me. Understood. With a true heart, engage. Engage! Yes! I love it! We have you all to thank for this. I'm your knight to command. As you wish, Divine One. I will do what I must. I will obey. I'm ready. Okay. Emblem in... Gods, 
Please protect us. You fought so hard, traveled so far, merely to die. Engage! There is nothing to fear. Sombron called reinforcements, but what are they? You thought I sat idly, waiting for you to arrive. I could not bring back my emblem, but I summoned others of equal power. Dark emblems, who once plunged their worlds into despair. Dark emblems? That presence... 
familiar. Yes, these are the foes we fought in our original forms. Perhaps we should match each emblem to their own enemy. But I can't sense who is who. We should move closer, with caution. The Divine Sword Tyrfing is awakened. That marks you as... No. Impossible. As a Knight of Granville, and a descendant of one of the Twelve Crusaders, I shall be your end! I'll help. I 
win this one. Emblem. Please, don't worry. I'll help. Ah, I won't miss! I have no choice but to win. Emblem, in... It's on our side. Better stand. Stand down or Battle is yet to come. Help me be a righteous dragon. As expected. To the death. A good wind. Protect us.
nothing short of victory! <laughs> Lend me your strength! Sleep now! I live to fight again. Grant me strength and victory! I fight for my friends! Where you lead, I follow. Afford to lose.
shield is gone. Now's our chance! I cannot lose! Victory is mine! As you wish. Now it's my turn. On our enemy.
I live to fight again. Understood. Draw. My turn. Then, 
I will be denied my reunion. We've won, Sombron. Now I will never return home. Perhaps that is just as well. I am tired. Tired of searching in every shadow. For... the Emblem of Foundations? I would look in sunless woods. Gloomy caves. The shade of a dead tree. In such places, I felt my emblem again. Now, that is all over. You chose to be alone, yet continued to look for this emblem. Why? Perhaps I wanted someone to appreciate how far I had come all on my own. Someone to see me, who I am. After millennia of being cast away. I could have been that person. Or Vale, or our siblings. Why didn't you let us? Why choose to start these wars? Ugh. I need no connections. Not in your world. Even at the end, you don't want to be a father to us. Very well. You'll be only the fell dragon. An evil that we slayed. That's how we'll remember you. Do as you please. I have been alone for all this time. Why should my death be different? I do not need mercy or pity. I will fade in this place, apart from the one I yearn to see. Do you remember the invocation? What? The invocation for the Emblem of Foundations. I have tried. Again and again I said the words. It was no use. Still. It couldn't hurt to try. One last time. All right. Burn. Burn us, Emblem of Foundations. <sighs> oh, this light. Oh. At last, at last we meet again. Papa? I... I don't see anyone. I don't either. It must be someone only he can see. An old friend. The one person he truly let in. You and I... Let us be on our way. Once more, engage. Papa. He's gone. And the ring for the emblem of foundations. That's gone with him. Our fight is over. Let's go home. It's time to shut this portal, once and for all. The portal is closing. Once it's shut, the war ends, and Balance returns to the world. We did it! <laughs> oh, it's really time to say goodbye. This was a wonderful journey. Thank you for letting us share it with you. No. Thank you, Marth. I'm so sad to see you go. But it's time to stand tall and say goodbye. Thank you for keeping your promise. You really were my ally, my friend, through it all.
I just hope I'll be strong enough for whatever lies ahead. You will be. You're already much stronger than a thousand years ago. Or the day you awakened. I know you'll carry on the emblem's legacy. And your mother's. We will not be here to help you anymore. Now, it's your turn to help others. As the Divine Dragon, and as an emblem. I will. You're not doing this alone. We'll be there to support you, brother. We can't replace Marth and the others, but we'll do what we can. Yes. Please, don't worry. It's no good. Here come the tears. I wish we didn't have to lose you. We were just getting to know you, and now... Goodbye forever? Please do not cry. But... This world's burdens are yours to shoulder. Meet them proudly. You should not always hold back tears. But please, for now, try to. I agree. I'd like for us to part with smiles on our faces. That's how I want us to remember each other. In joy, not sorrow. Me too. It seems this is goodbye, but we'll never bid farewell to what we learned together. I'll miss you, but I know you'll choose the right paths to walk. We'll always be together in spirit, no matter the distance. Build a bright future. Don't worry. I can see that your lives will be filled with hope and happiness. Go out and create a better world. I know you can. I know you will. I will be praying for you. Praying that your world is filled with kindness and laughter. Wherever you go, may the blessings of Mother Earth and Father Sky follow. I'm glad to have known you. I hope you make an Arcadia of this land. If your nations band together, there is no hardship you cannot overcome. No love as well as grief. Honor your bonds, carry the light, and nothing will be impossible. Lead with compassion, Divine One, and may your happiness be eternal. This is the moment. So it is. Thank you. You are a member of our family, the emblem who connects us all. If ever we cross paths again, no, when we cross paths again, I hope that you will remember us. We who existed together for this time. The Thirteen Emblems. Of course I'll remember you. Everything about you. And all the times we shared. Even when we're apart, we'll always be connected. Thank you for standing with me. Until the very end. <sighs> Goodbye, Emblems. My family, you gave me courage, strength, and inspiration. I will follow your example, always. I promise. Let's go back home, everyone. Back to Elios.
Today's the day of my coronation. Today, I'll be crowned the Divine Dragon King. I had hoped that all of you would be standing by my side for the occasion. But I guess not. Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! <laughs> Worth a try. I wonder if we'll ever meet again. Aha! I knew we'd find you in here! <sighs> we must have looked everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone! The coronation is going to start any minute now. All right. Time to get changed, unless you're wearing that. Yeah. I guess I should, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, hurry up! Come on! <laughs> oh, okay! I'm coming, I'm coming! Someday, in the future, our paths may cross once more. Our bonds can be reforged time and again. Whenever you desire, you need only say the word. Engage! 